Good morning, all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are uh, waiting for it to download. Um. Oh gosh, I'm a bit stiff and achy today. We've got uh, we've got Endwalker, and it's going to take another two minutes. Apparently, I didn't realise how long it was going to take. Uh, oh crumbs! I need the controller as well, don't I? Bear with me one moment, my little beauties. And back. Oh, I'm so looking forward to coffee, guys. I'm absolutely shattered. Like, shattered, shattered. Exhausted, boys. Morning, Shades. How are we doing? Good morning, Bite Bull. Good morning, Smack. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Bot Tricks. <laughs> did, did, oh, gosh. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I didn't quite mute in time there, did I, boys? Um, 
Did you all have a nice Easter? Shades, I haven't opened anything yet because I didn't get back until like really late yesterday. So I'm going to have a little unboxing later, Shades. Thank you very much. Oh, jeez. I'm going to try and uh, mute out on the coughing, boys. It's, uh, it, it's, it's quite bad today, to be honest. Uh, mo morning, Fripster. It's, it's gone tickly now, so uh, it, it's not as aggressive on the chest, but I've got, you know, that, the tickly remnants of a nasty chesty cough. I've always got a pounding head, eh? So this is Endwalker, which I think is the prequel. Oh, I'm going to have to log in with a password, am I? I have to put a password in or... Uh, important notice, all world's maintenance, April the 2nd, which is at 7... Oh, no! Is this every week? Do, do they do this, like, my time? Because we're on British summertime now, right? Presumably, are we? So that, that's, my, that's my stream start time. Is it like a 10-minute thing, or, or does it take, like, a... Uh... Well, Dawn Trail's not out, that's what uh, That's loud. Uh, configuration. Uh, sound. Oh my god, that's so loud. Uh, I suppose we won't know until we start, will we? Maybe about there? <laughs> yeah, Dawn, Dawn Trail's not out until... Is it, is it Dawn Trail? You've got Shadowbringer and Endwalker, right? And then Dawn Trail, I think, if I'm right, Shades, I did look into this, is out in June, I think. I think. Um, you went to make a cut. So, so no, Bob, I, I, I did even worse than that. I put the kettle on earlier and f just simply forgot to make the girlfriend a cup of tea, mate. <laughs> so, I mean... <coughs> I don't know. I don't want to necessarily start mucking about with all the volume settings. I mean that that's sort of music on, but it's not too loud, right? It's a few hours, really. How often's that then, Smet? How often do they actually do that? Uh, right. So we'll apply that, and hopefully we're good to go then. Yeah. Uh, close that. Is it? Okay. Uh, it looks very blurry, dude. 3840, 150% display. Are we going to need a, a higher scaled user interface, are we? It looks quite blurry. Can you, can you, I assume, what about reshade on something like this? I mean, reshade isn't banned from online games, but... Oh, I've got to have a load of characters from when we last mucked about, aren't we? Like testy mctesty that i've got on my starter account i, I booted in yeah look, oh yeah look this is testy te oh sorry not testy test mctesty look <laughs> i i actually played with this on uh with, with the star account on uh, was, where was it like friday evening i think uh I can't remember what it was, but I, I, literally I sat here because I, I sat to the girlfriend like, do, do you mind doing the old uh, click through until we get to a playable moment? I felt really bad. I think she was in here for about 20 minutes. Uh, apparently there were a lot of cutscenes. So uh, I, 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 I did get into the game and I did like manage to get a few things set up. So all, all the graphical settings should be okay. But we will double check just in case anything's reset because obviously we've now got like, uh, you know, like a proper version of the game as opposed to the, well, the test McTesty version. Um, so if I wanted to delete a character, what's this? The feature allows you to save backups of your clients and character configuration settings to the Final Fantasy XIV servers as well as import these backups to your hard drive. Oh, sorry, to your hardware, sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Look, I'm really going to have to try ever so hard with a coughing. Uh, oh, it's, I, I thought it was J June. Sorry, is it July for Endwalker, is it? So it's actually quite late summer then, is it? Um, I suppose for us in England, we, we don't get summer, do we? All right, I don't know what that's all about. I don't think I need to. How, how would I delete characters? Because obviously I don't want a load of like, I've probably got three or four just like characters from 
Uh, test McTesty login, no. Doesn't seem to be a delete option. How do you delete a character? Does anyone know? No, not that it matters, but... Uh, mo morning, Casky. Did you have a nice, uh, you had a nice Easter, dude? Morning, killer. You're right, Mad Max, uh, first day play. Well, I, I, I played a long time ago. And, and we, I think we put like a, a couple of days in, didn't we? Um, I, I, but, but that's what I'm wondering about here is how do I... Let's uh, I mean, this, this dude's on Odin, apparently. Is that Odin? Is that... I did something on Friday. Can, can I... It's, it's like left click does that. Ah, right click. More subcommands. Oh, here we go. Delete character. Delete test McTesty. T test McTesty logged in, right? And the girlfriend must have sat in. Honestly, I brought her a cup of tea in. And then she spammed through a load of cutscenes and God knows what else, right? And I was in a city. And uh, it, it reminded me of the Aftershock girls that we used to hang around with in the city centre. And it was two, like, cat ladies. One in bright... I, th I think one was bright, I can't remember now, but I think one was bright pink and one was bright blue. And uh, they, they sort of like did this like role play thing around us. It was, it was like ever so strange. But to, to where I started, I couldn't, I couldn't read the text because uh, it was so small on 4K. Uh, so I understand I wish to delete the character. Okay. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So it gives you a like... Are you absolutely sure you wish to destroy this character? What, 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 what shall I play? I mean, shall I play... Uh, I mean, there's like about 20 plus jobs, aren't there, in this game? Is that what they call classes in this? Classes equals jobs, yeah? Oh, it's, it's for configuration. Oh, is that what they're... So that's more about, like, key bindings and... <coughs> idea. Uh, I was told that I could play the first three expansions with the Star Tradition and Dawn Trail. Uh, just had to not play further than that. No, you've been lied to then. Uh, if, if you pre-order Dawn Trail, um, you can't activate the code until July. Basically. So if you bought Dawn Trail, you've literally thrown 30 quid away. Or at least you have until July the 2nd in a way. I mean, you haven't. You can still play the game. But you can't access, like... Basically, Dawn Trail would give you, like, Shadowbringer and Endwalker. But you won't have access to Shadowbringer and Endwalker until July the 2nd, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, so, um, what do I do here, then? So, new character. Create a new character. Okay. Does that make sense, Shades? Uh, who's this? This just looks like Mario, like Mario. Mario just literally always looks exactly the same. This is him. <laughs> Mario obviously don't do a lot of character creation. Uh, morning, Shades. Did you have a nice weekend, Shades? Morning, Alison. In ARR, you start with... In, hang on, what's ARR? You're going to have to not use acronyms, dude, because I won't understand any of it. I'm new to the game. Uh, I assume that's A Realm Reborn, is it? You start with... Oh, I'm guessing, anyway. Uh, you start with classes. You need two classes up to a certain level before you change into a job. Oh, my God. All right, that's already freaking complicated. I need two classes to a certain level. But, but classes are character sort of concurrent, right? So, so I can have, like, two classes on one character. So I can actually have, like, ten classes on a character, right? And, and then I can change that into a... So, so I can play like a wizard and a fighter on one character and then somehow change them into a job. Oh. In post-ARR... Oh, I'm, I'm not even going to listen to you, Casco. You, you, you know too much. You're not simplifying it. <laughs> what you mean is back in the old days, there was a thing. I don't want to know about the old days, bro. So, so literally, there's just jobs now, yeah? Uh, okay. 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 So, what have we got then? So, we've got boring ass man child wannabe. We've got kind of sort of alien neck long person. 
It, it, oh, he's like, he's an elf. He's got pointy. So we've got like human weird dude. Pointy elf long neck dude. <clears throat> uh, we have Mikote. Mikote. Sort of like a, basically a male human, but with ears in the wrong place. We've got a Hulkarama Hulk man. He looks quite cool. Uh, we've got the... Oh, is there no sound? Is, is there no sound during character creation? I was expecting epic sort of final... What the hell is that? What's this dude? This dude looks like... Uh, he, he sort of looks like he's a dragon or something. Or, or That looks so weird. Can I not toggle on music here, boys? Oh, he looks badass. What's this? Uh, a Hrothgar. Oh, a Hrothgar. Shall I play a cat, man? J just to absolutely shock everyone, including me. Uh, let's have a look at everyone else. A Viera. What's, what's special about a Viera? She just looks like a, a normal lady. Uh, what's all this do? Job. Ranks, job, small. Oh, my God, sorry. Uh, I don't get that. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's not a lady. Oh, no, that's a man. Uh, oh, it's, it's what, what the hell? So what's that then? Oh, it's got ears. Oh, that was, that's not a helmet. That's actual ears, is it? Maybe. I don't know. It's got a helmet looking thing. All right. So, so it's like another cat person then. So you've got boring elven boring. No. Uh, you've got... Uh, is, is there supposed to be sound here? You are supposed to have sound. Oh, right. Okay, then. I was gonna say it seems a bit it seems a bit naff with that. Should, should we should we reboot? Because we've just maybe because we've just installed it perhaps. Uh quick character creation. Yeah. Uh how do I quit? Uh oh god, how'd you quit the game, dude? Oh there we go. Down there. Oh whoa, it's really weird. It, it kind of puts a little finger thing there. Look. Exit. Because we, we had sound a minute ago, didn't we? Because we just literally turned the sound down. I didn't turn it off, did I? Oh, what the hell? I've got a, I, I had a flashy no signal thing then as well. Uh, right, let me just um, boot up. Let's see if we've got sound on YouTube. Oh, that's why uh, we can have a, a. Yeah, we've got sound on YouTube. So why have we not got sound? So I've got sound. Um, bear with me a sec, guys. Let's see if. Uh... <sighs> Let's change that maybe. Close that. Or let's 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 go back into the game. Kind of weird, isn't it? So I think I only turned it down. I don't. I mean, who knows? Maybe I maybe I misclicked and muted all sound or something. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a con that shades in a way. Uh, I don't think it's very like. Why is it not custom? Why is it not starting? Yeah, it's not very well signposted that you you could buy Dawn Trail, but you can't actually activate it until July, obviously, which means you don't get access to the other expansions until then. Which I, I must admit, like, maybe they should make that a bit more obvious. Oh, there we go. Well, that's really loud. So we, we want to go to Star, do we? Connecting to data center. Oh, there we go. We've got we've got sound. I was going to say that's much. I was I was quite surprised. I was thinking like Final Fantasy. Ah, here's my other characters as well. Look, how do I, <coughs> how would I see all my other characters? I think I've got three or four. Because so this was like a level three. So presumably just when we had a little tinker one stream. This dude's on a place called Lich. Is that right? So I went for like a, a bit of a beady old old dude. I've changed server. Well, I, I, I didn't, did I? I mean, you saw me click start game. So I, let, let, let's not let's not be silly in chat. I didn't change server. I simply clicked start, didn't I? Uh, go back to Odin. What? Why Odin? What? Uh, how do I? How do I even choose worlds? Light Alpha Lich Odin. Oh, so I've got a character on Lich and a character on Zodiac. 
He looks like a right knob. Uh, Lich, what, what's the difference between... This was Odin. This was Odin where I was a minute ago. Right, Caskell. Odin, Phoenix, Raiden, Shiva, Quintania, Zodiac. It says light. What, what does light mean? Is that, is that like a light and a dark or something? Yeah, actually, what the hell does that mean? What's light and dark? You're right, Songbird. So, Od is, is, is Odin a good one? I don't want to join a crap server just because you're on it, Caskell. Can you, can you serve a migrate, Caskell? The Zodiac is raiding. Well, wouldn't we want to go on there, then? Twintania is roleplay. All right, okay. I quite like the sound of that. The rest are mixed bank. If you go to Odin, I can join you for dungeons. But I don't want you to join me for dungeons because you're level. You're like stupidly high level, Caskell, right? Isn't that going to be pointless, mate? Uh, he keeps talking about the choosing server is very important to avoid running into the game. Haven't you got like 4,000 hours in it, Caskell? I mean, uh, we're, we're never going to get to playing together, are we, right? It levels you down for dungeons. Yeah, but let's be honest, it doesn't really, does it? You, you're still going to have access to like loads of crazy things that I'm not going to have access to, right? Yeah, but you'll be... It's like having a level 15 who's ding 15 but hasn't got any gear. But you'll be like a level 15 that's got, like, all the best possible gear at level 15, right? So, so it, it, it's still going to be a little bit, like, naff, in it? Uh, so you want me on... O so Odin, uh, new character. Create a new character, yes. Right, this dude's just boring. This dude's too long. No. Uh, this dude is like a cat person but so is this person oh so this is like a this is like a rabbit but this is like a hare because hares have longer ears right so we've got like wow so we've not only got cat people but we've got like rabbits and hares it's quite like look at this dude because he just looks like a like more like a lion he looks like quite badass removes your skills but you're not listening to me it, it, it's still the same as someone having, like, a level 15 character that's just in 15 but hasn't done any, like, equipment management, right? But but your level 15 is going to be, like, the best level 15 out there, isn't it? You see my point? There's, there's got to be a there's gotta be a bonus to being, like, a level 100 down to a level 15, right? It, it, it can't be exactly the same. Otherwise, what's the point? Uh, I don't know. Sh should we go for Frothgar? So, so I assume I get to change... Well, let's read about this, dude. Hailing from the distant shores of Ilzelbard, the Frothgar are a burly people of lion-like appearance. Or well, the males are at least. Females number staggeringly few among... This doesn't sound good. And thus are rarely so much as glimpsed by the other races. The Frothgar's imposing countenance, mitigated not at all by their sharp claws and still sharper fangs, incited panic amongst Eorzeans upon their arrival, as they were also unable to communicate. Initial interactions with the common folk often escalated into conflict. It was not until the Throthgar gained mastery of the common tongue that fears were allayed, and in time they would be as neighbours welcome. Oh, that sounds, sounds quite interesting. Uh, do I need to know anything about the Final Fantasy lore? Uh, yes, you're right. You have the max level stuff. I was going to say, I mean, it's got, I mean I'm mean, i not saying it as a negative. I, I, you know, I, I, it would be mad to think that someone who's just dinged level 15 uh, play, playing with their level, I don't know what the level cap is, but their level 100 mate. You, you know, it's going to, I mean, even consumables and things, right? It's, it's got to be an advantage, surely to God. You know, he might, he might have like an extra health potion. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not sure I want to be a level 100 if I ever made it that far. They just, like, magically become the same as a, a normal level 15. You, you kind of hope you got a few extra bonuses. Ooh. Um, I don't know, guys. I mean, boring. Boring as hell. Uh, just too long. Just literally just, like, out of proportion. It's just like they got this, like... I mean, if you ever wanted to practice decapitating someone, you know, like, if you were, um... Uh, an, an executioner. And, and you, you know, like, oh, no, like, dude, this dude's got no neck, man. This is going to be, like, really difficult. If you wanted to practice, you'd practice on these, wouldn't you? I mean, look at that. Beautifully clean cut. I mean, you, you, you'd be hard pushed to miss, wouldn't you? 
No. Uh, M Miko's... Basically, Miko's are humans, but with ears, then, yeah? So you've got the higher is the same as a Miko, yeah? They just have, like, a little chinny, chinny, chinny... Oh, you can zoom in. Like, like chinny, chinny whisker. These dudes look interesting. I quite like the look of this dude. Can you change his skin tone? He's like, um... It's like a poorly Hulk. He's like like a jaundiced Hulk. Uh, all right, these look weird. I can't make out. I mean, it's like got like scales on his arms, as in like a scaly tail. But I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. I, I, I quite like this dude just because he's a bit different and he's got chunky legs. He, he obviously does leg day. Well, you could also only be a male. Let's have a look at his unique. Wow. Uh, who's this out here? I'm looking for your small clothes. Oh my god. I noticed, there's no, I noticed the fur only seems to be on the top part. So I've got all this cool stuff down here. Oh wow. It's so pretty. <coughs> oh dear. Uh, you can migrate, but it's going to cost money. You can freely travel between data centers now. It takes a little time. Hang on, so what, what's a data center? See, you're all using terminology that means nothing to me. Is a data is a data center the same as like you know like is, is that Odin? Is Odin a data center or, or is like uh, am I like the European data center? You know, I presume it's like a North American European cluster. It is. There. All right, well, look, I mean, he, he looks interesting. I, I, I could probably handle him for a day, right? Uh, cancel or confirm. Um, is that just to confirm, like, the base? The Helions. Helions have traditionally been content... Is the sound all right? Is it too loud? Uh, devout servants to their queens, one and all. And thus have, and thus have they only but... Oh, my God, what the hell? And thus have they only but recently... Wow begun to make their presence felt throughout the remainder of the three continents. Oh, look, we get strength, dex, vitality, intelligence, and what's MND? Is that mind? Is that, like, wisdom? Like, this game's wisdom, is it? All oh, right, so the data... So, all oh, right, so the light... So what's the difference between light and dark? Oh, is, is that, like... Is that... Is, that's not... It's not, like, horde and alliance, is it? What, what's the difference between dark and light? Uh, morning avalanche. Uh, you can check out the video. Yeah, I saw that. I'm not, I don't really want to be a male female, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know, I can be a... Oh, Helions. Oh, right. Is that... The lost are unbound by the whims of any reigning monarch, having long since found themselves bereft of the warm radiance of their queen. Traitors! <laughs> Most find that a nomadic lifestyle best suits their situation are known to ply a variety of trades that align with their propensity to travel. Seasonal labor, mercenary, and peddler among them. Uh, I mean, I quite, I mean, dude, I mean, obviously we're going to get to change. Could, could, I mean, could I have a lost that looks like that? Or, or, or is choosing the clan going to fundamentally change the pool of options I get to fiddle about with if that makes, oh my God, dude. Oh, wow. Look at all this, dude. You've got so many things going on, bruh. Tail shape. Are you having a laugh? Tail shape. So, oh, oh my God. He can, I can have him with a tip. Without. I can have a bushy tip. And not a... a, a, a oh, that looks a bit rude. Um, foreskin tip. I, I like his bushy tip. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Tail length. Can have him like short. What's it, what are you, Caskell? You, you, you're a long neck, right? Are you, are you an elven, elven dude? Uh, I don't know, I think we messed with that too much. Face. Oh, oh, we, oh. Do we only get a few faces? Uh, oh, we can change jaw and eye shape and all sorts then. Oh, what the hell, bruh? Uh, you know, you know, like say you, you've got a character, but you think, oh no, I really want to change like their their butthole. C can you can you change it later, or are you kind of like super locked in? 
Uh, if you're on light, it's easier to have friends in light and vice versa. You also travel from Odin to Zodiac. The servers. Again, it doesn't make any sense to me. That, that, I, I don't understand what you mean. You treat, Odin's, the, Odin's like the actual server I'm on, right? So is Zodiac another server? So you, you mean I can, I, I can transfer between the light servers easier than I can transfer light from a light to a dark server? But but what is the difference between a light and a dark server? Is it, is it just a fancy name for another cluster? But, but gameplay-wise, you know what I mean? It's just that one's called dark and one's called light, and I'm thinking like, you know... Alliance and Horde, you know, is there, a, is there a dark playthrough and a light playthrough? Is it, is it just, just literally just a way that they... I, I, you know, I was thinking to start with, it was like maybe something to do with like playtime. Like if you're on the light servers in Europe, like you tend to play during daytime. And maybe the dark servers tend to be on at night time. But that's what I thought. But... So you'd be more likely to have an active, you know, like if you work all day, Monday to Friday, and you can't play like during the light period, you join a dark server, maybe. So you're, yeah, so you're one of the 11 or whatever they're called then, yeah? What, dude, stop jumping around, bro. You're very agitated, mate. I don't like that one, that's horrible, right? I, I, I feel, I mean, like, it's so difficult because it's, let's go for this dude. He, he looks a bit like Mike Tyson, uh, had shenanigans with a cat. Skin color. Oh my God, really? Oh dude, there's so much. Oh no. Oh wow, this is crazy, man. I mean, I quite like him. I mean, I don't dislike what he looks like, to be honest. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, okay. A uh, hairstyle. I think if I go back to this one, I, I just just for better contrast, really, isn't it? It's quite hard to see otherwise. I mean, I actually like that hair, dude, to be fair. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. I'm getting, like, troll vibes, man. World of Warcraft troll vibes. I think it's the tusks and things, right? I quite like that hair, dude. You look, that, that looks like that takes effort, man. That, that dude does not get up and just walk out the door, you know what I mean? I reckon he's got clips and all sorts in there. Uh, So I've got... Oh, wow, dude. I don't, I don't want anything like too... <coughs> I don't want anything too... Um, I want something fairly muted, you know? I, I don't want to be like bright pink and green and... Eyeshadow. I, he's got to have green eyes. He's, he's got to have green eyes. They're sort of a bit more... M Missy would be able to tell me about all this. So, I mean, they look blue to me, dude. You know what I mean? That's a bit more green, right? Is that a bit too green, mate? What do you think? That's that, that, that was quite... I quite like that. <laughs> I, it hasn't got any eyebrows. Can anyone see anything changing? My dude's got no eyebrows, bro. Oh, it's it's eyebrow shape kind of thing, is it? I think we I think we go for that kind of Tyson look. Nose, facial features, face paint, face paint, cut voice. Let's have a good voice. Uh... Okay, I'm 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 starting to feel regret. No. What do you think? That's quite cool. Six is quite good. Oh, I don't know. Eight is quite good. No. No. 
I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, for, for the shock factor, Kalgar. It, yeah, it's going to be my... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go full cat mode from now on, mate. Uh, cat emotes. Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a cat furry suit. I'm going full cat, bro. I've decided it's, it's time to let out the inner cat. <laughs> You're right, Star Mage. So, sorry, uh, Lysander. For data centers are just mega servers with a bunch of smaller ones inside of it, but you can visit any data center in your region for free. Oh really? So so it doesn't matter then. So I don't need to be on Odin then. Is that right, Lysander? So so I I, I can just as easily have started a character like I don't know on Zodiac and, and just like just said now today I want to log in with like Caskill kind of thing. Is, is that right? Or um, you're right, Songbird. How are you? Have a nice weekend, Songbird. Uh, you're right, Shades. Uh, morning, Avalanche. I missed you, mate. I can't see you in chat, Avalanche. I'm trying to find you, dude. I saw Shades say morning to you, but I can't see you on my chat for some reason. Uh, you think it's just cluster names? Light and dark play a big theme with the Final Fantasy franchise. Yeah, so it's... A, but, it, but it doesn't mean anything, yeah? Like, like I say, I'm not going to find out I'm playing in, like, the wrong time zone, yeah? Uh, it, I've seen Light make fun of Chaos, saying they have Chaos debuff. Is that a thing, is it? Uh, your morning Necron. I, I, I know, like, as in not actually for real, but I mean, is there a chaos debuff in the game? Uh, you're right, Star Mage. Well, to be honest, I'm not too. I'm not too worried, mate. What, what, I mean, I, I, I also sort of like instantly quite like the look of him. He, look, he looks like a cat Tyson. Grum's gone furry. Yeah, you prefer the word pussy over what? Pussy? No, no one says pussy with reference to cats anymore, do they? You've unsubbed Kelgar. What, because I'm a cat person? Uh, when I looked the other day, you can only visit certain other servers. was looking to see if I could drop in on Mario, but couldn't visit their world. Oh, so, oh, so, you, so, so it's not as simple as we're, we're, someone said then, Casco. Uh, you're sick. You've been, it's, oh, no, Necron. You've been poorly, mate. What, what have you got, dude? My girlfriend's giving me this, like... <laughs> see what I mean? You see, you see how the minute you say it, you start, you start feeling it, dude. I, I suppress it as I'm talking, and the minute I'm about to mention the cough, I, I, I'm suddenly consciously aware of it, and I can feel the tickles. Like you, you can't suppress it once you're, you, you know, you're sort of like your subconscious re immediately reattaches on it, and it becomes a very conscious kind of suppression, then. Are you going to join a guild on... Have you got a guild, Caskell? I did say hi. I'm sorry. I do apologize. I'm, I'm, mate, I've not slept nearly now for two days, mate. I'm so tired, bro. I had a little bit of uh, a little bit of a doze yesterday, but uh, not long. Um, You can only buy a house on your home server. Oh, you get houses. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, what about, what about fly? Can I, can I fly in this game? All right, all right. Well, look, we, we, we've got, we've got. Hang on, how come my, how come my controller's not working? Oh, it is. I think this dude looks a badass. I think this dude looks like an absolute badass, bro. I mean, look at that. He, he, he's, he's a Kelgar destroyer. I mean, just look at him, dude. What a, what a my. I, I need, I need an appropriate name for him. What the hell am I going to call it? Do I have to have a double-barreled name? I noticed when I made Test McTestly. It seems to be hell bent on forcing that upon me, to be honest. Uh, how would? Oh God! No, I don't. I don't want to do that, do I? How do I? How? How, how on the cursor do I go back to the left-hand side? It doesn't seem to want to let me. On a controller, how would I go back over there? A B? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Um. Confirm then, yeah? Uh, your guild and free company fell apart ages ago. It still exists, but only if you log on and no planned groups left these days. Should we make, should we make a guild, Caskill? You are not. What will we call ourselves, bro? Uh, Alright, confirm, yeah? 
Save appearance data. When saved, appearance data can be reused when creating another character. Uh, yeah, go on then. Why not? Um, save slot one. Comment. Uh, uh, the beginning. Uh, and we'll call it Easter 2024. And I'll look back on this in, in like many, many years to come and go. That's where it all began. <laughs> uh, yes. Data saved. Okay. Oh, specify your character's date of birth. This character has no effect on gameplay. The Ulzean, the Ulzean, the Ulzean calendar. The Ulzean calendar consists of the moon, Menfina, revolving around Hydaelyn's two astral and umbral poles. Well, this is very, this is very fancy, Doc. While fluctuating between each of their six elements in this, the year can be. All right, we will be. What should we be? Should we be like? Uh, I think we'll be the. I don't know. What do you reckon? Um, does it? I mean, it doesn't make any huge. Astral or umbral? I think we'll go for the. Uh, I think I'm, I'm feeling I'm, I'm drawn to the third umbral moon, and I, I think we'll go for the the tenth, the tenth sun of the third umbral moon. Well, I don't know. Now I feel like we should go third, the third sun of the third umbral moon. Well, that sounds cool. Oh my god, what's all this? Um, select your character's painting. Oh my god, Jesus, there's so much going on. Um, good morning, Divine. Morning. You're going to have a blanker alike. Oh, hang on, what's that, Doc? Blanker alike flying. No, no, no. I meant as in mounts, dude. I don't mean I was going to grow wings. Did you even MMO, bro? Uh, morning, Raz. How are you doing, Divine? Hello, Mumbry. Uh, a warning, some people in our community are very annoying. <laughs> mate, I've been around on Twitch long enough to know that, that, that that's the same for any community, mate. Uh, with how many, how new players should play or what they should do, they're going to get a bloody weird awakening on this channel, then, aren't they, mate? <laughs> oh, dearie, mate. Oh, I see. I, I, Jesus. <laughs> this is not like other Twitch channels, bro. Uh, so <laughs> oh, oh, I oh, I'm feeling a bit hungry. Oh, ah, let the games commence. <laughs> this is why I click randomize six times and roll whatever it is. <coughs> That's pretty much what I've done, to be honest. I, I haven't really done a lot, really, have I? Um, I like this the art Glaciers and the Goddess of War. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, the Keeper of the Moon and the Goddess of Love. Uh, rivers and Wisdom. Uh, celestial Bodies and Goddess of Fate. Uh, I, don't, I mean, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like I'm drawn to the blues. Uh, this looks like a little spinny wheel. This, this looks like a, a scroll of... This looks like a pew pew. What, 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 what job am I going to go for, dude? Is there something you'd recommend? Like, not because not it's good, but it's kind of like fun for a new player you know is that you know in some games you tend to find something you know is a little bit more mechanically complex you know bearing in mind you know just because you find it easy doesn't mean i'm going to i'm streaming you know i'm, I'm gonna be distracted you know is, is there a kind of you know a fun you know it doesn't have to be something simple but you know something that is kind of fun as your first character is going to get you into the rhythm of the game a little bit you know your spread looked lovely. Really nice, Divine. Uh, they've not met Simpson or Hammer. I uh, always love that cheeky smile I got my face when I hear Grub Bish Bash. Right, right, Bish Bash Bosh and a Ding Dang Doo, mate. Lovely jubbly. Where are the boobilies? I thought this game. Oh, well, you can have boobilies. It's just that I'm not playing a female character, so. Um, I'm feeling. I like this. It, it could be like uh, cat balls. Uh, like, like a yin and yang thing. The keeper of the moon and the goddess of love. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could learn to make purring sounds.
things. Do, do you reckon I could like, yeah, maybe I could learn to do like cat guttural purring. So. Mind you, this one looks quite good, the goddess of war. I kind of prefer this blue though. Uh, the goddess of fate, she commands the elements of water. Uh, in, yo, oh, it was a spinning wheel. Huh. Uh, Thalek is the father of Lumillion, the teacher of Birgot. I think I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for. Um, I could either be Horny Cat or Angry Cat. Horny Cat or Angry Cat. I like the idea. The, the, look, look at it. Relentless warrior S armed with a bronze great shield and the symbol of. Th Let's do it. Okay. Oh, oh, is this where I'm choosing? Oh, hang on. What's this? What's this? Disciples of war. Disciples of magic. All right. Okay. Okay. So I can either be magic wizard cat. All right. Okay. Or, or, or I can be bash things over the head with, with stuff cat, right? So a gladiator. He, he has a sword. What the hell is a pugilist? Oh, uh, brass knuckles by the looks of it. A marauder who has a... Oh, oh, that's like a big choppy choppy thingy. A lancer. Can I zoom out a little bit? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, that's a big one. Or an... Oh, an archer cat. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, I quite like the sound of that. That looks pretty badass. Uh... Is that all the classes? I thought there was like about 20 classes. I thought there were a lot more than that. Uh, can I not have a, can I not have a shield? I, I'd like to have a, a, like, like a shield and, and, and a sword uh, and be like a tank cat. Uh, oh, hang on. Here we go then. So Marauder, you reckon, Smet? Why have the Marauder then some silly twitch emote? That is not a job. Ooh, obviously, Star. Come on, mate. We're not that stupid. Uh, Mombri, the Marauder and Gladiator are the fun starting. To Marauder and Gladiator. Mar yeah, I don't. I don't like this. Looks like a two-handed weapon, and that, that's for losers. Uh, Gladiator, you are Maximus. De no, no. Oh, Gladiator. Yeah, yeah. May maybe Gladiator. Archer oh, becomes a bard. What? What? Really? Well, I start with a bow, and then I, I get like a, a flute. No, that, that doesn't sound very exciting. Gladiators use the shield. Oh, do they? So, so I, so I'm like a poor gladiator. I can't. I, so, I, I sort of like any had like enough copper coins for a, a sword. But later on, I can maybe buy a shield. Stealth archer. Could, ooh, ooh, Kelgar, Kelgar. Stealth archer, could, dude. You know, let's overcome our fears, Kelgar, right? This is like a, a therapy session, right? Gladiators become paladins. No way. What for real, dude? See, so this dude get, gets a sword. Later, he'll get a shield. And later, he can become a paladin cat. Is that for real, dude? Gladiators specialize in the handling of all manner of one handed blades from. Oh, long swords. Uh, be they double... I like long swords. A defining characteristic of the artist to emphasise... I think I think there's some very bad English in this. It's emphasis. Oh, no, emphasis. Uh, sorry, that's my bad. Is it... Uh, so, sorry, is it, I thought it was going to say... It's, yeah, sorry, that's maybe an idiot. It's emphasis on diverse combat tactics. Uh, training its moments to bring their martial skills to bear in any situation. As such, there are practitioners who marry... Hang on, does this mean I'm going to have to be a tank, though? Does this mean in a group I've got to play tank and actually no shit? Because I can't be doing that on stream anymore, man. You know, it's getting too much. Healers and tanks, man. You actually need to know what the F you're doing, don't you? Can't I just be a DPS who sits in the back just like drinking beer and like clicking a few buttons here and there? I mean, can I, can I play like a gladiator and not be a tank? Like, every time we get a grit, they're going to go, well, you're obviously the tank, mate. Off you go up front and, and like, get my brains beaten out all day long again. 
Oh, really? Oh, dude. That means I've got to learn, like, boss tells and, like, get out of danger and use skills at the right time. Oh, God. What a dude. I just want, I just, can't I just be a dude at the back who just, like, shoots arrows and gets out of, like, what I guess is big red circles on the floor. That sounds a lot easier to me, mate. Tanking's really easy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's everyone that's never tanked. <laughs> <coughs> Playing a tank is easy. I don't know, boys. I don't know, lads. What's going to be better for the stream? Uh, uh, I, I seem to remember Final Fantasy likes a lot of whizzy, whizzy, flash, bangy stuff, right? And, and obviously, with encoding as it is on stream, it's not the greatest, is it? So, would it be better to play like someone who's a little bit out of the fight, or, or is that going to be boring? I mean, I've got to admit, I do quite. I mean, he looks a badass as an archer. Got to admit, he looks he looks proper bosh there, man. But I do like the idea of him, like, without an, an, a shield. That does sound kind of cool. Archer slash bard. I, I, dude, as a bard, do I play a musical instrument? Or, or can I, like, you know, cat trump bottom farts for music? Do, do I play a musical instrument as a bard? Uh, what does a lancer do? Uh, do you want me to have a look? A lancer is a dude with a lance, bro. It's not really that complicated, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but you don't really do music. You have a boat, but use an instrument with a skill. So I, uh, so I, uh, now and again, I'm going to whip out a flute, is what you're telling me. Yeah? Uh, if you don't like Gladiator, you can start to watch a later one and play as Archer or whatever. Feel free to try things out. Okay, all right, that, that sounds good. That sounds good advice, boys. I don't, I don't like the idea of playing a musical instrument. That sounds very lame to me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this looks quite cool as well. Uh, what do you reckon? Gladiator or Archer? Oh, it's a tough call, boys. I mean, I, I kind of like them both. What do you reckon, chat? Glad or Archer? Bard only plays music in, inside towns for fun. Oh, so I can ignore it. All right, okay. Well, you, you saw me on one or the other. I mean, I like the idea of being a paladin more than I like the idea of being a bard. So, so personally, gladiator sounded a bit more fun, to be honest. A we could be a glarcher. It's a good point. That's what sucked about Dragon's Dogma. You, you could, you could, you could be a fighter, but he, apparently he was in inept and couldn't use a crossbow or a bow. I don't, I don't like staying in the battle. I actually prefer to be up front. It's just that I. I I'm never going to be a good tank when I'm streaming because I'm, I'm distracted, man. You know, I like to have a chin wag. I, I like to talk about cool stuff. And, and if I'm a tank, I have to, like, pay attention. Whereas DPS, just, they've got it easy, right? It's, like, super easy. Oh, Max, thank you very much. Oh, God. Oh, this cough's killing me, dudes. I'm so sorry. Max, thank you for the fight. <laughs> Oh, I should take time out when I'm poorly. Uh, Max, thank you for the $5 Patreon, mate. Thank you very much. I do apologise, Max. Big hugs to you. I hope you're well, mate. I do apologise. Let's get a replay on that. And Songbird, thank you for the uh, Tier 1 Twitch sub. Don't forget, guys, if you do want to consider supporting our Patreon as, uh, as well, or, or as an alternative, I didn't mean as well. As well, there is another option. Uh, they become Dragoons and have a lot of flashy moves. If you like melee but not tank, go Pugilist or Lancer. Yeah, I, I don't like the name Pugilist. It's just a bit lame. Uh, and he's got brass knuckles, which is lame. Uh, what was the other one you said? Uh, Lancer. Lancer just looks like he's, I don't know. I mean, it's very big. I think I'd rather go Gladiator. Through 2024, I'm never going to be a good tank. I, I'm not, though, am I? I mean, you, you, look, if you're going to be a good tank, you've you got to you got to have your eye on the ball, ain't you? If, if the tank dies, everyone's doomed. If the healer dies, everyone's doomed. If the DPS dies, half the time no one even notices the DPS have died. It's just like, oh, this, this fight's taking a bit longer than normal. You know what I mean?
Uh, I'm putting fights you have to have two tanks. So you'll be a bonus tank who stands at the side of the boss in case the healers forgot to heal the main tank. All right. So, so if narcolepsy inflicts the healing team, then oh, okay, well that's interesting. Yeah, don't, don't, I'm not worried about I'm not worried about the difficulty. I mean, I, I can overcome the difficulty. I, I have emptied in WoW, but uh, I, I, I struggled even in basic fights, to be honest, with WoW last time we played. I'm too distracted to, to learn the fights. Um, I think I don't know, boys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Gladiator and see what happens. Oh, what the hell? Alpha World. World is another name for the server on which your character will reside. Alpha? Do I want Alpha? Or do I want Odin? I thought, hang on, I thought we chose Odin. What is my gut? Well, if my gut told me something, I'd have chosen it. <laughs> That's why I'm asking chat. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm kind of too. And now I feel like I should have got Archer Shades. I assume I don't want Alpha, right? And I want to choose Odin, yeah? Is that right, Caskill? Just wait for Caskill if he's around, because I, 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 want, I want to play with Caskill. Giggity, giggity. How are you doing, Kelgar? You had, you had a nice uh, weekend, mate? Yeah, P Pugilist is like, uh, he's like a Brass Knuckles my MMA dude. He's like Conor McGregor with, like, Brass Knuckles. You want me to choose Odin, yeah? So if I, so if I click that... Cancel, update, confirm. Oh, I've got to choose a name. Oh, no. This is where, like, all the... Oh, man. They're all going to get, like, really angry at me, right? Because, oh, this isn't a... This isn't a... Uh, what, what even am I? What am I? A cat man. Oh, a Hrothgar. Is that, my, is that what I am? I'm a Hrothgar. Like an elf, but I'm a Hrothgar, yeah? Hrothgar. It'll be, oh, well, that, that's not a very Hrothgarian name. <laughs> and it'll be, I'll be like an outcast. That's probably why everyone was following me around in the city when I got a character called Test McTesty. I, I don't think people were very impressed with me, to be honest, mate. I, I think they were trying to shoo me off the server, to be fair. What about if I go, uh, what, what, what's the sort of cat name? Um, Oscar. <laughs> what about uh, Grumble... Uh, 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 what, what's the sort of, what, what kind of names are, are, are Hrothgarians? Uh, you can click the random name button. Uh, oh, where's that? Random name button? Where's that? Specific full name, surname? I, I, I want to be Grumble. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want totally random. What about uh, if we go for um, Grumpf? God, you lot have got about as much imagination as my freaking toner. It's got to be something good because I might like it, dude. I'm getting into this very positive mindset. This is why I've chosen to be a cat man, all right? What about um, Grumble? Uh, it's it's got to have like a like a roll, like a purr, like a grumble, 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 growl, grumble, 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 uh, Gra. Yeah, so we we'll go for Grumble. It would, normally it would be Grumble Greybeard, but that's more Hume, isn't it? What, what about if we go for like... Uh, g uh gra gr 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 Grumble gr gr Grumble gr gr Grumble Grakash, maybe? I'd like, like spell it like, I don't know, like that. Grumble Grakash. What about that? That's, that's kind of cane, right? <laughs> <laughs> Grub Claws! Dude, what the hell? You, you like 12? <laughs> uh, what about Glack? Shades, is Glack Ash a good name? Grub Claws. Uh, they were expecting presents, mate. We were walking around like Santa Claus. Grumble Glack Ash. Or, or what about like, um. Uh, <coughs> throw, throw, throw in. <coughs> God, I'm so sorry, guys. <coughs> throw in like a, a, a V. You don't see a lot of V's, do you? What, what about, um... 
uh, Grumble Grav Gravias Gravias. Or something. Uh, I, quite, I, I quite like Gracash actually. Gracash. It, it's it's got a bit of Klingon in it, right? You you will. So I was this. I was this. The random name. All uh, right, got it. Uh, I'm going with what I've got. Screw the wire, mate. This is a serious game. Stop pissing around. Confirm. Grumble Gracash. 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 Alright, I can, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Uh, begin a new game with this character. Uh, are you okay? Look, I look a badass, bro. Like an actual badass, dude. Right, oh. Y you are kidding me. Are you taking the piss? I have to wait in a queue. Dude. Is this normal? You've got to be kidding me, right? Should, should I click cancel or just wait? Is, is it doing anything? It's not going down, boys. Who are these seven? Someone log out for me. Go on, log out. Log out. Everyone log out. Quick. Uh, uh, Caskill, are you in? Log out. So, oh, here we go. Oh is, is, oh, is it like that all the time? Oh, don't worry. It goes. Oh, is, is, is that just like because it's loading your data kind of thing? It's not really a QQ. I can hear the woofers. It's, it's supposed to be sound. I'm not hearing the sound, guys. Oh, the sound is so broken in this game. There's just like no noise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss the start, dude. This is ridiculous. There's no, there's no volume, guys. Oh, dude. I've got, I've got subtitles and no. No audio. Oh, man. Oh, this is this. I bet this is epic as well. Should, should I quit now or am I going to miss out on the chance? Oh, I don't believe this, bro. This is going to ruin my whole story, man. Oh, my God. I look terrible. Why does my dude look so low res? Is this like all the story as well, bro? Am I missing out like on like the, the whole plot line of... Oh, I'm going to have to watch it on YouTube or something, right? Holy shit, was that me? I got, I got, a I got like a, a power shield, like the Power Rangers look. All right, I'll, I'll do. Wah! Take that, nasty man! Ah, bright light! Wah! Oh no, I can't see. Fall asleep. Wake up. Black screen. Oh, I think it's broken, boys. All right, this is terrible. This is not a good start for the game, is it? Hey, hey, you. What, why no audio, boys? Oh man, this is this is not good, dudes. Let, let me press escape. Oh my god, what what can I do? What can I do? Uh, sh shall I just like log out? Oh god, may maybe go back to desktop or something. And uh... yeah, I've got I've got no audio coming through for to, to the game at all, man. Uh... Yeah, I've got I've got desktop audio. Desktop audio is fine. Uh So why are we losing sound in the game, do you think? Oh. We're back, we're back. I have sound in here. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? I feel quite sad by that. <laughs> she make another character. Is there a weird mute? Well, the thing is, I haven't pressed anything because I'm on a controller, dude. Well, I wasn't on a controller first time. I'm on a controller. I'm not even, it's, it's sitting on the desk, dude. I'm about to pick it up. You had the same issue. I uninstalled. What, for real? What, no sound? 
hope this doesn't keep happening. Uh, anyway, who's this dude? That's me, right? Um, skip so cutscene, no. Are you all right, lad? Said the grizzled passenger. You were moaning something fierce for a while there. Oh, wait, it was a dream, dude. I need to watch that, don't I? And anyone give me just a really quick, like, um, a quick summary of what happened. At the, at the moment, I don't really know much, do I? I, I fast asleep, I had a dream, some nasty dude got, got, got a cool paladin shield by the looks of it. Is, is there no voiceover now? Uh, the grizzled passenger. I, I, feeling the effects of the ether, he says. Uh, you'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, is it Chocobo or Chocobo? I, I know a little bit about Final Fantasy. That looks really badass. Holy shit, that actually looks really cool. Whoa. Oh, it's a new world helmet. Look. New world subscribes to the belief that it, the, the less you can see uh, with your helmet protection, the better. Uh, I, I'm not sure why, but apparently it's a thing. Uh, the Brass Blade Captain. You there, Holt. Okay. Oh my god, that's one of them Oompa Loompas, look. With, with a moustache. The carriage driver. What's this all about? Oh, what's this all about? Maybe would be better. The brass blade captain inspection men search the carriage. Oh, we got we got some uh, some chicks in the battle. Look. God, I look huge, bro. Uh, the grizzled passenger. I'm just an honest peddler, friend. So uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Uh, the brass blade. Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it out. Oh, what the, oh, hang on. Pl plant it, plant it, mate. I saw him pull it out of his pocket, mate. It's a stitch-up geezer. Sir, look. Somnus. What's Somnus? Is that bad? Is, is that like catnip? <laughs> is, that, is that my stash of cat bud? The brass black captain. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in... Oh, it was prohibited herbs. It actually is catnip, look. <coughs> You're in a lot of trouble, old man, said the brass blade captain. You're right in a dungeon till the end of your days. Oh, here we go. Unless you can afford the fine. Oh, that old nugget. Oh, business as usual, said the grizzled passenger. Whoa! Wah! Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Amalgia, <laughs> Amalgia, to arms to arms, said the brass blade runner. Hey, oh, who's this lot? Oh, they look bad. Whoa, whoa, they did. Uh, seven hells can see this a warning. Now go, all of you. Oh, they're not, they're not bad, bad then. They're, they're going to save us, lot. Oh, it's got, it's got no landing gear. Oh, those things look nasty. Dead. Well played, bro. Well played. Uh, grizzled passenger. Whew, that kind of excitement's not good for the heart. You better be careful around them brass blades, lad. The bastards will... Oh, cheeky, cheeky. I'll have the shirt off your back if they fancy it. Like common bandits they are, only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Hey, soon as we've still got a long ride ahead, do you mind keeping me company until we arrive? Uh, them young'uns don't much care for conversation. See, uh, like, see, they're on their iPhones, mate. Playing Clash of Clans. Or well, more likely TikTok. Brent. Brent's the name and peddling's betrayed. Nice to meet you, Brent. I look terrible. Do I actually look like that? I looked really good a minute ago. Uh, judging by your unusual garments, I'd wager you're one of them new adventurers. Oh, yes, a solemn nod of the head. I knew it going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. As so long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business, these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Oh, uh, power, glory, or a fortune? Uh, I was bored, basically. Um... Maybe that's not a legitimate answer. Uh, power. Uh, not really. Glo no, I don't really, I mean... I, I don't really want any of those things. Is, can, can, shall I just say, shall I be a quiet cat? 
Like, like a sultry cat, yeah? Is this Skyrim? Uh, no. It's Final Fantasy. <laughs> You had some, you had the same issue. You already saw, did, you, did you really shine? No sound when talking to NPCs. I, I don't think there is any voiceover with NPCs, though, is there? I can say I uh, like the. Oh, I could have done actually start, couldn't I? Yeah. We could, oh, actually, that's a good point. I can watch it on YouTube, though, right? Uh, someone told hear, feel, think. Then you fought Dark Man with power of light. Hang on. Someone told hear, feel, think. What? what, what? Uh, it's the game saying you'll get powerful only in your dreams. Yeah, th 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 and the dreams are the game, right? Uh, what DLC should I need to join to see the cost? Uh, we well, you can just play it for nine ninety nine, dude. Well, you can play it for free. There's, there's like a completely free starter edition, which is like 30 days free play killer. Uh, and, and, and then you, if, if you do that, and then you just want to carry on playing without any of the DLC, you can spend $9.99 a month. Or you can go and buy Endwalker, which is £30, which is everything the game's got to offer to date, if that makes sense. Uh, morning, Swazza. Of <coughs> course, excuse me. Most embassies don't have voiceover. Yeah, it's, it's a lot to ask. You, you got to remember when this game came out, it was built on like, was it like PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 or something? So audio takes a huge amount of space, man. Uh, there is more important stuff and also with the later expansions, you get more voice. Yeah, I'm not worried about the voice. I'm not worried about the voice. It is what it is, mate. It's one of the things that Elder Scrolls Online has a massive advantage over, isn't it? Really good voice acting, great stories, all that sort of stuff. If it's not there, it's not there. It's no point worrying about it. Nothing we can do, is it? Um, mind you, World of Warcraft doesn't have voiceovers, but they've got some really cool mods on Curse Forge, haven't they? Which, which voice acts everything. Uh, Brent. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might, as, uh, might be as old Brent as a chatterbox, but he sure as hell ain't... Uh, but he sure as hell ain't no busybody. We all have a secret or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather they stay secret too, which is why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. Just remember though, they're more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no point, ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. By the by, is this your first trip to Ulder? It is, yes. Uh, absolutely. Well, might as well be. We've had a little bit of time, haven't we? Uh, it is. Well then, let this journeyed itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. It's older a city, is it? So we're just like a dude, yeah? We're just like a dude uh, off to, you know, make some coin and we go into like a big city, are we? Is, is that the story so far, yeah? Oh, and we had a dream with a nasty dude, yeah? Uh, oh, or maybe a good dude, who knows? <laughs> Alders ruled by the Sultana. What, 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 do you mean a Sultan? Or do you actually mean like a small wrinkly raisin? But as mate, ma who knows, it's Final Fantasy. It could be literally a Sultana with like goggly eyes on it on a throne. But as many folk know, the Syndicate holds all the real power. Okay, the Syndicate. Here we go, boys. It, the, the, the plot thickens. Them and their monetarist cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether. But that won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the royalists. And the royalists are nothing if not loyal. All right. Shades, are we making notes? The syndicate and the royalists. These factions have long fought over power, throwing the weight of their wealth against each other, and they show no signs of stopping. Of course, the lizard, lizard men, that's the Amalja, couldn't care less about all darn politics. They have their own interests, see? And they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. So we've kind of got like the royalists led by the Sultana, the syndicate, and some lizard folk. They say war is a gift to peddlers needing, uh, need pro uh, sorry, need breeding profit. And though, it let me move my microphone. I can't see off of it with one eye. Uh, and though it shows me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, right long. It's a bit like Skyrim style. So what do you mean by Skyrim now, killer? Like, like on the carriage at the beginning. Behold Ulda, the jewel of Thanalan, where folk turn sand into gold.
deep in the sun-baked oh, south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance, Ulda. her name, Ulda. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. Cool stuff. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Is the Sandra our boss? Oh, Bran. Uh, uh, Murphy. Uh, Murph. Uh, so oh, hang on. Seb Yebu as well. So I do apologize, Seb Yebu. I do apologize. My, my sincerest of apologies, in fact. Let me move my thingy around. Uh, thank you very much for the Prime, Seb Yebu. And Murph, thank you for the 63 in the Prime. Don't forget, guys, if you are considering supporting the channel, you can also do it through Patreon. We're not going to try and push you in that direction, but, but, but let's not get into the ins and outs of it. Let's, let's just enjoy our game time. What will be, will be, right? But uh, thank you very much, guys. How are you, Murph? How's, uh, how's the fam doing, dude? And thank you very much, um, Seb Yedu. Thank you for the prime, dude. Brent, here's where we part ways, lad. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's on the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by ways of thanking for putting up with me a prattle. Huh? Um, you never did tell me your name, though. But hey, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Right, so this is where I'm going to first get to control my character, is it? May well, I the like traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Wow, he actually looks pretty badass, man. Huh. Right, this is this it then? Is this where it begins? <laughs> Not making promises, shows. Why well, is it quite complicated? Is it? Yeah. It's like Caspel said, there's, there's, there's a lot of history with Final Fantasy, isn't there? I don't, I don't know how much of it ties into this, and I, I just, you know, I've, I've played Final Fantasy seven years ago, and I've actually seen this little start zone. This is where the, uh, oh, oh, there's me on the left-hand side, look. Oh my god, I look amazing. Look at me, boys, and I look a badass. What's my name again? Uh, oi, Venturer, over here. Who's that? Who's that? Oh my God. It's, it's John Lennon. Uh, I mean you. Fresh off the carriage by any chance? How can I tell? How can you tell? I, I reckon we eat him. Could we start eating people? The name's Weemond. Weemond? And my business is knowing every bugger else's. <laughs> Now then, what if, uh, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by way of welcome to our fair city? Free of charge, even just this one slide. I know if I trust this dude. Uh, I reckon he's up to no good boys. Right, this is it then. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, I, 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 look, I do look badass. I do look badass. I'm wearing a corset. I'm not wearing a corset. I'm wearing a battle vest. All right. Look, dude, I played New World, bro. There ain't no way this game can be any worse than New World and its weapon and armor design, right? I'd, I'd rather be wearing a battle vest slash corset than a backwards bra, right? Look at this little dude. Oh, hang on. Uh, I can't move. Uh, welcome to Uldar, the shining beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thanalan. All right, so we're in a region called Thanalan. It's deserty. And we're in Uldar. Yeah? Notes, shades, notes. 
Killer, this launcher is poop. <laughs> You're right, Murph. Uh, cheeky weed they are for the resurrection. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I be bad, lad? As you the fam uh, Girlfriend's still quite poorly, but I think she's getting a bit better, though, Murph. Yeah, I, she had a really bad night last night, but th throughout the day, she, she was a lot better yesterday. <laughs> <coughs> but yesterday evening, it's always night time with chest, isn't it, Murph? Like, you know when you lie down, it all starts gurgling again, doesn't it? Uh, please select the control scheme you wish to use. Uh, gamepad. Uh, follow the instructions to move your character in just the position of the camera. Okay, so I've got LT, hotbar, RT, hotbar, turn auto run on or off. What with LB? Cycle through hotbars. Uh, move cursor, cycle through party members, cycle through tar. Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember all this. Uh, select nearest, display map, jump into a casting. Oh my god, how small is that text down there? Uh, all right, uh, follow the instructions to move the character and adjust the position of the camera. When you're ready to proceed, speak to Wimon. Open, oh my god, open the Final Fantasy 14 Lodestone Play Guide. Well, hang on, whoa, 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 what's this, what's this? Do, do, do I need a play guide? I, I don't think we should have that, should we go away? Uh, back. Close. Can I move? Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, we want, oh, I have to go and speak to him. I just wanted to have a move around. Uh, oh god. Um, back. Close. Go away. Alright, let's go. It clearly wants me to speak to this dude. Uh, initiating quests. Back. Select. Confirm. Um, Non-player characters, NPCs, offer, offering quests can be recognised by the exclamation marks above their heads. Okay. To bring up the quest window, speak with the NPC by first targeting him and then pressing... How do I target him? Uh, Okay, I've got, I've got a little, I've got like a little green thing. I've got a little pair of like, oh, it's like a little green penis and a pair of bollocks next to my name. What, what's that mean? I've got a gangrenous penis. Oh, hang on, what have I pressed it? How, 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 how did I do that? Hang on, how did I do that? Oh God. Uh. Coming to Uldar. Uh, oh god, what the hell? Uh, once you've initiated the quest, the prompts will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Press the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your list of current duties. Alright. Okay. Coming to Uldar. Right, I've got 400 of those, like, really nice things. Uh, what are they called? Pretzels. I can get 400 pretzels and 103 coins. I take it pretzels are quite important then, yeah? Uh, to be recognised as an adventurer in the city-state of Uldar, you must register yourself with the Adventurers Guild. Is, it, is this me talking to him? Is it, am I having a chat and he's giving me a quest? What are all these... What's this braille thing down in the bottom right? All, all these, like, little dots, look. I've got, like, I've got, like, the Unsullied Army. And, and then some, like, green dudes down in the bottom right-hand corner. Look. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, tis, plain, uh, tis plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. I, 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 you literally could not be more true. Well, absolutely, mate. A, a map. I'll, I'll buy a map. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse. That doesn't sound very good. I don't want that on my conscience. Okay. So before you do anything else, you want to head over to the quicks... The quicksand? And speak with... Oh, is, the, is this like a, a tavern, is it? Uh, she's the master of the Adventurers Guild and can set you on the right path. Right, the Adventurers Guild. Over there. Look, over there. Over yonder, the verily merrily, Dragon's Dogma-esque style, sir. You, ta you take those steps over yonder. Oh, he literally said yonder. And pass through the double... I I'm clearly... I was born to play this game. Uh, you'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventuring, adventurer. See? I'm an adventurer. Okay. Uh, you have begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your quest. Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list on the right side of the screen. A maximum number of five quests can be displayed at once. Okay. Uh, select the title. It will open the quest in your journal, allowing you to re review objectives and rewards. Okay. All right. It's all fairly straightforward. 
Uh, okay. So if I do, oh wait, what have I done? What's this? Why is it? Why is this thing bouncing around all over? Oh right. Oh, is that how that works? Is it? Oh okay. So if I want to go up there, oh, I've got oh, that's nice. Uh, map. Oh, so I can move. The, so I can move the map around. I can zoom the map in. Hang on, where am I? It doesn't seem to be saying where I am. Uh. Oh, hang on. Uh, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Um. Hang on, hang on. Let, let me, let me come out. Hang on. What's happening, boys? Speak with Mamodi. Uh, how would I? How would I go to the map on that? Oh, what the? Oh my God! What's all that mean? Oh God! Oh, there's so many things. You think you think it will show me where it was on the map? Shall I just? Shall I just go where he said? Shall I just go up here? You, you bought the missus a CMB pin badge from Vindolander. What's Vindolander? They were all the rage for Romans. Hang on, what's this? It's a web guide. Do I need a web guide page? Is it is it that complicated? Do I have to follow a guide or watching my wife search battle vest on Amazon thinks she's trying to sound fat? <laughs> it's a battle vest. Shut up, all right? Bloody corset. You just like you like just randy. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm, oh, hang on. Look, I can see. Ah, now on the mini map, I can see like a little green tick. But I can't see anything <coughs> in here. Let's get rid of that. That thing's useless. Uh, oh, 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 the pretzels. Oh, the pretzels are experience points. Oh, right. Oh, so oh, I'm a bit, oh, I'd rather have. Can I can I have pretzels instead? The dots is the inventory. Oh, really? So how do I access? Or should I not? Should we just like do the tutorial? For some reason, as I move, right? It's annoying. As I move, yeah, the camera is like auto moving. It's driving me mad. Oh God. How how do I change like? The camera's like auto tracking for some reason. How do I? How, oh, system. Support desk. Character configuration. Character maybe? Oh my god, I can see it. How do I get to that? Oh shit. Uh, how, how, how do I? How do I? How do I? How do I get to the sub commands there, look? Look, disable camera pivot. Why would they have camera pivot on? Oh, that's so much better. Oh my God, why is that on by default? Oh my God, that's so much better. That was driving me potty. See what I mean? You see what I mean? Holy shit, dude. I'm, I'm doing things, boys. Uh, I can zoom in, I can zoom. Oh my God. Oh, I like that. All right. Okay. What, what are the buttons? Hang on, before I do it, what are the buttons have I got? Uh, I can zoom in, zoom out. I've got all these. Oh, here we go. Sprint, auto attack, return, and teleport. Choppy, choppy. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. What have I done? Oh, my God. Do you, can you play first person? Holy shit. Is that a thing? Or, or is that not really meant to be a thing? That's... That, holy shit. You, you can actually play first person, boys. How do I get out of first person? Uh, what did I... Oh, there we go. Um, okay. Um, I, yeah, I've got, I don't know what that green thing next to my name is. Are you alright, Glitz? How are you doing, Project Natal? How's things? Have you seen an official gameplay trailer, Starship Simulator, and you really need to watch the trailer? I have. I've even played it, and it's not that great to me. 
In, in, in fact, I, I don't understand why everyone's saying it's the greatest thing. There's like literally nothing to do. It, 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 it's like selling you something that doesn't exist. I, I do not understand the obsession with it too much, Captain Speedy. And I'm not trying to be too harsh for it, but it, it literally, you just wander around a starship, really. It, it, it's really boring. Uh, the compass top right has a check mark that uh, shows your quest to... Yeah, I just saw that, actually, yeah. But it wasn't on the map, which kind of surprised me. Uh, first post is not really well playable. It's okay for moving around, though, by the looks. You're right, Valiant. It seems a series of stray cats have decided that the area around my house is now where they live, and it's sending the dogs in my area insane. They just sit on the fence at night, and the dogs... Gatling gun or flamethrower, Valiant. Easy peasy, bro. And I'm saying that as a cat man. Uh, the green thing next to your name is the... Sp oh, it's a sprout. Oh, is that what it is? Well, I think it looks like a zombie dick and balls. So I'm, I'm sticking with that, bro. So it's like a little sapling, is it? Who's this little rug rat? Oh, my God. Uh, well, hello there. Who might you be? You vast hulk of cat muscle. Uh, if you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you've come to the right place. Uh, my name is Mamodi, and I own this fine establishment, if it please you. I reckon I could eat her in, in like maybe two chomps, a little bit of garlic, and maybe some asparagus. I'm, I'm feeling like some, some honey glazed asparagus. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Ulda, so you might say that looking after green adventurers like yourselves is my vacation. And lucky for you that it is, without someone like me to steep. <laughs> Steve, oh god, this cough. You'd soon find yourself out in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the... I know about this. The Almal Amaljar are the reptiles, the lizard folk, yeah? They've been plaguing the sultanates for nigh on, ooh, forever now. Then there's the Garlean Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days. That's not how you. Sp that's not how you do. Oh no! It has. Oh yeah, actually, it's only that they are. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, the people drinking Mount Mary can't, 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 can't concentrate. Click the button. And little wonder it's scarce. Been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. <laughs> Uh, so much was lost in the blink of an eye. It was like the end of the world had come at last. But then things began uh, begin to get a little foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next. Some of them two or three. Oh, what? oh this is interesting. You'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is they don't. Ooh, we have a plot, boys. That is interesting. Uh, there is one thing the survivors do agree upon, however. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. I look freaking awesome, dude. Uh, they fought valiantly and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering. I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the calamity itself. Is it? Is it? Is this one of those things like, you know, like... If if I do enjoy it, do I want to go and like watch a bit of backstory, or or, or is that going to ruin it? I mean, is there a foundational knowledge of the Final Fantasy universe that would be useful to know, or or is it best just not looking at anything? Does that make sense? Uh, did you watch the intro trailer in the main uh, the intro trailer in the main menu? Uh. I don't think we had anything, did we? That was the destruction of the original Final Fantasy XIV game. Oh, is that... So that's even, like, part of the story. So that's when Final Fantasy first came out, fourteen and uh, online, right? And it was a bit boff, yeah? And, 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 it, and it, in fact, it was so boff, they actually took the game off. And, and rebuilt it, and that, that's when we got a realm reborn. 
So, so that's what they're referring to uh, uh, with the calamity, is it? Wow, that's kind of cool, dude. Interesting. So maybe it would be worth me watching a little bit. Um, whenever we, if anyone's got any links for something that would be worth watching but not spoilerific, let, let us know. Uh, whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. <laughs> So sorry, guys. I, I do apologise. I didn't, I didn't know I was going to be reading this much. But even if we can't remember them, uh, we'll not let them be forgotten. I'll keep trying to mute out as soon as, soon as I can. And, and so we call them the Warriors of Light. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. And that's why I welcome you arrivals like yourself to our fair city. She's very... I, like, I take it it is a girl, right? I'm a modi. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Uldar in a better state than you found her. I like that. That's a nice philosophy to, you know, travel through life with, right? If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. And again, thanks, Murph. Nice to see you as well, dude. Uh, all right, then. A promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And a happy and prosperous Ulder means more business for the quicksand. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register as neat as you can. Oh, God. Oh, I, can, can I write with my cat paws? Maybe I can just, like, do a paw print. Grumble Grack. What's stupid? Oh, is that me? Oh, that's me. Uh, well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue, it does. It doesn't really now. And now I see it in text, like, that's terrible, isn't it? I think we should start again. Uh, all right, Mr. Grackash. <laughs> I sound like a bowl of soup. <laughs> like that weird soup that you serve cold. You know what I mean? Like cold soup. What the hell? On behalf of the... I bet it's got potatoes in it as well. On behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... Please serve you. Oh, hang on. we got trouble in the bar. Oh, my God! Uh, please, sir, be merciful. Twelve is my witness. I swear to you, I'll bring you your money, said the gullible gambler. The deck... Oh, he looks evil. He looks proper nasty. Look at... He's, he's like Johnny Depp, but little. In the East, it is said that even a merciful god might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You two, attend to this scum. Oh, I think he's. I think they. I think they're gonna kick the crap out of him, dude. Well, ain't that a sorry sight? Nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry though. If you work hard, I doubt if you'll end up like. Can't we go and save him, dude? Uh, just the same. If you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe. All right. She's got it. She's a bit sassy, isn't she? Of course, I do enjoy hearing tell of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from... Okay. Okay. Can I get married in this? Anyway, welcome to Ulda, Grumble. <laughs> Take a moment to catch your breath and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. Oh my god, I saw 400 pretzels, 103 gold complete. Bitch, man, this game's so easy, dude. I I'm gonna be max level by the end of today, boys. Wanna link to the intro cinematic? Uh, is, is it worth me doing it now, or, or should we wait till later? I mean, yes, yeah, stick it in chat and I'll, I'll copy paste them over there. That's the end video for the close of 1.0, is it, Cascal? All right, let me get this. Good uh, morning, Mario. La la's are evil. It's not spoilers. Exactly what players saw as Final Fantasy XIV one point oh servers went offline. Oh, so so they actually what, so they were actually online and what some man, this is mad. This one is the main AR. When you say, hang on, right? We're, we're playing. What are we playing? Are we playing a Realm Reborn? Is that what we're playing? And and, and originally it was just called Final Fantasy XIV online, was it? And and that went a bit poopy. So, so they decided to rebuild it, and that's when we got a Realm Reborn, or, or not. Are you alright, Devon? Uh, uh, they retell parts of the story in raids. Well, we're not, we're not going to be getting to raids anytime soon, are we? Uh, this concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first step as an adventure. When do I, when do I get like to kick the shit out of things? 
Uh, listen well to the wisdom of Mamodi Modi. Uh, then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that music. Oh, that, that, that's the level up in all the Final Fantasy, isn't it? Oh, that was cool. Like, I'm not a day in ages. Uh, uh, main scenario quests. Important quests used to tell the story of Eorzea and her people are called... M oh, right. M oh, oh, MSQ, right? These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon, right? So, like a flaming exclamation mark. Okay, okay. Oh, and then we've got blue exclamation marks with a plus. Uh, quests using this icon indicate a task or series of tasks that are tied to new duties or features. So they sound quite important then, yeah? Like skills and things, maybe? So shall I click? Uh, Mamodi, the proprietress of the quicksand, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Uh, before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you to get to know the place. Okay. First of all, I want you to visit the Etherite, Etherite, Etherite Plaza to get there. Head west. Oh my god, someone someone pay attention. Uh, head west from here so you reach Emerald Avenue. Then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Etherite. Shit, I hope this is on the map, boys. If it weren't for Etherites, traveling around Elzia would be a damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune with them before you can use them. Be sure to do that with with the one in the plaza. Oh, is this just like... Is this just like a... Uh, like a tavern in like New World, is it? Like, like a fast travel point. Uh, you ever attuned with an Etherite before? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I need. Oh, right, okay. I think I, think I know what that is. Uh, when you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiator's Guild over at the Coliseum. That sounds cool. Assuming that sword ain't just for show. I, I don't know, mate. I've, I've never used it, mate. It might be made out of polystyrene for all I know, dude. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue... Ooh. The Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the steps of Thal. Good from all over Eorzea. Is it Eorzea? Am I pronouncing that right? And beyond turn up there every day you'll have no trouble finding ar ooh, armor weapons or anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need you might say that everything's for sale here in order as long as you've got the gi oh gills the money right i remember that that's like gold yeah gill okay just make sure as you don't pay more than you want okay uh, there's plenty as won't scruple to swindle oh, i like that unsuspecting foreigners like yourself especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests which is why I'm giving you this letter. Sorry, I've got a text message. One second. When you... It's okay. Uh, when you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Sasaroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he reads it. In short, then, visit the Etherite Plaza and, and get a fast travel point. Go to the Gladiators Guild to get quests. Uh, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange to learn how to trade, yeah? Uh, before you go, a word of advice. While there are more than a few unsavory characters out there who'll try to take advantage of you, there are some with honest-to-goodness problems that you should consider offering a helping hand to. A lot of folk are lured to this city by the promise of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing after Gil the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to get as, give as much as you get, and opportunities will come your way. Friends? Ugh. Is that like people? Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for up-and-coming adventurers. Otherwise, that's about it from me. It's past time you got going. Tip-tap, tolly bosh, tally-wackle and ho, off you go. Uh... Okay, all right. Uh, okay, I think I think. Uh, oh God, someone's looking at me. Oh God, j just make out like you're a cat. Just purr, purr. Move your tail. Oh God, he looks at me, dude. Eye contact. Oh, is this one of those MMOs, isn't it? Uh, main menu. Oh my God, I need a coffee after that. Uh, morning, Joshua. Morning, Annihilance. Let's let's swig. Uh, so it is, it's Eorzea. I kind of like that. Uh, are you playing a giant cat grub? No. No? What? <laughs> it's, it, it's a cloak. It's, it's, it's an Ikea rug that I borrowed from Jon Snow. It, it, it simply makes it look like I'm a cat, Jaboshua. 
Uh, don't purr, you'll attract E, hang on, ERPers. What's an ERP? -er? What's the E in ERP? Is that an Azorian role player? Uh, the main menu grants quick and easy access to most of the game's main features. For example, selecting character under character opens a window containing your character's various... How would I even get to that window? I haven't got that window. That doesn't exist on my end. Does it? Where is that? My end. The main menu. Uh, if you wish to custom... Where's these big red buttons? Can anyone see these big red buttons anyone? Oh my god, people! Uh, if you wish to customize the game's various settings, including key bindings, okay, game progress is... Oh, we saw this screen somewhere, didn't we? Close. Uh, sanctuaries. A crescent moon icon will appear to the right of your exper... Oh yeah, okay, I can see that in the bottom, yeah. Whenever you enter a sanctuary, one in the special area... Oh, it's the same as like World of Warcraft Rested bonus XP, right? Okay. Uh, all experts always want to try and log out in a, in a tavern. Uh, all experts gain throughout battle crafting and gathering while under the benefits of the rested bonus will increase by 50%. Your current rested bonus is displayed on the top of your experience bar. Is it? Oh, right. Yeah, I've got it. The dark orange. Yeah, yeah I've got it. I've got it. Uh, inns in cities as well as various outposts and settlements are classified as sanctuaries. All right, close. Uh... Selecting map from under travel in the main menu or pressing X on the controller will bring up the area map. Oh, okay. If a quest objective is located in that area. Oh, oh okay. The location of quest objectives can also be confirmed by selecting the objective in the duty list. Yeah, alright. So if I press X. Oh, shit. That's. Hang on. X. X. Oh, my God. It doesn't. X doesn't do that. How do I bring up the map? It's, it's like I'm missing something on the heads up display. Uh, pressing X brings up emotes and things. Emotes. Uh, shall I do. Shall I dance? I'll do a dance. <laughs> I've seen worse. Uh, how did I do that? <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry for the coughing, guys. All right, let's let's leave that. Uh, I got to a map by oh no, I got to a map by doing this a minute ago. But it, it doesn't seem to like show me the quests. If that makes sense, it's like there's no like markers. It says that level one way of the gladiator over there. How the hell do I get? There's no way to zoom in more. Toggle map. Oh, ah. Where am I? I'm all the way... Oh, this is kind of weird. Uh... Toggle map. I'm, I'm a bit confused, boys. I'm not going to lie. Um, right, the smith. He wanted, he, uh, he wanted me to speak to the smith, didn't he? Uh, he won't let me speak to him, dude. All right, I'm, 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 I'm feel, I feel like I'm epically failing at this point. Um, you are a possum. I'm, I'm just glugging it now, mate. I have my maiden top. Oh, do I need to cancel that? Do I? Oh shit! Ah, got you, got you. Well spotted, dude. Thank you. Uh, greetings, I. I'm one of the smiths of Stoker of Fires and Forges of the future. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I've been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see that you have, uh, I see you have, but recently taken up the adventurers' mantle. The possibilities stretching out before you must be positively daunting. I can't even, I can't even work the map, right? In the Adventurers Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, and nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by their title of mentor. Mentors stand ready to advise you on... Oh, is this actual players, is it? 
Uh, they have hundreds of questions of their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. Shut, I didn't mean to click that. I highly recommend that you uh, take advantage of a mental's aid to enrich your experiences in Eorzea. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you'd like to know more. The new adventurer status is applied to all adventurers who have recently begun their adventures. So that, oh, so that's what that little, uh, the zombie penis is then. Uh, amongst the Aussie's thriving population, there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken it upon themselves to assist these new adventurers. When a new adventurer and a, uh, and a mentor form a party, they both receive a bonus to experience points. So. Upon invitation by a mentor, new adventurers also gain access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they consult with mentors. Well, let's not worry, we, we can figure that out later. Um, nothing. No, let, let's leave that, let's leave that. So if, if I go into here and choose Way of the Gladiator, yeah? It wants me to go, presumably, all the way over, well, there, right? But if I zoom in on the... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Uh, so th this moves all this around, right? What about if I click that? How would I go down to the map from this thing? It feels like... Do you know what I mean? It feels like I should be able to go down to the map. Left trigger, right trigger doesn't do anything. Oh man! Oh right, so maybe maybe it's maybe it's tracking that one. Uh, let's go to the F right. Let, let's click that. Yeah. Uh, where am I? I can't, it's just like so much on the map. I can't really make out. So again, I'd have to go to there. I don't get it, guys. Is something not working right? Because I don't really see how I'm supposed to get to that bit. This brings me outside, right? So shall I just try and get to that? Shall I just try and get to that marker, shall I? Just, just head towards that marker. Uh... I'm not sure if there's a way in there, maybe. So, is, so this is the the city of Ulda, is it? Oh, wow, is that like a bank or something over there? It's, it's quite beautiful, isn't it? I mean, considering it's position. Oh shit! I probably don't want to go that far, do I? Um, if I take, if I go down there, maybe. Oh wow! Look at all this. Oh my god, there's like so much. Um Should I just I mean should I just keep heading towards this 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 Oh that's that's not it. Uh I'd have to go according to this go down here maybe. No. Alright, well in that case I'm totally confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. Um because according to that hang on, why is it doing this? How do, how do I get to that circle bit there? Well, this is so weird. If I can't go down those, those steps, then how am I supposed to get there, guys? Anything else? Mini map compass. I mean, there's someone here, but obviously I'm, I'm assuming that's locked because it's got like a little key on it. Well, it's not, it's not the controller in feet. I, I, I actually just don't know how to get there, dude. I mean, the, the controller's not the issue. I don't understand how to get to... It also... Well, I, I don't know what the hotkey just to bring the map up is. I have to sort of, like, go to that bit of the top. Uh, I still don't really understand, like... Is there any way to just bring the map up on its own, guys? Um... I can't see it. I mean, the only way I can do it is like that. I can zoom in to that. But then if I want to do it again... Under, tra uh, under travel. Oh, right. Got it, got it. Can, can I, uh, maybe I can hotkey that somewhere so, so I can just have a look at it.
Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. There's a quest down there, look. Shall I carry on? Oh, hang on. There's, oh, no, there's quests everywhere, but they are not my quests, are they? I have no idea what I'm doing, boys. Like, like, literally no idea. I can't even get back to the normal map now. Well, the MSQ icons. I'm not an idiot, mage. I, I don't know how to get there. It, it doesn't show me the route, dude. Uh, switch type. Ah, right. So switch type might have worked, actually. That might be the answer. <laughs> Let's try. Can I jump? It looks like the map's the secret to it all, doesn't it? But it's got it's got like so many different elements to it. Oh, there it is. Look, there's the bloody giant bloody crystal lads. The Ulder Etherite Plaza. That looks gorgeous, dude. Song So Me from the Heaven, uh, Heaven's Legends of Guild, presumably, right? Uh, the Fate Touched Dark Shadow. Wow, this, this dude's got like a little crown on their name. All right, so I, I'm assuming I touch this, do I? Uh, what do I do, dude? Oh! You have attuned to the etherite. Uh, Hail Adventurer, might you uh, have come at the behest of the of Miss Modi of the Quicksand? I have! Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee. That will be 100... He is joking, right? That will be 100,000 gil, if you please, sir. <laughs> what a little knob cake. I'm going to eat your face, dude. But I do so with relish. I do so relish the opportunity to make that jest. The look on, uh, dude, I thought, I, I thought I'd really messed up there. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to prison. Uh, the look on your face was absolutely priceless. But the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar. No, I see what you did there. Very clever, eh? Very clever. These crystalline agglomerations, that's a nice word, tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Par chance, you have heard of return and teleport. Oh, I think we saw that on the skills, didn't we? I think I've got a return skill. Uh, given that there is an etherite in almost every corner of yours here, any adventurer with a mind to uh, explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune themselves to each and every one. Okay. But even if you have no intention of wandering around the Sultanate's borders, it would be prudent for you to attune yourself to any etherites you encounter from now on. Right. I pray you found... So... Okay, all right. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Let's not ask too many questions. Um, all right. Ret oh, well, I, th I swear I'd already got a return. <clears throat> uh, most of the people with the crown icons are nice mentors that like to help out. The other half are just mean and they only want, uh, want the crown for the clown. Oh, do you, so you earn the crown, the crown by actually helping people in the game, do you, Monbury? What's the cooldown on this? Oh. Because presumably this is like a hearth spell, yeah? Uh, the spell return can be used to instantly travel back to the Etherite set as your home point. Casting the spell does not require any uh, magic points, I assume that is, and can be accessed by selecting return and the travel from the main menu. The sole limitation of the spell is that it can... Oh, there you go, 15 minutes. Is that 15 minutes, then. Okay. Uh, only one home... And, and I was also going to ask, like, can you teleport anywhere? Uh, only one home point may be set at any time to make an Etherite your new home, blah, blah, blah. Select the crystal, bring that... Yeah, yeah, got it. All right, that's, that's good to know. All right, and we've still got this good map up, which I think... Which, which I think... Yeah, th this map works for me. I think I can follow this map, I think. Although it does look a little bit weird. How are we going to get... Let's go this one. Let's go to that other one. That looks easy to get to. Punt him. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, my God. Check out this bow, bro. Is that, is that a bow? Dude, that's a bard bow harmonica li li thingy thing. Harpsichord thing stuff. Sexy hot lady. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! So ah, oh, Jesus fuck! <coughs> I like the blossom trees. My mom would like these. 
I can see it. Oh, this is where we came in, right? This is where we began. I don't know. Grumble a glack ash. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming I can turn off my... I don't need my... Oh, wait, what the hell's this? Is that good? Is that bad? Am I, am I allowed to? What the fuck, bro? I'm not, I'm not going to touch anything I'm not supposed to, all right? Because I think this game's got quite a lot going on, hasn't it? Like, quite a lot going on. Uh, Cesaroga. So this is the merchant dude, yeah? Um, and you are... Ooh, a newly come adventurer. But of course, yes, I am a Cesaroga. What can I do for you? Uh, you would have me teach you the ways of the marketplace. Very wise. And as for my fee, well... You expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an Uldan for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth his while. Judging by your garb, I rather doubt you could afford my services. I've, I, I, can we eat people? Seriously, we're big enough, right? The fact you offer nothing is laughable. What a rude man. Some quests will require you to deliver items. If an NPC requires an item, an item request window will appear. A letter of introduction. Sh should I have read the letter of introduction or should I simply give him it? Uh, oh, Mistress Mamoda instructed you to seek me out, didn't you? Hmm, consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I should be brief and you should be attentive. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Uh, being advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, Ulder's markets have ever served as both the literal and figurative centres of Eorzean commerce. All the great overland trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of maritime trade between Vilbrand and Aldenard passes through our ports. I don't have any reference for any of this, but it sounds kind of cool. Because of this, countless companies and consortia have chosen Uldar as their base of operations. They see to it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and moneylenders, day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided as he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek, adventurer. A deadlier sword, perhaps, or a shinier trinket. Whatever it is you want, the exchange will have it. To the north, you will find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives and crafting materials. To the south, you will find weapons, tools, and an assortment of other useful items, all for sale. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content, but do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. Hmm. That is all the complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Mamoni. Now, off with you. Alright, so I get it. So, shopping. Um, whatever. Let, let's not worry about that. So, I need to get... I'm, I'm kind of worried about moving this map. Uh, I can't zoom in any more than that, which I find a little bit strange. Um, I, I think I'm starting to understand how it... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? What's this? A magical portal. A portal, dudes. Uh, we'll, we'll, lang, we'll lang... It looks like it's a central chain, doesn't it? It's, it's quite, it's kind of weird because it's quite beautiful. But it's, it's like easy to sort of like get distracted and just follow the map. I'm gonna look at all this. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, oh, the Tesla boat. That that boat did look badass, man. It was like a harp. What are one of those big thick harp? Is it a harp? Oh, no, no. I only ever owned a bugle, and I wasn't very good at that. Um, so I can, I, I'm not sure whether to go down there. Well, hang on, what are these weird looking dudes? Wow, he looks 
badass, bro. Like, proper badass. Uh... Oh, oh, hang on. Maybe in there, perhaps? Are we in the right place? Oh, we are. Oh, my God. I, fa I found the... Uh, I found someone called Lulutsu. Uh, welcome to the Gladiators Guild, friend. Tell me, are you new to the are you new to the thrills of Mortal Kombat? Well, wherever you are or not, you are new to us. If you will take your place in these hallowed halls, you must be willing and ready to undergo the most rigorous training. You must endure cuts and bruises beyond counting, and like is not far worse. A daunting prospect, I concede, but there is no other way if you mean to take to the blood sands one day. And why wouldn't you? The Colosseum is only the most celebrated place of public entertainment in all of Ulda. Where else could a man, a poor man, amass a fortune so fast as to one day allow him to claim a seat on the syndicate itself? <laughs> God. And all the NPCs have got really bad coughs, have you noticed? <sighs> There's not an Ulden alive who isn't inspired by the rise of the self-made man. And there is no truer embodiment of this than the gladiator who wins riches and fame. Oh God, I'm dying. <coughs> <coughs> And his, with his sword. Throughout its long and storied history, this guild has nurtured countless champions. Our training methods are second to none, and our members ever strive to develop new techniques. If you desire true glory, to fight and triumph amidst the roar of 10,000 voices, then this is where you belong. Adventurer! Think of it. Think of your legacy. And if your soul stirs, join us. I like this. This is cool. This is cool. All right. Uh, report to... Oh, I've got to go back to Mamodi. Oh, my God. Really? When do I get to kick this shit out or something, dudes? When, when I get to like, use my hunky man cat to beat, beat things to death? There seems to be a distinct lack of murdering happening. I haven't been told to, like, fetch 45 wolf tails or, or, or some, some farmer's turnips. Th th this is not the MMO I'm used to, dude. Uh, is this gonna be the real? Yes, I think it is. Uh, you prefer Street Fighter, Starkey? Oh, hang on. Uh, Infi, Infi. Oh my God, Infi. I do apologise, Infi. Thank you for the eighteen. Thank you for the eighteen. Uh, sub, mate. Eighteen. Is it eighteen months? Oh my God, it is. Yes. Thank you for the eighteen, dude. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested as well, there is a Patreon if you wish to support the channel through that. We won't say any more than that because it makes me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you very much, Infi. Uh, uh, Ian's guy looked at pricey cards and the salesman said that. I gave his card to your mom. I gave his card to my mom. She called and said, only let lazy buy two. No more three to four at a time crap. Hang on. What? Cards? You mean? I assume the fighter will not be turn-based. Uh, it sort of is. I presume it's going to be like tab targeting equivalent. I would have thought with a little bit of running around motiony kind of things. I guess I can't really remember. Yeah, it's not going to be like sit there and like click a skill. It's going to be more like World of Warcraft, right? I would have thought. Is it, is it like a little bit, a little bit in the middle? I, I don't know, dude. We'll find out in a minute. Um, how was the, how was your tour of the city group? Ah, oh, mate, the map, the, I, I need to practice the map. The map's really weird. It's one of those things that, like, when you're streaming, you, you feel like, uh, you feel like you don't want to fanny about with the intricacies of, of, of like, the system. You just want to crack on. But I, I think I really messed up my modi. But, but I found a part of the map that just, like, showed me where to go. Um, the, the other map had a lot of stuff on it, my modi. It was very, very confusing. Ah, well, Grum, Alder's a big place with lots to see and do. But wandering around aimlessly, don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you'll need to remember where things are. Oh, God, I'm going to be so bad at this game. So when you go exploring, explore like you've got a purpose. I, mate, I'm so bad at finding my way around. All right, then. All that's left is for you to work hard, make money, and spend it all here at the quicksand. It's a deal. It's a deal. 400 pretzels and 107 coin. Excellent. Man, look at this. Racing through these. Racing through these quests, bro. I'm, I'm like level 50 already, man, I reckon. Oh, hang on. What? Oh, hang on. I've got no quests. Oh, hang on. I mean, what's happened? Way of the Gladiator. 
What's happened, dudes? Uh, I don't have any quests, boys. Uh. <laughs> oh, hang on. Maybe it's it's like locked, isn't it? We must rebuild. This quest is not yet available. All right. What what shall I do then? What, what, what do I do, dudes? Do, do, help me, bro! I, I, I don't know what to do! It's, it's a big world and like, oh my god! Sh shall I go to where that is? Sh shall I go to that icon over there? Oh my god. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh my god. Oh, hang on. I found it again. There we go. Oh, right. So if I move the... I don't think I can get around that way, can I? It didn't I try? I, I tried to go that way and it wouldn't let me, would it? I think, I think that's what threw me, to be honest. It, it's like that circle bit isn't actually... Uh... That's kind of weird, because it seems to suggest that if I can get into that circle bit, right, I can go through a door into that room, yeah? So you see the circle bit there? Yeah? But, if I go to that circle bit from... I'll show you. Yeah, if I go to that circle bit from around, like, here... It was a dead end, wasn't it? It wouldn't let me go in there. It's like the door was locked. Let me just show you. Let me show you why I think I got confused. Unless I just cocked it up. Uh, Gotta do the gladiator. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back. Yeah, why the gladiator? Uh, it, it's it's kind of weird though because I'm not seeing the actual quest or anything. Uh, aren't they? Didn't it say it was supposed to show on the right hand side of the screen? It's like a little quest inventory. But yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. See, it, it won't let me. Look. It won't let me go through there, will it? That, that's like a locked door. So I can't make it that way, which just seems weird. So, the only way for me to get there... <laughs> ...is actually... ...to, like, go all the way around, I think. Unless I can go through... Let me see if I can go through... Yeah, you can't go through there and I can't go down there. It's just weird, isn't it? I don't know, God. The, the only way I can figure out how to go is to go all this way. So I'm going to do that. So let's have a look at the skills while we're going. There. So we've got we've got a sprint. Uh, we've got... Oh, teleport was what I saw. Uh, sprint, teleport, auto attack and return. Um... And then I've got fast blade, fight, or flight. How, how am I going to find out what these skills actually are? Uh, you, you see how that doesn't help me, though, Star? You, you see, it, it's like, well, I'm not saying you, you, I, I know you're trying to help, but it doesn't help me, dude. You're saying I'm in the steps of Null and you need to find the map transition to the steps of Thal. It, it means nothing to me, dude. You, it, you might as well say, Grum, you're currently in the teapot, but you need to find your way out to the watering can in the garden. It, 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 I'm, not, I'm not knocking you, dude. It just doesn't help me. It's one of those things I'm, I'm going to... And there's no way for you to help me, I don't think, dude. It's just one of those weird, quirky things, isn't it? I'm, I'm sure over time it'll be, oh my god, it's so fucking obvious, but... But that, that map is a bit... It's a little bit strange, to say the least. At, at least I found this one. The, the, this map I can... Oh, hang on. What's that up there? All right, so we're back. Ah, oh, so this one was locked a minute ago, wasn't it? Well, what wasn't locked? But, uh, a little too wishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Gladiators Guild. I do, yes. Uh, what will it be? Will you rise above the masses and inscribe your name in legend? Or will you resign yourself to mediocrity and die in obscurity? Mm, depends on which one's got coffee and croissants. 
We shall join the Gladiators Guild. A decision you shan't regret. One moment, make a way for Grumble Black Ash. Fresh meat coming through. Now then, before you enroll, we're gonna have a duel. I bet we got a duel some like badass, right? Before your enrollment can be considered complete, you must present yourself to the first sword Mila. Seek her out and obtain her approval. Uh, according to that shit, oh, there she is. Uh, okay. Hello, Mila. Oh wow. Uh, I heard Lulutsu. So you're Grumble Glakash. Is a strong name. I agree. I think it is. I, couldn't, I, I think I'm a badass. On behalf of the Gladiators Guild, allow me to welcome you. I'm Mila Guildmaster here. So you wish to study our arts? I presume you have your reasons for choosing the sword over all of the weapons. Perhaps you think it's easiest to learn. A sword is a simple weapon, but to wield a blade well is anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there have been countless disappointments. He failed to achieve greatness. Bear that in mind before you answer me, Grumble. For I do not ask this question lightly. Have you the strength to live by the sword? And if it be your fate, die by it. It sounds a bit dramatic, but uh, yes. Then welcome, Gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would gauge your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates of Ulda, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets, and shrews. <laughs> Slay three of each and return here when... You just want dinner, don't you? I'm on to you, mate. Fucking Jesus. Maybe not the, maybe not the hornets. A simple task, but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go. God damn it, dude. Right. It's time to go and kick the shit out of some shrews, bro. I'm the hero I always... Do. Oh, my God. What is this? Bad mother effer. Yeah, bad at character creation. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, that, that's, that's worse than a bob randomized three times, that is, isn't it? Uh, right. Slay the marmots. Right, let's, let's go down here. We're going to click way of the gladiator. I can now see where that is on the map. So I need to go out of this northern gate, boys. All right. And then we're going to murder some shrews. Now, can I get out from up there? That is a big fat no. I can, however, get out. This is it, boys. We're, we're taking our sword on its virgin journey, baptized in the, the, the bubbling blood of shrews. Uh, check the Etherite Teleport Crystal. Uh, what do you mean, Wizbank? I've already been there, dude. I've already been to the Etherite Crystal. Why would I, why would I want to do that, bro? I, I have attuned my tuny soul to said a tuny thing, dude. I found a way. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, it's like I said, it's not, I know you're trying to help, mate, but it's like I said, because I don't, I don't know what you mean by any of those zones, you know, so... Oh my god. Oh fuck, we know that. That's, oh fuck. Run, 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 run. That's fucking, that's fucking castle. Shit. Uh, make it, make it, get in the bush, mate. Get in the bush, you'll never fucking smoke. Oh fuck, I think he's in. Don't, just, just don't look at him. Don't look at him. <laughs> oh shit, he's waving at me. Fuck. Ah oh, shit, dude. Uh, uh, oh no, I've got AFK. Oh no. <laughs> God damn people! Can you play this single player? <coughs> Let's go and have a look at him there. Let's go and look at him and all his regalia. Can, can you crouch? Can you actually... Oh, what's this? Oh, look, there's a lollipop things down here. Look. Hang on. Let's have a look at you then, Casco. Dude. I bet you... Do you have, like... Do you have a neck brace or something? You look... Is this, is this a high-level character? You don't look very fancy, dude. Where's the spiky, like, shoulder guards, like in World of Warcraft? You know what I mean? Why, why, why do you look like... You look like a noob, dude. You've got... Dude, what are, what's with the earrings, bro? Is, is, what, is that like a maxed out character, bro? That's mid-85, so I haven't got the endgame stuff for Don't worry, we'll, we'll get that together. Oh, that looks nice. 
You look that's sort of like an Assassin's Creed guard sort of garb, you know what I mean? But but with like a, a sunflower totem. I quite like that, and that looks quite nice. Quite oh, like that. Oh, that is no. Oh, I, I did like it. Uh, can you have that with a big axe? Are you all right, dude? Are you bursting for a piss? You, you, you seem a little jittery, bro. Oh my god. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Uh, the you seem to like earrings. Are earrings like important? Do, do we get like good earrings in this game? That's a bit bad. Yeah. He seems a bit. All right, so so is that is that like so you what you're doing there is switching weapon and, and like showing me like different classes is it you've got a turnip so someone should the turnip in your belt mate I, th I think someone's been playing a prank on you bro yeah you got a multi turnip shoved in your belt mate it's one of them little lumpa lumpa lanafels bro Cat wearing a corset. I'm not wearing a corset. It's a battle vest. For fuck's sake, dudes. Do you, do you even do you even role play, boys? I mean, let's be honest, right? Without being funny, I actually do look better than you, bro. Like I actually do look better than you. I mean, I've got look. I've got bags. I, I've got like, you know, stuff to put my Harry bows in. I've got a battle vest. How do I put my sword away, dude? And what was my sword out? Uh, oh god! Oh god! How, how do I put the weapon away? Oh god! Hang on a minute! I think I've, I think I've broken it, bro. I mean, look, noob, badass, noob, badass. <laughs> uh, that's the red mage, the white mage, and dance. What's well, actually a class called dancer? <laughs> All right, so. How, how, why is my weapon out, bro? I don't know how to get rid of the weapon. Sheath button does exist. No idea with the control. I don't know how I got it out, dude. I don't even know what happened, bro. Yeah, it's, it's like you've got the littlest head ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what was that film with Will Smith? Was it Men in Black and that dude had like the really little head? <laughs> and, and this makes you just look like you really, really, really need a poop. <laughs> there's there's a, a sheath emo. Hang on, I might know how to do that. Hang on. Uh, oh no, I think, is it because... Oh, now, now X is opening the map, Lord. Oh, oh, now it is opening the map. Oh, that's, that's handy. Now that is handy. All oh, right. Yeah, look. But is that because I have my weapon out, do you think? I don't, I don't know. Cast, I don't know. I don't, oh, I, oh, there's the jump button. Oh, I can jump. Hold left bumper. Oh, bitch bash boss ball. Oh, I like that. Hey, Cassie, should we do a role play? Should we do a bit of role play? I'm going to walk up to you like a badass, yeah? And, and, and then as I unsheath, you unsheath, and we go into like combat mode. <laughs> See, he's run away. He's scared of me. Today you live, Caladrin Lonehart. Today you live. So why? So you've got you've got like a little sapling with a flower in it. What does that mean then? There's a lot of flashy lights. All pigeons. I saw pigeons. <laughs> yeah. So what, I'm a little sprout person. Oh, this is bad MF over here, lot, dude. What happened? Did, dude, there's a character creator. You can actually change what you look like because you can't possibly meant to make yourself look like that, right? What's this? What's this little thing down here? What? What is this googly-looking thing? I reckon I could definitely eat that. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm going out here, Casco. I'm going out here, bro. Oh, oh my God, the world! Oh my God, the world! The world! Look, the world! The world! Battle. Okay. Um, select a, a target with a D-pad. <coughs> 
And, pre uh, and press confirm a second time to switch to active mode and ready auto attack. Approach and place the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target. All right. Uh, various actions such as spells and weapon skills can be performed by using the cross hotbar. Okay. The action set in your cross hotbar can be initiated via the corresponding buttons. Kind of makes sense. Scroll is that. Uh, okay. All right. Most actions require points to execute in addition to blah, blah. So if you join me out here, Caskill, yeah, would you still be like level 85? But you, don't, but, you, but you would down level if we joined like a dungeon. Is that right? Uh, magic power. Disciples of magic and disciples of war who specialize in ranged attacks such as archers are best suited fighting their targets from a distance. Blah, blah, blah. All makes sense. Achievements. Congratulations. You've received your first achievement. Uh, okay. Uh, there are also rewards granted upon attaining certain achievements. Like rare weapons and armor. And others include titles. Okay. This, this dude's a level 35. But he's an NPC, right? Oh my god! What the hell, dude? It's great at doing. Whoa. What the hell, bro? Level... Oh my god. He looks amazing. Should I, should I kill it? Or is he going to slap my... Oh my god, he actually does look pretty good. A level 12 giant tortoise. Oh, these are the marmots and things. Right, this is it then. You, I'm going to kick the shit out of this thing. You watch this, bro. You watch these skills. Uh, they... Sh uh <laughs> Those shrews are going to shit their pants. It, well, the marmot looks... He looks like he don't care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't need to down level for Dungeons and Facts. <laughs> Normal quest, I would just mess things up unless I picked a low level job. <coughs> so, how many jobs have you like maxed out, Caskill? Or, or is that one of those questions like you can't answer because you can never really max it out? You know, so some games are sort of like never ending, aren't they? Uh, if you join Dungeons and Settings have level sync, you get down level to specific level. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, wasn't it? We know, I think we know about Dungeons, don't we? Uh, holding LB. And clicking the right analog. Oh, that's oh that oh that's useful. Oh, that's oh I like that Mario. Oh, that is cool. Oh, nice one, bro. That, that's actually really cool, dude. Right, I'm, I'm gonna murder a giant hornet. So I'm, I press A and then I go into auto attack with it. Yeah. All right. Uh, let, let me put that one. How do I know what these skills are? How do I actually see what a fast blade and fight or flight is? Because it's all very well having them there, but what are they? There's got to be like something, I don't know. Uh, there's got to be something that tells me what my skills are. Right. Carrot? Actions, maybe? Ah! Oh. <laughs> actions, roll. Oh, hang on. A actions, roll. Oh, it's in the bottom left hand corner. Oh, that's weird. Look. So it's all the way up there, and then the actually tells what it is down in the bottom. So tank mastery. And that's presumably because I'm a gladiator. So reduces damage taken by 20%. Furthermore, grants a bonus to maximum hit points based on your vitality attribute. And a bonus of damage dealt based on your strength attribute. Alright. Uh, actions. So I have Fast Blade. Delivers an attack with a potency of 150. And fight or flight. Oh, shit. Increases damage dealt by 25% for 20 seconds. Alright, so if I click that. How do I. Oh, that's what that's for. And then if I hit that. Oh my god, I'm one shot. Oh my god, I'm a badass. I just, I just killed a mama. I just killed a mama. I, I took no damage, bro. I just wrecked that mother fudger. Uh, in the, it, it, it didn't even know I hit it. In the event multiple solo players attack the same target, the player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience points. All right, okay, okay. Uh, the players who follow will be rewarded based on their contribution. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, that's actually really neat. That is cool. But an item you have equipped is, is now bound. Hang on, I, I didn't equip shit. Uh, uh, most items are going to be sold and traded freely before they are used in battle. Uh, 
Okay. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh my god, I'm under attack! I'm under attack! <laughs> He got a shot in, dude. He got a shot in. Oh, I need to practice. I need to practice. So, presumably somewhere in here, there is an inventory. All right. How, how do I see what my... All right. Not, not, I don't want that. How do I see what my... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Gear set. No gear set. So, so I've got a weathered short sword. Uh... I wonder what I equipped. I wonder what I equipped. I've, I've got no idea. I've got, I've got. Oh, I, oh, that ring is a ring then. I actually have got a ring on my hand. Oh my god, there's so many stats, man. This is, this is mad. It's nice and cinematic, isn't it? Oh my god, it did, my character even looks at him as he jumps up. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. My, my, my character is like eyeballing it, isn't it? Like, it's not what he's doing. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm devastated. Look at this. They do spend a bit of it's, it's like a massacre outside. Uh, oh, well, it's bad fucking combat and dragons, dog. There's also more mob variety than dragons, dog. You think I'm a Look at this. I mean, I, 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 could, I could just like, I could make a living just from killing Marmot. Um, right, Hornets. I need to kill a Hornet as well. I can't see any shrews. Oh my God, Jesus. Can, can you lock on? Is there like a lock on or, you know, like so I can like bounce around it a little bit or is that just done three? Uh, right, shrews. So maybe if I go... Ooh. Shrews are over there, boys. <laughs> um, I took quite a long break. So I'm level to end game 90. I have 17 jobs ranging from level 3 to 85. So how many jobs are there? You're right, Tongi. Just wait until you get the hunting log. You will see how many different mobs there are. Is it, I was going to say, I should imagine with Final Fantasy in the history that they've got a lot of sort of like base material to pull from, right? They need to release a DLC where the Marmots and Shrews... Shh, don't give them ideas, dude. These, these things could be like... I mean, anything that's left... You know, just think about evolution itself. Any surviving Marmots or Shrews in this game, right? They, they must be the elite of the elite, you know what I mean? Survival of the fittest and all that. I mean, an, an army of Shrews could be devastating, bro. You just you just care what this is. Oh my god, the Shrews are putting up a fight, dude. What, what the hell is that? It, it looks like a butt badger. What, 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 dude? Oh my god, that, that dude. It, 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 it's hideous. Oh my god, Brat. Can, can I fight you first, man? Might not be the bright, brightest idea. Well, I think I think the I think I get the loot automatically, right? It feels it feels like I'm getting loot automatically. So I, I can choose like targets like that, and then select it, select it again, in it. I, I did it. I, I, I've, I've literally completed a, a battle quest. Oh, L3. Oh, L3. Oh, hang on. Let, let me practice that. Combos. Uh, melee oriented classes such as Gladiator and Marauder. <coughs> oh, combos. Can, de <coughs> <coughs> can join together their weapon skills to deal additional damage or inflict additional enfeeblements to their targets. This is known as a combo. Okay. Uh, if a weapon skill will be chained with another, it will be indicated in the weapons of his help text under combo action. In the case of Vorpal Thrust, so that I haven't got... Oh, I have got Vorpal Thrust! Uh, if executed immediately after Tree Thrust, the potency will be increased. Oh, my God! Some weapon skills must be delivered from a specific direction. Oh, so you can have... Oh, yeah, look, 140 percent executed from a target's butt. 
When a weapon skill can be changed into combat, its uh, hotbar icon will be outlined with a flashing yellow border. Well, let, let's let's practice that then. Let, let, let's go and have a look. Let, let's let's pretend we haven't looked into anything. But if I wanted to, I could go in here, right? I could go to actions and traits, yeah. And then I could come in here and I could see riot blade, and it clearly says combo action fast blade. And fast blade is this one, isn't it? Which is the delivers an attack with a potency of one fifty. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So if I if I Go auto attack on that and do that. that. Now I can see that I've got. Oh, I like this. Oh my god, sparkly lights, boys. Actual sparkly lights. And lights are good, yeah? I I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out a hornet. I, I, check this out. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go big on this. Oh my god! I, I use my I use my in, increased mega attack skill as well. It, it is better than Dragon's Dogma too. It, it, it's just infinitely better. Look at this. Sparkles everywhere, bro. Oh my god! Oh, this one's been tricky. This one's been tricky. He, 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 he tried to rear end me, bro. I could do this all day. I could literally do this all day. But look, watch, check, check out one, two, three. Go, smacky up! Telling you, boys. I reckon I'd do this all week, yeah, and make enough gil to get a really cool sword, yeah. Oh, look at the, oh, look at the skybox. Nice. Yeah, we, I, I don't think Shrews normally look like that, right, Swazza? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it, looked, it looked a bit... It wasn't the Shrew I was expecting. The, the Hornet looked kind of normal. Uh, there are 20, though. Some of those are basic classes. There's another three coming in July. What, what are the three new ones? I mean, how the hell do you come up with more classes when you've already got 20? I mean, jeez, yeah, there's got to be a point where the imagination starts to fail a bit, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Tungi, because, it, it, I mean, you're absolutely right, because technically it's the wrong way around, isn't it? Because, like, my primary attack is Fast Blade, and then I have to follow up with Riot Blade. So it would make a lot... How would I do that, then? Let, let's just do it, then. Let, let's do it. Edit. Uh... By... Select a slot to edit by pressing its target combination. So if I press Y, oh, it's not doing anything. Uh, select a slot to edit by pressing it. I, I am doing that, but nothing's happening. So how, how do I how do I put, for example, fast blade in my Y slot? Huh. Do I have to choose the skill first? It's, it's, it's like it, it's, it's like it, it says select a slot to edit. What maybe what it should be saying is select a skill to edit. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And then select a new slot. So if I put that in Y, then use X and put that in B, and then it's like Y then B. Oh my god. We're, we're, we're even becoming efficient, boys. I, I I need to go and practice that. I need to just ch check my mega combo, boys. Uh, I I reckon we murder another shrew. I quite like murdering shrews. Check this out, boys. Run. Look, I've got a run skill. Oh, the fate system. Uh, fate is short for full active time event. Fat. Oh, fate. I got it. Uh, these pub. <laughs> <laughs> These public quests occur periodically in real time around Eorzea. And anyone can participate by simply showing up before one ends. When you sense a fate nearby, a message will appear on your screen and the location will be displayed on your maps. Oh, so world events. Mousing over the icon. Okay. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, you'll automatically join a fate the moment you cross the event threshold. Okay. A little timer gives you a level. Oh, level sync it if you want. 
if you're several levels higher, uh, a level sync button will appear. Press the button to automatically lower your level. What happens if you don't lower the level? Does it just not work? You can't. Yeah, look, there's one over here, boys. There's, uh, there's, there's an event over here, lads. I, I can see it. Uh, you are below the recommended level for this fight. Your contribution will not be weighed. Oh, dude, what do you mean I'm below level? What, what, what's happening, dude? What, what do we need to do? What, 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 what's he saying I need to do? Do we, do we just murder anything out here? Like? I'm, I'm gonna kill everything, boss. Look at this, look at this, look at the skills, man. They don't know what to do without me. I'm, I'm not the greatest, am I? Oh my god, they're so fast. I think my class is breaking loose. Dude, this person's nearly dead. I think, I think they're nearly dead, man. Oh my god, they just died! Oh my god, what the hell? Oh no, I've done, I've done. Oh no! Run away! Uh. I'm not going down without a fire, boys. I'm not going down with the This is good. I'm, I'm using all my combos, lads. I'm using all my combos. Can it still be ungood? Come on, where, where's the rest of the pie, dude? Where, where, where's all my Final Fantasy players, dude? Oh my god, it's gonna be close call, lads. Is there anything else I can do to like, like up, up the DPS? I need more DPS, boys. Well, where's that other player gone? I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm not gonna make it, lads. She, she's gonna beat me, dude. Oh no! Come on, Chrome. You, you, you're still in it, mate. Can, can get us come. One, two, three. Come on! It's gonna be a close battle, boys. It's gonna be a close battle. Come on! Oh, get rid of another combo. Come on! Get, here we go. Fuck. Oh, she's dead! She's dead! No, no, no. Off with her head. Uh, something to prove. Uh, I just kicked ass. Uh, once the faint is complete, a so window detailing uh, detailing your reward will be this one. Oh, I missed that. What did I get? Did I get pretzels? Oh, and you get like stars and things. I, I think some noob player, so some weakling World of Warcraft player died over here. And then, then I valiantly stepped in and murdered the uh, Gr Griselda the Evil Witch. Oh shit, check this out. Look at this badass. I'm having him dude. I, I, I feel invincible. Look at this. Uh, an unsheathed sheet. Oh my god. Uh, I, I suppose I could use my stone. Shall I use the stone? See how it works. Uh, return. Wow. That's kind of cool, dude. That's better than that shit in Last Epoch, innit? When do I get, like, these cool things? Like, little birds flying around. This is like a this is like a, a Nazi elf lady. Do you know what I mean? Don't you think? L like a, a Nazi kind of uh, scientist lady. I, <laughs> I don't like the look of her one little bit. <laughs> it's like the SS. It's like the invaded Final Fantasy or something. Uh, right, where are we going? Uh, we need to get. <laughs> we need to report to Milia. <coughs> which is. All the way over there. Now, I only know one way to get there. Oh no. How do I get there? That's on a different level. You see what I mean? Is, 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 is that is that the kill? How do I get there, man? I don't, I really don't understand that. Uh, it's like it's there, but how how do I get? Is is that where I'm going there? Level three, in the name of science. It isn't, is it? That, that, that's just something else. Whereas that, I can't zoom in there. 
But it, it, you see, like, all this area is, like, a slightly different colour to what is in that area up there. This map's weird. I, I, I'm really struggling with the map. I mean, I guess, I guess I can go up here, right? Oh, those are the dancing cat ladies that we saw at the start. Should we check them out? Um, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let, let's see where this takes us. Uh, yeah, see, like, look. There's, there's nothing there, because it's on another level. But how do I know? I don't get it. I just don't. It's, it's so weird. And I think down here was a dead end, wasn't it? Because don't, don't like up there's the stairs, and we know that's not the way, yeah? I, I despise this place. I like, actually despise this uh, this map, man. So I think I can get to it from here, yeah? I think. Oh, no, I can't, because that's a... Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. It might be all right. Uh, no. I, I, I don't get the map, dude. I, I really do not get the map. It just makes no sense to me. It's completely illogical. Um, you were 30 meters away from your guild. That don't help me at all, Mombra. It's, it just doesn't help me. I mean, there's no point pointing out. You know, it just doesn't help at all, does it? Um, exit, exit the map. Oh, I have to exit the map. Why would I have to exit the map? Oh, so if I go down... Yeah, but look, it, it's like it grays it out, look. There we go, there we go. That's it, there, that's it. So hang on, do I actually have to refresh my map? Or... or mm, okay, well, thank you. That, that actually did work. Uh, right, we're back with Mila. And she was the one that wanted me to go and kill some shrews, right? Welcome back, Grimble. I take it you've dispatched the beasts and with ease. Rest assured, there will be far greater challenges to come. The better be. If you wish to master the sword, you must test yourself against a wide variety of foes. To this end, I present to you this hunting log. It contains information on creatures ideal for a gladiator in training. You will doubtless gain valuable experience should you seek out and slay them. It is only the such practice that you will recognize and eliminate the deficiencies in your technique. Your training under me shall continue once the haft sits so snugly in your hand that you cannot imagine holding out else. Until then, the next gladiator's quest will be available for Miller upon reaching level 5. And I'm level 4. Oh, no, that's just me level 5. <coughs> okay. Uh, try using the map you get with pressing X more. The other is just a quest locator map. Yeah, it, the map, uh, th th this whole older place is weird, dude. Um, some items can be used granting various effects such as instant HP restoration, attribute boosts and more. Using an item is as simple as selecting use from the item subcommands. Uh, all items with recast times cannot be used. Oh, right, yeah, so it's like global on some items and stuff. Uh, the hunting log is a record of your completion of tasks involving the slaying of certain creatures. By completing these tasks, you will earn rewards. Once the log is open, select class and difficulty to view the available challenges for that rank. I, I probably don't need to worry about it. It's just too much, do I? Uh, oh, right. So, so I did... Targets indicated in your hunting log will have a special icon above their display now. All right. How do I access the hunting log? How do I actually access the hunting log? Is it going to be in here, is it? Logs, hunting log. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Um, so it's a different log for all the classes, is it? Is that is that what is that what they're sort of like hinting at? Oh shit! I got what happened then? Uh, logs, hunting log. So difficulty one would award me with a total of two thousand. So I'd have to destroy. So if I kill three ladybugs. Three star marmots. 
So if I kill three of all of these, yeah, I'm going to get like quite a big XP bonus. Is that right? And I'm going to assume... Well, I don't know. What, what does Gladiator 01 mean? Is that is that just saying tier one gladiator hunting log ladybugs, yeah? So, oh God. Uh, hmm. Uh, mor morning, Missy. Uh, morning, Findrius. Hmm. Okay, that's that's interesting. That, that's kind of like an extra, a whole extra bunch of cool stuff to do, presumably. Uh, kicking the hornet's nest. Find uh, first sword. Oh, look at that! Fourteen hundred pretzels. Oh, we get new armor. Uh, first sword Miller wishes to teach you the fundamentals of the gladiatorial arts. Did you have a nice Easter, uh, Missy? Um, I take it you and your sword have become better acquainted than I will instruct you on another fundamental aspect of what it means to be glad at. Quick question. You know, as I'm leveling, is the game going to automatically give me my skills? Or, or, or do I need some, you know, you know, like in World of Warcraft, I have to go and buy skills and things like that? I mean, is, is this just, you know, as soon as I ding like six and it's going to go, you know, and that is a threshold, it's just going to go boom, there you go. She has large hands, what her? Oh my god, I can't look down, sorry dude. Um... I take it you and your sword have become better acquainted than I will instruct you on another fundamental aspect of what it means to be a gladiator. Commanding an opponent's attention. Is this like threat management? As gladiators, we are trained to engage enemies at close range, weathering their attacks as we deliver our own. However, there are times when we must do battle alongside allies whose talents are not the same as our own. In such a situation, your role is not to slay the enemy in front of you, but rather to defend the man beside you. We do this by eliciting the enmity of our opponents through attacks and techniques designed to incite their hatred. You must learn to draw the enemy's attention to yourself and to trust in your stout constitution to endure. In so doing, you protect your weaker comrades who would otherwise perish. To help you better understand this, there is a task I would have you perform. It just so happens that Mamodi of the Quicksand has requested our assistance. Oh, this sounds good. A gang of Lominson mar marauders has paraded into town and begun harassing people outside of her establishment. Men like these prey on the weak, but will turn tail and flee at the first sign of defiance. You need not resort to violence. It will suffice to show them that you are not afraid of them and will not tolerate their behaviour. Can't we beat them up? Seek out the Lominsons. Oh my god, pointy, pointy. Uh, and make your presence known by bellowing, Face me, Marauder! <laughs> <coughs> In this way, you'll protect the people of Ulder. As you would. I, I need to remember this. We make notes. Face me, Marauder! Alright, there we go. Right, quest log. Uh, oh, no, I don't. Oh, hang on. So, hang on. One thing I am learning when I do that, if, if I don't move the left stick, everything's cool, right? If I switch the type, I can go to like the quest one, yeah? Uh, I think I think I'm starting to get it. I think I think I'm starting to understand the map a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Now I'm gonna assume if I yeah, because like I can't go up there, look. That's that's a no go, right? Uh, you, how, how are you, Findrius? How's things, bro? You okay, mate? So, skill, so skills as we level, so I don't need to worry about like going and finding a train or whatever it is. Yeah. Getting ready for the battle. Uh, Cat Lady still trying to ignore... Oh my god, I thought that... Oh, Jesus Christ, me! So I actually thought that was all done and dusted. It was at the end of this month, though, right? Yeah. So is, is, this, is this where she has to put up or shut up, yeah? I think, I think this is what uh, Monberry was talking about, wasn't it? About the, 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 the shifting through the different zones. But again, because I don't know. I don't even know where those zones are. You know, where the thresholds are, really. Um, it's all kind of quite weird. I mean, I, I, I will understand it a lot more later. But right now... I mean, at the moment, I'm still figuring it out. But uh, why is it? Face me, Marauder! Uh, ye got a lot of nerve thinking you can talk to me like that. Oh. Uh, it, it didn't work, boys. It, it didn't work. Tell the marauders outside the quicksand. Oh, no. I, I failed. I failed the quest. I, I've, I've clearly not done it right. 
my inflection that must be all off. Maybe I need to do a... Is it one of those ones where I have to do like... Is it going to teach me like some weird... Oh, I can get a bit closer now. Uh, we did this early, didn't we? Uh, like an emo. No. Uh, okay. I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, guys, what do I do? In fact, how do we... Hang on. Just out of interest. Let's say... Let me just go to Hornet's Nest. How, how would I see the quest... Oh, it's all, it's, all, it's all the way over there now. Kicking the hornet's nest. Okay. Oh, I have to do slash me, do I? Tell the marauders outside the quicksand to face slash me. All right, let's say I didn't. Let's say I didn't want to actually type that. Is there a way to emote? Oh wow, there's loads of emotes, man. Jesus. So, are, are the grey ones ones I don't have access to? And like the yellow ones I, I do have, and maybe the blue ones are something else, perhaps? So we've got like general... Special. Oh, the specials are quite nice. Look like role play stuff. Visor, change pose, sit on ground, water float, and sit. That's quite cool, man. Uh, yeah, slash me, isn't it? So, do I actually have to type it, or is there a me emote like in, in the window here, if that makes sense? I mean, if I did, you know, if you search. Oh, you can't. Won't let, won't, let, won't let me type anything in, dude. That's weird, isn't it? Uh, let's have a good look. Uh, we've got no. Oh, there it is. I've seen it. Me. I feel a bit embarrassed. Uh, oh, come on now. He, he was disrespecting me. Proud sea wolf heritage. Fine, I'll leave the bastard be, but we ain't finished. All right, I've learnt emotes, boys. Uh, tell the marauders... Hang on, how did I actually do that again? How did I do emotes, dudes? Shit, that's a good question. I can't do my emotes anymore, boys. Uh, before, X was bringing up my emotes, but now it brings up the map. It's like something changed when we did that first quest. Because remember the game said I could bring up the map by pressing X, and it didn't. It brought up the emote menu. And, and now it's it's giving me the map when I press X, which I'd much rather have, but I don't have like a shortcut to the emote. Oh! You have to select. Oh, that's why. Ah, that's why then. Ah, now I'm starting to understand it. So before, I must have had uh, someone marked on the map like that, right? So I must have accidentally done that. And then I was pressing X and wondering why the hell things are not coming up. Oh, I see. And then if I... Yeah, look, you can have a look at all these dudes and dudettes, man. This dude's level 90, bro. Jeez, man. There's a lot going on here, isn't there? Uh, all right, so map. No. Cancel lock on map. Oh, oh, I think there's more there's more dudes to speak to, I think. Yes. Is there more marauders? Tell the marauders outside the quicksand. There was a, there was a dude in there, wasn't there? He's not there, is he? Oh, or is he? Uh, you did it with... Yeah, yeah, I've got it, Star. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I realised the mistake I made now. Um, so hang on then. What, what... what there's, uh, there's another three dudes. So is it going to be the on, the... on the map that I'm looking at, yeah? Is it like the little exclamation marks or not? 
Uh, they are in the red area. Well, there is no red area. There's an orange area. Um, what? Sorry, what's that memory? The top right button with the up down arrows will sort the emotes in alphabetical order. Oh, right, oh, nice one. Cheers. Dude. So, is there anything in, on that map telling me who it is I actually need to go and have a chinwag with? Or is it really just a case of just finding them? Bill Mannered Marauder. Oh, yeah, so, so it's not showing on the map, so you just have to physically locate them. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, and then I emote. Rah! My name is Grumble. Rah! Be gone, foul beast. Uh, you know your friend's ears are 12 damn cheat. He thinks he can charge us more because we're foreigners. But he'll get his own back. Mark me words. Mark me words. Oh, I need to find another two dudes, boys. There's another one. Oh, I'm, I'm like a... I've got cat-like senses, Lance. I'm a big god foul marauder. The owls is your problem. Maybe she likes a men rough. What are you supposed to be? A bleeding man, sir? Bah, it don't matter. You've got to spoil me mood. Hmm. Oh, we need another one. We need another one. There's definitely nothing on the mini map, is there? Uh. Emo. Ah! <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What? You blaming me because this little short shit his own pants? Well, bugger him. I bugger you too. The language is appalling, dude. All right, we did it. I did a quest, lads. So if I go back to the map now and switch it to that one. I'm starting to get there with the map, boys. I, I still find navigate. I think I think I understand the functionality of the map. It's just the, the getting around of all that I'm struggling with. It, it, I, I've got that thing for that John Mark. No, no, uh, Arthur had in Red Dead Storm Age. Tuberculosis. I'm like, ah, yeah, cough and I cough all over. It's oh god, Jesus Christ, dude! I got the COVID, bruh. Yeah, no, I, I, trust me, I'm going to be feared throughout all of Ulda. As the COVID cat. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Mumbra. Your targets will have a golden triangle in their quest marker. Uh, what did you mean by... Sorry, what did you mean by that? Uh, older is still annoying to end game players. It, 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 it's, I'm sure it does make sense, but as a new player getting my way around, especially because I didn't realize there was like <coughs> zone transitions. I think that kind of threw me a little bit. That, that kind of threw me a smidge. And obviously we know, uh, the, the, so the, these, these markers here, they're not MSQ, are they? These these quests with the with the plus sign. These are indicative of like something new, like a new mechanic or something like that in the game, right? And then we've got the MSQ normal, which is what we can see over the Modi, yeah. That one there. So that's that's MSQ. This is kind of like mechanical. Unlock slash new important just general information. There was another one, wasn't there? There was a third sword. And it was it was an MSQ style one. It was an MSQ with wings. Well not, not wings, but as it was something else, wasn't it? Um Mepoxios! This is your best brew. I'd sooner drink a pint of my own piss than this will. <laughs> This is not the Final Fantasy I remember. <laughs> I like his mittens. I mean, Jesus. Oh, I need. Do I need to do that? Oh, I still need to do the emo. Uh, emo me. Rah! It's Gavin Grumble. Get the fuck out of here, Nomma. <laughs> uh, just who the hell is that you're speaking to, maggot? I'm Pathamal, uh, the Driven. And mean, me bloody marauders have been reading so long. Mothers scare their children with tales about us. Don't believe me words. 
They don't let me act. Oh shit, he's going to attack me, bro, in the middle of the bar. What the fuck, dude? I'm not ready for this, bro. Oh ho. <laughs> oh ho, this is lively, even for the quick. Oh, hang on. Hey, oh, ah, dude, hey, he looks like a badass. Hey, the quiet type in the corner wearing his red pajamas. Look, he's only just got up. He's probably watching Dora the Explorer. You two going to put on a show for us? Oh my god. He's like he's like the dude from Game of Thrones. The prince. Uh, what's this? Another goddamn f f fool. Uh, show some respect when you talk to... Oh my god, what's he got on his feet? Uh, Performal uh, the Driven, leader of a troop of bloody mummers or some such. Hey, I heard you the first time. Your voice carries quite well. Then unless you want me to split your skull with me axe, you better... Oh no, he's recognised him. He's realised who he is. He's like, oh no, dude, you've got a dragon flame sword. The, 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 that sword, it, it, it couldn't be f f f frenzy, but only the sword of Nald would bloody hells! It's you! You know, I've never been one to stand back and watch. Mind if I join the fun? Dude, with a goat like that, you can do anything, mate. Oh no, I'm stuck in the middle, boys. B -b 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 begging your pardon, sir. B begging your pardon. He's gone, look. I look like a badass. I actually look like a proper badass. Uh, why do they always do that? <sighs> Looks like it's just you and me. Standing up to that Lominson was quite brave of you. And quite foolish. I think I like you, gladiator. The name's Aldis. And I'd buy you a drink. But I'm afraid I just spent my the last of my coin. We'll buy him around. I used to be a young gladiator like you. Back then, I, uh, well, that hardly concerns you. These days, I'm just an explorer of the unexplored. A seeker of as yet unknown experiences. Like that beautiful stranger keeping my bed warm. Right? It's very, they're very horny in Final Fantasy, aren't they? Gods, I've missed this city. This wonderful desert jewel of debauchery and sin. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Jeez Louise, man. Uh, so, so we're all done. Oh my god, there's an umpa lumpa with its fingers up my ass. Get out of here. Jesus Christ, what the hell, bro? Is that a player? Zoid pool, zoid pulio. That sounds like a really horrible disease. <laughs> Is that like cat hemorrhoids? Zo zoid pulio. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm fucking dying here, bro. Ah, uh, he means oh, is that oh, sorry, is that what Mumbry meant? The the blue oh, the blue bubbles. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus quests uh, are that extra useful, guy. Uh, yellow bubbles are just normal quests for like money XP. Uh, the, oh, the oh, is the, is the music too loud? Do, you, do I need to turn it down or something? Uh, a Asian sandals. They, they were like uh, they were like those uh, what, what the Japanese lasses wear, innit? They, they, they don't look very comfortable, those things. The la las. Is, is it uh, uh, this one's acting suspiciously? A any sudden movements, I reckon we put him in a teacup. <laughs> put him in a teacup and stick him on the table and take him on half hour to get down. Uh, is that you, Zoid? I was going to say, it's, it's got to be someone in chat, man. <laughs> How are you, Zoid? you going to the... Oh, my God. Are you a paladin, dude? <gasps> is that is that what the paladin shield and sword looks like, man? You show, show me the paladin, bro. See, now I want to be an Oompa Loompa. Oh, my God. Who's that little dude? On who's the wind-up gentleman, dude? Is, is that like a little... Is that like a little... Oh, that looks badass. That actually does look really cool. Holy fucking shit. I should have been I should have been a lumpa lumpa, man. Did you did you like your own cinematic experience? Hang on, hang on. It's gotta be a way to turn off. Give us a show, bro. Sh show me the ways of the paladin, bro. That's it, look at that. Sexy pose, sexy pose 101. Oh my god, that looks badass. 
Holy shit, that shield is the bollocks. You, you look you look like uh, Link, but you've been doing steroids. Oh, I like that. That was like the Globe of Doom. I, I want to be like you, dude. I want to be like... Can I be your friend? I, 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 you, you need to get me to a point where I can get a shield and a sword like that, because that looks badass. You got anything else you can show us? Sexy pose. <laughs> it's it's kind of cool because because you're so little. Like the D is it's like you know like when you've got a big character, like all, all the textures are stretched a little bit. Like the smaller you make your character, the better they look, right? <laughs> Apart that that looks terrible. Take that off. No, stop, stop, stop. No, you're ruining it. You're ruining it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Especially that air dude, mate. <laughs> it looks like you, you sort of like, I don't know, like, like mate, do you know how potatoes uh, out in a farm in the middle of nowhere, mate? And, and you, you sort of shank your cousin. I, I, don't, I don't like that. Get rid of it. <laughs> it's like a hillbilly umpa lumpa, mate. <laughs> don't like that at all, mate. That's, that's making me feel very uncomfortable. I might have to eat you. Is it okay? Oh, no, that's badass. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. <coughs> oh, that's so badass. Oh, that's really neat. Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? Oh, my fucking God. What is that? Oh, my, my whole... Oh, the, that's it. That's why I turned the game off. It, it's literally a pink cat, man. Oh, my God. I knew it was going to happen. Is he going to do a magic trick? Is he going to turn him into something? Oh, my God. He killed him. He killed my friend. I told you, I told you, the cat people, they're evil. And this one's wearing fucking, like, pink Reeboks, man. Uh, he's uh, dude, he's probably stolen some cars off a of fucking... Uh, sorry, some wheels off a car in fucking Liverpool. It's a shell suit, scouser cat man, look. <laughs> God, coffee's killing me. Oh, that's it, sweep him up. Is any a scouser, mate? No one will fucking miss him. D take the breeze blocks out of his pocket. Oh, Jesus. Three hours, Swaz. It was all going so well, bro. Ugh. Oh. All I needed to see was a dude with really big shoulder pads, man. That's all I, that's all I wanted, bro. And instead, I got, I, I got a shell suit wearing pink cat scouse, man. Oh, God. Back to World of Warcraft. <laughs> you alright, Advina? How are you doing, mate? How's things? This cat person looks very poorly. You know, it looks like a very anemic cat person. You need to get some iron in you, mate. You know, I bet he's a fucking vegan, isn't he? It's a pink vegan... <laughs> a pink vegan scouser. <laughs> this this is the end game boss, mate. <laughs> this is it. This is the ultimate evil. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, guys, I've got to get a drink. I've got to get a drink. Give me two minutes.
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, they're, they're multiplying, boys. They're multiplying. Your, I tell you what, your eyes look pretty badass. Uh, Pink Scouse, man. Y your eyes look stunning. You look beautiful, not gonna lie. <laughs> that looks really freaking awesome, doesn't it? That, that dress is beautiful, man. Even your nails. Oh, dude, look at the bow, man. That bow looks badass. Maybe I should have gone arch. How easy is it to switch a job? I mean, do, do I just go and buy a bow and then I can shoot a bow cap? Uh... Uh, so, hey, what's this about? Oh my God! Look at this. He looks like he looks like a he looks like what's it? A Van Helsing vampire slayer with this dude. Oh, that's a nice outfit. I'd look good in that in the real world. Look, it's, she, she's got Uggs on. Look. Uh, oh God! Sorry. I, hang on, let's have a look. Uh, we've sit, uh, cast. With, oh my God! Look at the size of this dude. He's a big fucker, isn't he? I'm not, that, that pink outfit is very strange. I'm not going to lie. Have you got anything else? Have you got like something badass rather than butterflies and pink things? He, look, he looks like, uh, what's his name from Final Fantasy VII? You know, is it Barra? He, he looks like, that big dude looks like Barra. He just needs a big gun, right? Oh, oh, French maid. Okay. Uh, uh, quiet time, private time, post stream. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Cam? How are you, man? Uh, Cam, thank you for the 59 and Prime, dude. Thank you. Don't, don't forget, guys, exclamation mark Patreon in chat if you'd rather support us through Patreon or, or alternatively. I, li I like this little Oompa Loompa looking dude. The, 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 all, all the stuff looks like way better on little people, doesn't it? What the hell is that? Is that a bow? Who is that? A ballista? What the hell is that, man? That's ridiculous, bro. Oh my god, we got a naked, we got a naked elf man. <laughs> that neck, dude. <laughs> I mean, there's missing leg day, then there's missing neck day, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that bow. That bow's, it's a bit, it's a bit bright, isn't it? I mean. I, th I think they'll see you coming, mate. Oh, that sword's nice. That sword's nice. Look. Who's this? Oh, look at the qu quite a silent type. You want to watch this one down here? Look. It it'll, it'll nick all that gill. Uh, this look, look at this dude. Fuck it up. Is, is that like from the cash shop? Look, can I look like that if I put enough time in? <laughs> look at look at the little dude, man. <laughs> it's got glow sticks. Look. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, what's the thing in the background? Like, like the little sort of like uh, uh, the, the little orange floaty app thing. What's what's that thing over there? Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, you have to be level fifteen. After that, you can just get it from a guild of that. Oh, so I, so once I hit level fifteen, I can switch out. So I can have like. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. This cough's killing me. So if I hit level 15, I can actually go and pick up a bow, can I? That book looks badass. It's got no pages, though. He's like a bear-looking... Oh, that sword looks nice. Yeah, um. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's like I said, the, the smaller the character... Like, like the, the, the female character there bang in the middle, like everything looks like super detailed. But like the bigger you are, the less detailed everything looks, doesn't it? Is that what that is? That they're Moogle minions, are they? Moogle minions. I can see. I can see these little ones on the floor down here, look. Oh, it's so cute, look. Oh, dude, he just climbed up the little lumpa lumpa. You see it on his hat, mate? <laughs> That's cute as hell. Even I can't remember this. <laughs> dude, this is bad. The dragon's dogma. It literally crawled up and started. All he's got to do is stab him in the ear now and kill him. Some cool looking stuff, man. <coughs> That's kind of crazy. 
What's that, Plady? Uh, take the chair. What, hang on, what chair? What's that, mate? I quite, I quite like these. Uh, and, and Fina would like these. Look, they, these are like big goth boots. Look, she'd, be, she'd, she'd love them. Who's the frozen pink bunny? I, I, I have no idea, man. This, this one here. Who's that? We got, we got, we got someone else. My God, it's so bedazzling. Isn't it? Oh my God! Check out Big Boy at the back. He's turning to what's that dude from uh, uh what's that dude from uh Diablo? That does look pretty badass. That's what I'm talking about. Armor with big shoulder pants. The bigger the shoulder pants, the better the game. Right? Oh, that's you, bloody! You're the dude with the pink. Your eyes are mad, man. Your eyes look like super detailed. Like, really surprisingly detailed, actually. I noticed your top's got, like, little skull and crossbones on there. Well. How are you, Advina? You're right. I did, sorry, I did see you in chat earlier, mate. How are you? Yeah, they're not actual rabbit ears, are they? They're real ears, but they, they, they like you said, like, hair, rabbit, whatever. But they are actually his ears, right? They're, they're not, like, stick-on cosmetics, are they? Except the tr Oh, hang on. I haven't, got, I haven't got my thingy on, dude. What's this, dude? What am I getting? A Guido. Uh... What, what is it, dude? Uh, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not going to break my game, am I? Complete trade, yes. What? What do I do? I, do, do I need to give you some gill? Oh shit! Uh, what have I just done, dude? Uh, pet. Oh what? The, oh, oh dude! Oh dang on, dude! Don't don't give me give me stuff, man. It, it's not like all account bound or something, is it, bro? Uh, high quality. Oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, you have obtained a high quality item. H2 items can be identified by their icon. Uh, okay. HQ items cannot be stacked with normal quality items. Okay. So how do I look at what you've just given me then? Oh, Jesus. Look at him in the background. Uh, if I do this, I go to inventory. Is that it? Uh, a Guido. It's a minion. This is most likely... Uh, there is most likely a logical explanation as to why this aged turtle or aged turtle can navigate the skies. Most likely. A user item to acquire the Guido minion. Unobtained... What happens if I use it? Is it like a count power? I mean, this isn't going to be like better off with like a player who's like fully committed to the game. Because at the minute... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I've only started playing today, bro. Uh, quite unmistakably a chair that flies. No way! A flying chair! What, an actual flying chair? That's freaking cool, dude. Uh, it's bound to character. What, what does that mean, though? But, but, so if I use it, I can't give it you back, though, yeah? It's not too... So it's not too... Right? Like I, said, I don't, I don't want to, like, ruin, ruin... You know... I mean, you're very, very generous. But, like I said, we're, we're <laughs> we've got a long way to go, bro. Uh... This Spiritus Concoction is instantly restores the size of... Oh, pops, man. Nice. Oh, and we can see the recast time on these. It, the, the, we had a tutorial about this earlier. We didn't have any pops to actually check it out. Did we? So. Uh, you're right. You're right, Tony. Uh, you, uh, have you started a new team? Because I don't see Grumble... Uh, uh, the Grey, Grey Bin's been deleted, I think, Tom's. Yeah, we only played him for a few days, didn't we? Uh, you need to unlock flying before it takes off. What do I do? What really? What I actually I need to unlock flying in order to use a flying chair. So I have to sort of pass a test. Do I could get a permit? Uh, just activated. I have gifts for many sprouts. So, so, so is, there, is there no point in using the flying chair because I can't use it? Or are you joking? Flying will be later. Okay. It's common courtesy to accept gifts without payment. I usually give tea to people dressed like Uncle I I Iro. Hang on, I don't know what Uncle Iro is, dude. Uh, flying will be. You can still use the chair once you unlock mount. So, so shall I? Shall I just leave that stuff for now then? Yeah. Fifty thousand gil. Is, is, is that is that is that good? Complete trade. Yes. Uh, how much is fifty thousand gil? Is, is that like a nice amount or is that an obscene amount? Uh, <laughs> uh, you have you have obtained a whistle with which you can summon your very. Wow, I've, I've got a whistle. Uh, you must first use the whistle. Once we've used the item, a new entry will appear in the minion guide. 
Oh my god, there's so much new stuff. It's just like I can't keep up with it. Uh, select the resummoning order. Is that is that for the turtle? While minions do not generate any enmity, neither do they participate in battle. If you are knocked out, the minion will simply wander off back to where it is. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, what? Oh my god, that armor looks amazing. That armor actually does look really nice. Um. All right. So if we go, what? what should I carry on then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're on a... Uh, where are we? Hang on, what, where, where are we? We're on Odin, uh, Tony. Uh, level 40 plus will be mostly dungeon gear. So I'm like level what? I'm like level three or something, am I? Oh, I can see friend requests coming in as well. How do I, how do I manage all that? Oh my God, you look amazing. Look at this lassie over here, Lord. Shit, she looks amazing, man. It's the eyes, isn't it? The eyes are like really cool. <laughs> I've got Zoid on the table. <laughs> this little dude on the table, look. Uh, see to Uncle Iro is the last air. But oh, well, I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about last air, but I'm still watching the live action. <coughs> oh no! Don't punch me, dude! I, I, I did. Oh my god! Look at her over there as well, man. Right, where where's the where's the role play uh, jiggity jiggity sex den then? <laughs> Dude, oh sorry, where's the jiggity jiggity sex den bar? Just so I know not to go there, yeah. So I don't accidentally stumble into it, you know. <laughs> I've now assembled an army capable of. Dude, don't mess. Don't. Even this, like, can't handle those shrews, man. I'm telling you, bro. Those shrews are, like, the ultimate force. Oh, my God. Look at that. She went for the money shot. Oh, my God. Fight, there's fireworks. And, and there's too much. There's too much happening, bro. I like those. They're kind of cool. God, the swords are obscene. Just look at the detail on that thing. All right, all right. All right, guys, look, this is amazing. You're all absolutely incredible. But I, I, I need to adventure, boys. I, I need to I need to go and... I, I need to get rid of this corset. I, I mean, battle vest. <laughs> what? Hang on a minute, right? Why am I the only man cat I've seen in the entire game? I've just suddenly realised... I've seen like every everything. I've seen multiple cat women. Uh, I've seen multiple big dudes. I've seen multiple umpa lumpers. I haven't seen any big cat dudes. This is something I don't know. Have I made a terrible choice? There seems to be a, a lot of horny ladies and not a lot of man cats. Big dat cat dudes are rare. <laughs> well, for real, yeah. <laughs> Is there a reason for that? <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> is that Caskill over there? You're right, Caskill. What are you doing over here? Check this dude out over here, boys. This is Caskill. We know Caskill. How you doing, mate? You're looking a bit grey, Caskill. A little bit grey, bro. Big cat ladies coming up in July. What, really? What? So there, so there might be more man cats and more big lady cats in July, yeah. What What does this mean? You see where it says on people's names? It says, like, traveler. Oh, my God, she's got an actual... I see, that's like a leather bikini. That's not a... Po oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Those wings, uh, the, absolutely the wings. The wings look amazing, right? Really. I, I should have made, I should have played a female. I, I've made it. Oh, just Kermit! Oh my God, I should, I should have made a cat. Why didn't you all tell me about this? In character creation. L look at that. I, I'd pay good money to look like that. Oh, Traveller means they're from another server. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Jesus, good Lord, for the love. If you got a lettuce round your neck, is that, is that like... A, what the hell, bruh? 
Oh my god, she's got suspenders on. Well, technically not suspenders, but oh my god. But I've got a look. You, you've got a little chicken, dude. And then we've got wherever the fuck that is. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, Swazza? Who knows, man? I like this, but the butterfly is kind of cool. Don't get any closer. No sudden movements, all right? Can, 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 can I kneel? Can, can I get down to your height? You are so cute. You actually are, like, really cute. Can, I, 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 how do I do that? I, hang on, I learned how to do this a minute ago. Hang on. Uh, how do I do uh, emotes? Uh... Emo. Hang on, let, let me sit down with the sun ground. Oh, hang on. Sit on ground. I did it, boys. I, I, I'm role playing, lads. I'm at, I'm role playing, bro. Look at us. We're having a deep and meaningful conversation. Look, Look at that. We, we, we can sit around and like tell one of the stories of our adventures. Oh, don't kill me with that one. That killed him a minute ago. <laughs> uh, the less armor on, the more the armor rating is. Jesus, man. How long have this lot been playing for? I, I, I mean, how long have you got a Zoid? Oh, that's cute. Oh, so we can have like little campfires and things. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, right? No, normally at this point in the game, it's like shit. What? Why didn't I make this, this, or this? I actually think my character looks pretty badass. Don't you, don't you think? Shut up, chat. You know I look brilliant. I, I just need to. I just need to get some like appropriate armor, you know, like something that really goes with that like big cat gladiator kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, that, he's got an umbrella with RGB lighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, less all right. Yeah, the more all right. Sitting go, I've got it. Are you all right, David Scott? How are you, mate? How's things? You got 600 hours. Now, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. I mean, I, I stream like, what, we streaming like 50 hours a week, right? I, I can catch up with you in no time, bro. A few months, mate, I'll be there. Is this the game? Well, it, it, it's sort of, well, sort of. I suppose this is the MMO-esque part of it. I've, I've done more socializing in this game today than I have in probably six months of World of Warcraft, to be fair. <laughs> there, there may be a reason for that, a scantily clad cat lady, but... <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, points for male, female armor so you can distract people. I, I, I can see the I can see the PvP tactics. In fact, <coughs> question: Does Final Fantasy have any player versus player, or, or is it all PvE? Get through the MSQ at my own pace. Well, look, guys, for the gifts, thank you very much, lads. Thank, I do appreciate it. It's very kind. Of you. I was gonna say you've got thousands in, right, Caskell? You were solidly into the game for halfway through Shadowbringer. And what happened, Caskell? I mean, you know, if, you, if you're so firmly, you know, ensconced in the game, four and a half thousand hours is like... I mean, I, I, that's a breathtaking amount of time and commitment to a video game, yeah? <laughs> I am so sorry for the coffee, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm trying ever so hard. <laughs> uh, there's actually decent PvP. Is there really? Yeah, oh, wow. So is it like compartmentalized? Like, you know, you, you I don't know, you you go to a battleground or, or is there some parts of the world where it's just like a PvP, you know, free for all? Uh, PvP is OK. So, so it sounds like it even gets that right then. I mean, no, normally people will be like, oh, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, PvP is like dog shit, you know. <coughs> the black haired cat girl might have uh, 7,500 hours. What, are you seeing things that are, like, really, really good on that character, are you, like? Th this big dude at the back's got some banging armor, man. I, I, I can see myself dressed in black and gold, you know? I love these succubus wings. They look really cool, man. 
Oh, that is that you, Star? Are, are, you, are, you the, are you the black leather clad cat lady? PvP can be fun when they also do events that give you rewards from playing it. PvP is compartmentalised. Problems are not a lot of key for some parts of it. Uh, and other bits get abused by people farming XP. So, 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 same old issues as anything like that. But, it, but in general, the actual systems are pretty robust, though, yeah? Mm. Right, guys, look, it's bloody brilliant to meet you all, yeah? And thank you for um, coming and welcoming th th this rather lost and confused gentleman to the land of... Uh, oh, my gosh, she looks amazing, man. To the land of uh, Final Fantasy, but I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say farewell, and I'm gonna go and try and do some of this MSQ, boys. See if we can get a flavour for if, if this game's the one, you know. So to all of you, thank you very much. An absolute pleasure, guys. I I, I wish I uh, had better ways to say thank you, but I, I don't really know much about the game at the minute. I mean, but it, it's been an honour. It, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Don't normally get this in an MMO. It's normally just a torrent of abuse by people because you're in their way or something. You know what I mean? Noob cake. <laughs> add them on friends. Oh, how do I do that? How do I? How do I add friends, guys? How do I do that? Uh, I'm going to assume in here. Uh, social, I guess. Uh. Oh, look, there's PvP. I actually couldn't figure it out. Anyway. Uh, fellowship finder. Well, what shall I do, guys? How, 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 oh, I've got another friend request here. Menu, menu, social friends list. Oh, I didn't see that, dude. I actually literally did not see that. Uh, so we've got Zoid Paul, um, uh, who is level ninety. C Goddamn, damn Caskill, level eighty-five, nubcake. So click that. Oh, respond to friend request. Uh, uh, accept, yeah? Uh, accept friend request from Zoid Pool. Uh, on Odin. Uh, so click accept then, yeah? And then Gladrant, respond to friend's quest, accept. All right. So, right, Zoid Pool's got like a little circle with an electric bolt in it. Uh, caskell has got like a little flower. What, what, what does that mean? We've got, oh my God, look at this name. Uh, uh, Telher Sinari. Uh, accept. And then we've got Ploddy Neon Fur. Or pl is it Ploddy or Plody? Plod Ploddy? Ploddy Neon Fur? I I I'm starting to feel like I should put more effort in my name there. You're starting to make me feel embarrassed to play the game. Uh, respond to uh, the friend request. Yes. And accept. This, this dude's got like a little crown with like a warhammer. Uh, language E. For Europe? Is, is that just well, English, I, I assume? Japanese, English. I don't know what the other two are. It just says J, E, D, and F. Uh, oh, Z, how are you, Z? How, did you manage to find a show to watch, Z? Or... Uh, look, guys, he plays the game and does quests. Final Fantasy is dwelling around an AFK in Limsa. Is, is that the end game? Like, hanging about doing what you guys are doing here, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is this when I can relax and I can just come and find, like, new players and show them in gifts? Now, that sounds like a freaking cool thing to, uh, to reach for, to be honest, mate. All right, guys, look, you're amazing. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I'd love to say that I know what to do. I need to go back to Mamodi, right? Uh, it just happens to be in here. Let's go and have a chat with him. Glamour is the end game. Wow, well, it is in most uh, sort of MMOs, isn't it, while you're waiting for new content. Are you all looking forward to... Um, what's the new one called? Currently, it's Endwalker. Is it Dawn something? What's it called? What's the new one? I mean, are you excited for it? Is it doing anything? Oh, is that what it is? It is that? Oh, German. Deutsch. And French. Oh, so, oh, I, I see, I, I thought that was a bit weird, because what about things like Spanish? You know, if you're going to have German and French, where's, where's, like, you know, all the other, like, really big European, I'm mean, especially worldwide Spanish, you would have thought. That's why I thought it must be more to it than just Japanese and English. Uh, started raising an alien. Uh, any, any good? I never even heard of it, so any good, mate, or... 
<coughs> doing the hard dungeons for the best gear and mounts. So let's, uh, let's see what my mode has got to say. I swear if I hadn't seen Aldis with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it was him. Everyone here thought he died years ago. So this is the dude with the crazy sword, right? Listen, do me a favor and don't tell Miller about meeting Aldis, all right? She doesn't need this sort of drama. Who's Miller? Do, do I know who Mila is? Oh, oh, hang on. Was she the the guild lady? With the plate mail armor? She was, wasn't she? Uh, why? Well, let's just say some fake are not good for one. Oh, a little bit of a smoochy love interest, you think, guys? Speak with Mamodi. Um, we must rebuild. Mamodi of the quicksand wants to introduce you to a certain someone at the Ulda Dispatch Yard. Accept. Uh, well, young being, how are you finding our fine older then? Got your bearings about. Uh, I'm struggling a bit, Mamodi. Getting around the city is not easy, man. Oh, oh, this this lady next to me here, this area, she's got that that thing that I couldn't quite figure out. Like, like almost like dragony sort of vibe going on. So it, it was what we thought then. Or? So it's, it's mainly like a, a couple of areas of the skin, the sort of scaly tail and the scaly ear wings, isn't it? Um, if so, maybe it's time you ventured beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Ulder are one thing, but the wilds of Thanalan, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to, and he, you. The name, or oh, Shades, if you're out there, we need to make notes, man. Name of Papa Sean. You'll find him over at the Ulder Dispatch Yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. The Dispatch Yard's over in central Thanalan. That sounds like that's miles away. Just head out the door, across the hall, and you'll see the gate of Nald staring right back at you. Pass through and head east. Uh, you'll come up... Oh, God, are we going on an... Uh, is, this, is this my first, like, proper adventure? Uh, there's dangers beyond the wall, though. More than I'd care to count. Nothing too terrible, mind you, but feisty enough to attack if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. Oh, shit. So we've got two quests. We've got to kick the hornet's nest, which is going back to Miller. Should, should we go and do that now? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I've got to go in this lady's way. Um, how would I? How would I know where that is? Uh, yeah. See, oh gosh, I'm I'm so bad with this map, man. So bad with it. If I do that, go there. Uh, that that'll do us. Sir. That'll do us. Um, you are Hopkins. Oh, Hopkins, I do apologise, mate. Do apologise. Let me let me catch up, dude. Let's get a shout out. Uh, yeah, to everyone that's subbed today, obviously, massive thank you. Uh, for any, anyone joining on Patreon, uh, especially, then, then also thank you. And P Pete, thank you for that, dude. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll find out what's going on, won't we? Um, I, don't, I don't really want to talk about it today. Who knows? It could be the grand finale, big closing any, any minute now for all we know, right? <coughs> Pl bloody thank you ever so much, dude. Lovely to meet you, mate. And, and everyone else as well. Stay safe out there. <coughs> <coughs> so this is the nest, is it? Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. That's Papa Sean, isn't it? Uh, oh, should we, get, should we get to do it anyway? Still, still not sure about this, guys. Still, still not sure... Combat seems like pleasant enough at the moment, considering I haven't really got any skills, you know? I might have to... Uh, they've got like a weird aliasing thing going on, haven't they? I wonder if, uh, wonder if there's any like mods to like clean up the image quality a little bit. I mean, it's not that it's bad, but uh, there's, they've definitely got some weird AA going on. It's, it's got to be FX AA, right? Papishan! Uh, Papishan, well, you certainly look the part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be the good soul Mamodi advised me to expect? I am indeed. I am indeed. So not doing too well. Can't, uh, can't get neither food nor water inside. Anything I can get in is water popsicles. What, is that because of the post-surgery, Z? I, mean, I take it that's not normal then. Or, 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 or is it a bit of a rocky aftermath for a few days slash weeks? You're suffering import overload. The <laughs> thing is, some of it we don't know like how important it is. You know, we, we don't know like what's mega important for the MSQ and what is kind of like, you know, just really part of the tutorial and we won't need to pay much attention, you know, later on kind of thing. 
It's like Brent or whatever his name is at the start, you know? The, the weird dude on the wagon. You know, is he a key figure or, you know, an inconsequential one, you know, just to get us in the game? Um, you certainly look like the part of an adventurer, my friend. Might you be the good soul Mamodi advised me to expect? I am Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I truly am no more than a tiled old Lalafell, passing his final years in quiet... <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry about a cough, guys. I just can't mute out in time because it's normally just like a cough, cough. It's been like it's like all weekend, man. Uh, Twelve. No, there have been plenty of both these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now, true Aldens work together, doing it all in our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt Uldar to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through the dispatch yard too were born of the noble efforts of a great many souls. I didn't notice it was a train trail. I mean, is there actually, is there like a, a fast travel train or something in the game? There is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply remain. And there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. All that needs the aid of you and your brethren, friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. Uh, it, it, I can't, I can't click complete, but I can click decline. Uh, oh, is it because I need to choose an object of loot? Do I? Can only choose like one, maybe. Uh, what would you recommend, guys? Um, shall I take, I mean, the altered thigh boots, oh, okay, so we've got, we've got a few options here, uh, I think I'll take the thigh boots, uh, which, is, is strength and dex, which I guess is bare for me, right? So let's take that and complete it. Okay. Armory chest. Since the armor system in Final Fantasy XIV allows you to... Ch Excuse me, guys. Uh, allows you to change your class or job by simply changing the weapon or tool in your main hand. It is recommended that you always have several sets of gear on hand. Is that, is that the way it's played? Yeah, I mean, like, for, for real, like, could you be... Say, say you're doing a raid. Do, do, do you change your class like mid raid or, or are you kind of locked into things you know i mean I'm, I'm, it, it sounds quite interesting i mean presumably if i'm here right and i'm out and about and i'm just farming some mods i, I could just switch out into a bow and i become an archer yeah switch out to like a sword and i become a god a guardian is, is that the idea behind it yeah but presumably, for instance, content, you you, ha you know, you can't just all suddenly turn into a tank at, a, you know, the blink of an eye, right? So it is post-surgery, is it? Uh, the pain is manageable this time, but if, if it got... Oh, but I've got the worst migraine and feel nauseous the whole time. Oh, mate. You'd rather just have the pain. Yesterday, I, I passed out when we tried to walk outside. Evil was about to call the ambulance. I passed out for... Oh, my God. See, that's terrifying. That don't sound good at all, mate. That does not sound good. Sh surely you need to go and see someone. I mean, being unconscious for five minutes, I mean, uh, you know, the bo the body's clearly struggling, right? You've lost so many fluids during the surgery and have difficulty to drink. Sh shouldn't you go and, go and get seen, Z? Like, like, maybe get, like, you know, like intravenous drip and some fluids in you. I mean, I know it's the bank holiday weekend, and, and, and well, it is here. I, I don't know if it's the same where you are, Z, but uh, you have gear sets like one set for healer, one for tank. You can instantly swap between them. Uh, you are locked class once you queue. Uh, yeah, I was going to say I can understand for instances. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. If I queued as a red mage while waiting, for the... where would I do my first dungeon, dudes? What level? Uh, all gear purchased, crafted, or found is automatically stored in this chest. Leaving your inventory free to fill with other items such as potions, crafting materials, and food. Gear in your armory chest is categorized and sorted by type. 
Uh, the armory chest can be accessed at any time. So hang on, so I can access any of my gear anywhere in the world at any time. Well, outside of an instance. That don't seem right. Uh, inventory. I, I, the, guys, that, thank you so much for the gifts earlier. That was very kind of you guys. So, so that, that's my basic inventory. And it looks like I then have some shards and obviously key quest items. So that's kind of quite cool. Um, but then I have the armory chest. Is there a way to compare? So is there a way to compare the altered thigh boots with what I currently have on? It doesn't look like it. Oh, how how would I equ oh, equip? I oh item comparison. Ah! <laughs> oh, these are loads better, man. Oh, I, I like I like this gear. This, this the, I like the loot already. Uh, I wonder what all this means. Extractable, projectable, desynthesizable. Jesus, man. All right, close. How, how did I even? How did I even? Oh, dude, check my boots out, boys! Holy shit! Huh. No freaking way, dude! Oh, there's repair. Oh, stuff's got durability as well. Set to hot. Oh, so that's how you put. Oh my god. Okay. All right, dude. I got. I got some swank boots on, man. I do look proper badass, man. Proper badass. Uh, Papa. Nothing to see here. Station Master Papishan has a simple task for a fledgling adventurer. Since you come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. It just so happens a number of sentries have been sent to guard the area. A dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot... No way. Did that dude just take off? The hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out here. It isn't much, but go and leave... Oh, sorry, go and give them these twilight pret pretzels. <coughs> <coughs> I told you there were pretzels. I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. You know, you know, what, we, you know what we had uh, yesterday? Um, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're made by Cadbury's, right? It's like a small pretzel, yeah? And it's covered in chocolate. And then it's got like these like chunks of rock salt embedded in the chocolate. Oh my God, they're absolutely just hideously gorgeous, man. Uh, I find comfort food always helps when I'm... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Quest Simpson. So, look at the map. Uh, uh, so that means up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got two inventory. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? You've got like your basic inventory, and then you've got the armory. So you've got inventory and armory, I think they call it. Uh, we have trouble to reach any, uh, anyone. Tomorrow we have a checkup. If it keeps being like this, we might have to go to the ER. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but 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 that's the that's the point, Z, right? If there's if there's one thing, look, you don't need medical advice from me, right? So I'm, I'm not trying to you know suggest you know you don't already know all this, but there's one thing the body has to have, and, and that is an intake of water. Yeah, you know you, you can live. You know, depending on, you know, circumstances, obviously, and environmental sort of elements, you, you can live a while without any food, right? Yeah, you're not going to feel well, but you, you have to have water, right? That, that is the ultimate golden rule. And, and if you've actually passed out for five minutes and, and you're struggling to get water into your body, it sounds to me like you really, really need to be seen, mate. Because, like, dehydration, it literally is, like, a major, major killer, right? I mean, I, I, I just gozy. You know, if you're, if you're struggling to get... If your body just won't let you get water in you, that, that's got to be serious, right? Uh, 
All new gear goes into the armory chest. There's an option to change that so it goes into the backpack. Oh, oh, so, oh, so, oh, in, oh, in that case, I misunderstood that then. So, I need to look into that then, Star, because otherwise I'm, I'm going to forget that I've got upgrades, right? I, I need to be careful with that. Oh, so projectable's glam, is it? So, so like cosmetic. Around three days you can live without water. Is, is that how long you can? But but you can live quite a while without food, right? I mean, obviously it depends. But yeah, I mean, I, I you know, personally, I mean... And I know it's a pain, Z, but... Oh! I need to time those little combos a little bit better, don't I? I quite like the combat so far. At least it's something kind of nice to look at. Might, you know, the minute I've got no real skills, I? I, I, I still feel like it is reasonably engaging. And then, then I can do like this, can't I? And then sort of like, yeah, all right, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So le left and right, and then I can click, and then I click again, it goes into auto attack. I think. Oh, that beautiful tune, that Final Fantasy tune. That level up, man. How do I... Uh... And it auto loots, right? Right. Where does it say? You know, like if I auto loot, where is it telling me on the screen what I've, what I've actually picked up? Now, that's kind of throwing me. Let me try it on this shroom. I'm not kind of seeing. Oh, no, maybe. I don't know. Not sure about that. Uh, halt, sir. <coughs> so is it, yeah, I thought, like, in the middle down, like, where the damage numbers kind of are. Uh, I'm going to talk with Eva about it. I guess you're right. I just feel so dumb. I'm crying the whole time. So, so I mean, again, Z, you know, it's... Look, I, I don't want to, like, worry you. I, 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 I know you're a smart lady, mate, but... Without being funny, Z, right? A ending up in a fucking coma or something because you're so dehydrated, yeah? If, if your body... like You, you take like a, a man who's been in a desert for a while, right? There's going to be nothing stopping that body trying to get water back in it, yeah? If, if you're struggling to get water in you, and more importantly, if you've actually... If you've been unconscious for five minutes, Z, that is a fucking long time to lose consciousness, right? That, that's not like a little fainting episode. You know, a little bit dizzy, blood pressure, a little bit dehydrated. Five minutes is a fucking long time, mate. So, you know, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about feeling silly. So to me, it's the other way around. I think you'd be a bit daft not just to go straight to the R. I'd get some nice comfy clothes on, mate, and a good book, and I'd get, you know, get Evil to drive you, drive you to the nearest ER. And, and the minute you say that you passed out for five minutes and you can't get fluids in, in the body, I, th I think you'll be in a hospital bed in a matter of minutes, mate. I really do. And it could be one of those really simple things. You know, nothing to worry about. You know, you just struggle to get fluids in the body. You know, system shock and all the rest of it. You, you know, the body's not quite functioning right. You know... Get a cat. What, what's it called? Uh, what do they call those things they put in the back of your wrist? Uh, it's not a catheter, is it? Um, or is it? It is a catheter, isn't it? Yeah. Put yourself on a saline drip. Get yourself some, you know, all, all the various salts and uh, other vital minerals in you, and, and you'll probably be fine, mate. I, I'd, I'd go, Z. Oh, seriously, mate. Don't, don't, don't worry about feeling silly. I really wouldn't. Um, right, Serious Sultan's one. Hand over. It, it literally is a pretzel. I can't believe it. There is literally pretzels, bro. <coughs> they look just like those experience things did. A Twilight Pretzel from Papa Sean. I like that name, Papa Sean. That's badass. Uh, by the gods, forgive me. You can say this new post has my nerves in a twist. I'm terribly sorry for that. And yes, uh, you may you will rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stay watch. Dude! You're terrible. Look at all these monsters. Look, invading the area. We've got like giant hornets and deadly battle shrews, bro. He's, he's like the worst god ever. 
No, not an intravenous. Yeah, no, the, the thing they put in the back of their hand so that they can just plug in the uh, the lines. I think it's called a catheter, isn't it? Oh, isn't it? Nah, catheter is what they put for the, for the draining of urine, isn't it? And then stuff like that. What's that thing in the back of the hand? They're a nightmare. I ate them. And they, it's like a big, long plastic thing goes all the way into the vein, doesn't it? And then when they put it out, it, it comes out like about two inches. There's something they actually call that piece of plastic. A cannula. That's the one. Cheers, I mean. Cannula. Nearly every time I've ever been in hospital, right? That's what I have to wait for. You've, you're fully discharged. Everything's fine. But you have to wait for someone to come and take the bloody cannula out, eh? So you can literally do it yourself. I, it just goes, eh? Screw it, mate. I'm very glad I had the surgery. They got 7.2 litres of lipedema fat out of you. We tried Ranger, but I can't even smell it. Uh, yeah, the salt. Yeah, that's right, CM. Yeah, absolutely. It's not just the water, is it? Which is all the more reason, you know, if you, if you do feel... Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, dude, what the fuck is that? Oh, why won't... <coughs> I see myself all clad in badass black and gold battle armor. Flying one of them things. Jesus Christ, that's better than shit in Star Season. That looks... I, I'm hang on, why is this dude got a little green sprout and he's driving around in one of them things? It's a mech! Oh, how do, how do I wave at this little, this little friend of mine? Uh, emo. Uh... I need to get good with these, then I need to get some like, uh, how, uh, welcome, how do, how do I, uh, cheer! Oh man, this game's freaking cool, dude. I'm interacting with real human people, uh, and I feel quite uncomfortable, to be honest. Look, look at this little dinky person, man. Oh, you look so sad. Well, what's the matter, little Lala Fell? Are you okay? You look furious. Ah! Oh my god, you look so sad! <laughs> Is this why no one plays giant cat people? Because they're scary. Uh, catheter. Nah, nah, it's not. Nah, 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 it's not. Hang on, let, let me check. A catheter's what they, what they put in to drain your piss and things, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Yeah, you're wrong there for, mate. It's de oh, unless I've misread it. It's definitely a cannula. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, it is 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. C cannula is what goes... In well, it doesn't have to go in. It's normally on the back of the wrist, isn't it? Uh, some good veins down there. And easily accessible. The catheter is what they put in, like, to drain uh, fluid from the bladder and things, isn't it? Yeah, the, my, my girlfriend used to do uh, cannulas and things long, long, long time ago in the, in the basic training. And that's the price why you have to wait so long, Advina. Because you have to wait for someone actually qualified to take the cannula, right? Even though you can just rip it out yourself. Yeah, that's right, Divine, yeah. I know, I've got a story to tell about. That's why, that's why I know about cannula. Are you right, Ford? Do you have a nice uh, Easter weekend? What was that meat that you caught, by the way? What was it? Was that chicken or was it something fancy? Oh, this! Oh, no, my, my sweet, beautiful uh, voice has made this little Lalafell fall asleep. Look. <laughs> uh, right, hang on. Where, where's the dude gone? Where's the dude gone? Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. There should be a there should be a Blake here, right? According to the map. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Where is it? Oh! Oh, I was looking for a big dude. Sorry. Uh, so, so all races are being hired for the dispatch. Uh, uh, 12 seconds of me scorching days, freezing nights. The pace will be the end of me. Have a nice twilight pretzel from Papa Sean. A refreshing goddamn pretzel. I feel reborn. You know what my mom did? My mom did um, uh, uh, ch Chinese duck. Put, like pulled duck. It smells absolutely gorgeous, man. Uh, Divine says if you're struggling to drink, she says you should try eating watermelon. I think uh, Aziz tried popsicles, like, like ice poles, which sounds like it. Because you can just keep sucking them, can't you? 
Just Google IV catheter. Well, I've just Googled can cannula. It, it must be a thing. I can tell you for a fact that, that cannula is definitely what we put in the arm. I'm even looking at an image of it. A cannula is a small tube that has been placed into a vein in your arm or hand in order to deliver your intravenous therapy. So it, it must be a regional thing. And a catheter is what is used. Let me, let me open that up. And a catheter in the UK would normally be a tube that is inserted into your bladder, allowing your urine to drain freely. So it must be a regional variance, which I find strange, to be honest. A cannula and a catheter have got a regional variant. But, but I, I, it's like you said, I mean, did you not say an oxygen or something? Maybe they're different. Uh, in general, though, a cannula is to get stuff into you as in direct into the blood isn't it um and a catheter is direct into the bladder like as a drain typically uh western front clear eastern front clear so because you have blood drained don't you ah that's that that's why for because you have blood drained don't you so it would, it would be like um so, so that, that must be a different type of catheter whereas a cannula is is normally into the body that's why. Um, Sven Sultanson. Let's give him his pretzel. Uh, for me from Papa Sean, a Twilight pretzel. My favourite. How did he know? <coughs> Jesus Christ. Can't fight on an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can't fight on any stomach. I suppose I can say I have no stomach for fighting. And then I'll be back to Papa Sean, are we? Quite, quite interesting, the, uh, the, the the difference in uh, lingo there, isn't it? They always uh, struggle a lot, don't they? Getting the cannulas in, like, like the elderly. That there can be, like, a real trick to getting them in, right? Because the, the veins have all collapsed and stuff, haven't they? You can get, like, a lot of bruising when they're trying to get the damn things into them. Kind, kind of sad, really, isn't it? Uh, you've returned, and with a deal, fewer pretzels, I see. Tell me, how fair are Sultan sworn sentries? Did they have anything to report? Anything at all? Nothing? Are you sure? Hmm, oh dear. Take this for your troubles, then, and stay a moment. There is more I would ask of you. So, I have to, so I still have to choose, so I can choose a sword, which is an extra three damage. Don't really care about that. Don't really care about a bone staff either. So if I just take the bronze... Oh my god, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? Jesus, what, e what even is that? Uh, complete. An another another ding, boys. This person can't get on their mount, Lord. They, they can't jump on it, Lord. I think they buffed it. <laughs> so how... Right, question. How long do I have the little green sapling thing next to my nail? Because obviously, like, Luna Moon Espada there has got, like, a really badass mount, right? So presumably they've got a good few hours in the game. So at what point do you lose the little sapling thing? Is, is it based on level, or...? Uh, it was two chuck roast steaks, slow cooked for nine hours. This photo made it look weird. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure what it was for. I, I really wasn't sure, you know, what meat it was. Uh, evil call, then they're going to call us back if we need to go in or if they are doing a house call. Oh, really? Is it a long way to go, Z? I mean, I don't know what it's like where you are. I mean, if, if you needed to go to a hospital or an emergency room, I mean, is it a fair old track for you? Uh, Grum, I have this uh, just this moment. No, no. The time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I had you deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some most unsettling news. Uh, I can see someone called Rasmagaz there, uh, which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Sultan Swarm. Uh, Papa Shan is in dire need your assistance. Sent. A young nobleman from a very prestigious family has run away from home, and I've been ordered to see to her safe return. The Sultan Swarm you met earlier were assisting with the research. Alas, it seems they have found no trace of her. Oh dear, this doesn't sound good. I apologise for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution. Should word of her disappearance spread, I fear others with less honourable motives may join the hunt. 
And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. That's not going to happen. It must not happen. I need you to help me find her. Look at that manly nod of the head, boys. Praise the 12. I knew I could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search, but Thanalan is vast, and there are only so many of us. The young noblewoman's name is Lady Lilira. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. If I wanted to go back and look in detail at the quests, so this is something I feel that all games should have, but very few do. You take a little bit of a break from a game, right? You know, whatever. You know, you've been at work all week and you think, like, what the hell was I doing, yeah? Is there like a little mini quest summary of the story so far in this? If that makes sense. Um, so if I, I mean, I suppose if I do that, Underneath the Sultan tree. Uh, so, so kicking the on Oh, so that's all. Oh, right. So this is. Oh, so this is all the quests. Uh, the station master explains that he and the Sultan are in fact searching for Lady Lilira, a young nobleman who has run from home. He asks us to search for Lilira in the area to the south of the Sultan tree. <coughs> so it is giving me my current quest, but it's not giving me. A, a, so there's no summary of the, like the mini story so far. You know, like you had to go and speak to the Sultan's sword. Uh, get, deliver some pretzels. That's that's fine. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to go and do this then. Um, I think I should go and get that done. Now, is do you have like an active quest? If if you, if that makes sense. I mean, is do, you know, can I just like clear the log, or is it really just a case of? Doesn't look like it, does it? So if I went to, if I clear that, go to the map, and zoom all the way out, that's about the only way you're going to see it. Ah, I'm, I'm, get, I, I'm starting to get the map, and to be fair, the map is pretty freaking cool, actually. Was that, was that Raz Raz? I, I just saw a dude called Razmagaz over there. Do you reckon that's Raz like Twitch Raz? Or is it just... Is it just a dude? You just happened to be called Raz. Um, uh, it's not, but the city is well reachable right now and they can help locally as well. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I mean, you're doing the right thing. You, you know, you, you, you've rung. They'll get back to you. Or, or even say, oh my God, there's a freaking car, dude. No. Oh, fuck. No one told me cars did that. Oh, fucking shit. I want one of those. Why did no one tell me the freaking cars flew? Oh, shit. That's cool. Dude. What was that? Oh, shit. I could be a cat on a bike. Hang on a minute. What would happen if I got that boy? I, I ain't gonna fit on that. Oh shit! I can race around. Oh freaking hell! Oh dude, dude. Uh, oh no, no. I don't. I, I don't. No, I don't want to join the party, mate. Because I, I don't. No, no. Because. All right. Can, can you promise not to? If you're in chat, just just don't, don't take me crazy places, man. Because I, I don't want to like have any sort of like location spoilers. Don't, don't be horrible. Don't drop me off in the middle of like nowhere, please. Uh, how do I get in? Can I get in the car? Oh, I don't know what's. How would I get in the car? Whoa. Do I ride pillion? Dude, I'm in a freaking car, bro. <coughs> I 
Yeah, from Final Fantasy 15. Can we can we fly? But but not fly far. Oh, oh. oh shit, that's so cool. I would buy the shit out of that in Star Season, dude. Oh, dude, just look at this thing. Oh my god, that is so cool. H how the hell do you get things like this, bro? How do you, do you have to buy them? Is this one of those things you have to save up the guild for? Can I get a dragon? <laughs> this is a free man from an event. I love the way my dude's like got his out. He's, 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 th thank you ever so much. That, that was really cool. Thank you. <coughs> thank you very much. Uh, Telerasi. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name out. I feel like I'm murdering it. Z-Z-Z-Telersi. Z-Telersi. Ah! Fucking dragon, boys! Does that fly? Is it a flying dragon? Oh my god, dude. That looks freaking awesome, bro. Alright, 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 alright. That is, that is freaking epic, man. That, that is freaking cool. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Oh, I can. Sorry, I did a little lala fell in that. Oh, oh my god, it's a flying lala fell tank. Oh my god, that is freaking cool. Look, look at the little hands on the. Look at the little details on it, man. I wonder, I wonder what a flying control. A flying control is like a pain in the ass. I, I can imagine it's like really weird, right? Man. I like that. I, the first thing I spied when I came out in the world was that uh, tortoise over there. Look. Yeah, it's a tortoise. Like that. No way. It's a flying, spinning napalm turtle. Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, hang on. Why have I got a little flower on my, on my heads up display? What's that mean? I've got like a little, you know, it's a sort of middle top. Left of middle top. So that's like my dude's looking up at it. Oh, Jesus. That's like a crispy bacon landing. Oh, here's one. Can I have a battle cat? Can I be a battle cat riding a battle cat? If that makes sense. Means you and you. No, 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 not that. The, the one. No, not that. The one up top. How do, how do I do that thing Mario told me about? This one up here, look. This one here, look. Not, not, not the one here. This one up here. I've never seen that before. That wasn't there a minute ago. Oh, dude. Oh, hang on. What's that? Is that a sloth-looking thing? So I can be a battle cat wear, uh, fl uh, on, a, on a battle bear sloth. That actually looks really nice. Uh. Well, what about like a Thundercat cat? We, we, we got like a panther. Oh, no, no, no. Not a unicorn. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, no, no. We, we, we don't do unicorns around here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I, I like it even more now. That's actually really cool. But I think my, I think my feet would touch the floor. Uh, well, it looks cool. It does look cool. No, not, not really my cup of tea, but that does look kind of... Oh shit, that's oh my god, no, that is fucking cool. No, that is cool. This egg's got it. I like the way you're like hugging it. That looks really cool. That does look really cool. That, that is like Daenerys Targaryen levels of awesome. That looks that really does look cool. Oh, it's an XP boost because we're high. Uh, God. Oh my God, that's hideous. Oh, that's like something out of Elden Ring. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that gives me the heebie jeebies I, I 
actually quite like that. That actually looks pretty cool. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. No, no, no. That, that, that's a unicorn, but... But well, it's better than the unicorn. That's cool. I like that. That that that's straight. Hey, that's awesome. I love that. That's brilliant. I, I like the little little like piranha ones that swim with it. Look. Uh, that's that's nice. That, that's like a, a dire wolf with, with RGB flames. I like this. This this is cool. This is. Neat. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I should have made a Lala fell. That's nice. I like that. Oh my god! Yes. Yes. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want that with black and silver armor. That's fucking awesome. I want to be an evil cat man. A shadow cat. A death cat. That's badass. Dude, that thing's got multi... multi, multi oh, does it fly? No way. Oh, it's just... That is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, that, oh, I like that. Oh, that's better than the other one. I like the color on that. That's nice. That's nice. That, that is really cool. Oh, dude, the wings come out when you're actually... Oh, no. That, shit, that's neat. Dude. I like this thing. What's this thing called? I want one of these. Can I Can I have that? Just sell it to me. I, I've got a uh, 10 gil. 10 gil. <coughs> Take care. Oh, my giddy aunt, bro. Oh, this is this is almost like straight out of some sort of like Star Wars esque thing, isn't it? It's cobbled together. Quite like that, but maybe not my cup of tea. But I kind of like it. It's like a Transformers vibe, isn't it? You know. Uh, if I do that and do that, I can turn the map off. Oh, oh Jesus, that's evil looking. Oh shit! What was that? What was that game that Konami made, where where you played you played like a suit of armor like that? It was badass. Really short name like Evo or something. Does anyone remember that game? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh my god! Yes, please. I like all these black silver things. Oh, dude. Oh, wait. Oh, listen, listen to it as well, man. That, I really like that. That with like the silvery feathers on it. Jesus, there's so many Mac. I mean, like, uh, how much of this am I ever going to get to? Let's say I just play the game, like, semi-normally. Am I going to get to see any of this shit? Or, or is this like, you know, like in World of Warcraft? You know, after that shit, you'll never get a million in one chance of seeing it. You know, it's a so ultra, ultra rare drop. Or you actually get an ultra, ultra rare drop during an ultra, ultra rare event, and it just seems like... a lot. I've got to admit, that horse looks really cool, man. Actually, good. that I'd, I'd like that. That looks that looks nice. Oh no way! Were you like actually inside? Oh god no! Oh god, make it go away! Oh no no, that's hideous. Oh that that's awful. Oh gosh no! Zero out of ten. Man. Oh yeah yeah, that's neat. So you're actually inside. Oh that's kind of cool. That's like all Matrix levels and weird, bro. The whole, so this is a PvP horse, is it? Did you have to be any good at PvP to get it? <laughs> uh, you're like, Raz, Raz, were you in the game earlier? I saw a dude called Razmagaz, or at least I think I did. What the hell was that? What, 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 what the hell happened then? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Yeah, I, I like this battle horse. This battle horse thing. Really. This looks nice. I really like the um, almost like avian tail feather thing that's got going on. Jesus Christ, dudes. I'm never going to get anything done in this game. <laughs> oh, I like that. Buck would like that. That's nice, bro. That is nice. Oh, look at the animation on it. Oh, that's really tight. Bro. 
that's nice as well. Is this, this Raz? Is this you? Is, it, is this Raz chat? Raz, Raz chat. Uh, how do I do emails? Uh, how, how do I? Oh shit! How, how do I choose Raz to emote to? Uh, actually, that's a fucking good question. Uh, oh shit! Sorry, Raz. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, ah, like that, yeah. And then I can emo. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Man. Uh, I'll give you a chuckle. <laughs> oh my lordy lord, that's a proper dragon. Oh shit, that looks badass. Trouble is, like, if you've got this, like, what the hell is that? I saw this earlier. It's, it's, it's like hideous. It, it, it's, it's like, it's, it's like hideous but mesmerizing. Cause it's got like a real insect. Oh my shitting dicks! That's badass. <coughs> that actually does look really cool. That's beautiful. Isn't it? That's that's that is actually like stunning. Look, look at that, all the little leaves as well, man. Uh, what server am I on? Uh, oh shit, good question. Oh look, there's two different color variants. Uh, Odin, I think I'm on, dude. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna guess Europe slash Odin. Is that the best way to describe where we are? Oh, you have to say light as well. So EU light Odin. If, if that makes sense, which I'm sure it does to you. You, you enjoyed it, Raz? How long you been playing? I didn't know you even played this, Raz. What, what, like, you know, how long you been playing it for? Are you like a mega max level or something? It's the giant whale thing from Avengers. It's, it's, I, I'm, I'm sure it's like well known in Final Fantasy lore, right? It certainly gives you an idea of what, what could be to come. Oh, that's like a battle Chocobo. Quite like that actually. I've always liked the Chocobos. Surprisingly. The birds are easy to get. Are they really? Yeah. When, when, when do I get the ability to fly, guys? Is it is it like quite a high level? Oh, level fifth. Oh, that's, that's going to be pretty high. Level. How are you, Badass? How's the, uh, how's the family been with Easter, mate? You had a good one. Flying is per region, so you have to... See, that's another thing. I don't even know what the regions in the game are. <laughs> that's cool. Is this, is this the flying chair from earlier? <laughs> That's cool, man. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I do like that. I didn't know the car flew. I think last time I jumped on this, just very briefly, wasn't it? I, I saw that car thing. It was like, oh my god, that looks so ridiculous, dude. Oh no way! That is ridiculous. It's like a little UFO look. <laughs> Again, not not my cup of tea, personally. That's kind of neat. Oh, dude, we got a Santa bear. Look. Oh, it is a Santa bear. He's throwing gifts. <coughs> You're on. I think I was on a leech. I joined Odin because because uh, Caskell's here. But I think I think all my other characters. Are what, what, my, my most played character was like, I don't know, level six. I, I, I think I had a day streaming it many moons ago when, when I downloaded the free trial version. I'm sure I'm sure that's what we saw earlier, was the Lich. Oh, this is one of those manta ray looking, like, Jesus, that looks nasty, doesn't it? Kind of like that, that's kind of neat. That does look kind of neat. Oh wow, that look that looks like something from um the What's It series in Star Citizen, you know, the uh, the Origin I series. 
Like the 890 jug, like a posh one. <laughs> no way. It even flies, look. That's, that's bad, bro. Oh, shit. That's Elden Ring again. Oh, dude. I, I hate it, but I love it. That is so freaky. Oh, flying bed. It's got to be flying, right? Oh, that's cute. I like that. That's not... Here's a question, right? If you had, like, say, a family member or, you know, a, a friend who's not really into gaming, you know, whatever. And, and they wanted to play this game with you, yeah? <coughs> Excuse me. Can you play this on the old hardware? So, for example, can you actually play this game today, right now, and join me standing next to me on, say, a PlayStation 4? Yeah, well, obviously, providing you bought the game and everything, obviously. Or, or is it all kind of... Oh, shit, that looks badass. That reminds me of the uh, Baryonyx from Ark. And, and this, 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 like, I don't even know how to describe it. This, like, leopard-looking thing. That's beautiful, dude. Some of them are... I mean, some of them are silly. Some of them are hideous. And some of them are... Uh, well, the majority of them are just, like, so detailed, aren't they? You see, you can still play this game to this day on PlayStation 4. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, Jesus, that's like something that would actually be in your worst. No oh my god, there's millions of. Jesus, the detailing stuff is freaking insane, bro. Do, do I get to fight those sorts of looking things? They, oh my god, everyone's got one. They actually look crazy. You're on PlayStation? Yeah, that, I, yeah I, knew, I know it was on PlayStation 5. That, that's what I was asking about, like, like last gen. You know, is, is it still functional? Or, or is it a really... You know, what's it like on PlayStation 4? I mean, you're playing it on the... Steam Deck, right, Caspian? You were saying it runs pretty well. I really like this one. Was this the first one you, we saw earlier? This looks really interesting. Right, see. right, guys, I've got to crack on, man. I've, I've, got, I've got to do a bit of adventuring. I love you, Will. You're amazing. Uh, Kikio, uh, Teherasi, and Shibi, you're amazing. Uh, thank you very, very much. Bye. I really need to get back onto my questing. Thank you for uh, showcasing some really cool stuff, ladies and gents. That's awesome to see it. <coughs> right, okay. We want to go where? Um, I think I'm getting a bit better with the map now, boys. I think I'm starting to get it. I wonder if I ever unlock that shortcut to get to that, that, that area I'm going to. So we want to go back to... Ni uh, Mila, she's at the, she's at the gladiators place, isn't she? Or no, not the gladiators. The what do they call it? The something guild, the, the adventurers guild. Yeah, she's like the lady with the plate mail arm. Is that right? Man, those mounts are crazy, dude. I, I, I see. I'm not. I'm not really a, a mount collector. I, I tend to just have like my favourite daily mount. So, seeing all that, I think there's definitely a couple there that I would really like to have. I, I think I can make a cool enough character to have some fun, I reckon. Uh, it was down here, wasn't it? Uh, they got my body... You're all right, Was Is the sound all right, dude? Do you, you mentioned the uh, the music. Is, is it still a bit... Yeah, Casco was playing it on Steam Deck. Uh, well, I'm not sure if he was playing it on stream earlier. But he, he, he's, he's definitely, you said it was running pretty well, didn't you, Casco? And, and we, we saw something earlier. You were suggesting... Uh, 
I just didn't realize I have no idea who gave me all the, all the gifts earlier. I feel really bad now. I, I, did, I, did, I, I didn't click that who the names were. You, you know the person that gave me like, um... Uh, the, the... Oh, I've forgotten what it was now. Uh, the chair. And whoever gave me 50,000 gifts. Oh, I feel really bad. I have to go back on the stream and figure out who it was. Uh, most mounts are actually free. Wait, so, 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 oh, I mean, Jesus. So, so, so I'm, I'm gonna have to go to a cash store. Some are really difficult to get with, like, achievements. Sometimes they give bouncing scissors. See, if the, I don't mind, see, I've always said I don't mind a grind, right? So, see, if, if I can find a game that I really enjoy, yeah? And I just want to have a chat. Yeah, yeah. Z is having a really bad day, right? And, and, <laughs> we just want to have a chat about shit, yeah? And, and, and Z could be in chat, and I could just go and do some grinding, you know? Gr grind the shit out of something. Just while we all have a chinwag about life, you know? And, and then go back to an MSQ another day. Like, oh, I'm up for that, man. I, I think I think, I think think that would work for me. Uh, I was playing on Steam yesterday. I was getting 30 to 35 FPS in the busy towns, but 68 in the real world on laptop and high graphics. Do you think... I mean, the ultimate... See, see to me, Casco, right? That sounds like you are dangerously close <coughs> to being able to play this game at a lot <laughs> refresh rate of 40 hertz. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry guys, I'll try and mute out once I know it's going to be a bad one. I reckon, with a bit of tweaking, yeah, you could lock the Steam Deck at 40 hertz with a 40 FPS cap, you know, and run that with VSync and get a smooth 40. I, re I reckon it could be done, Casco. You, you might set me up a technical challenge here, bro. Are you doing all right? Are you badass? Uh, kids have all just been doing their own thing, just having some lunch. Change yourself for the family. Yeah, I mean, it, this cough's rough. I've got a pat. I've, I felt so bad the last like couple of three days, badass. But uh, you know, t t t trying to crack on with it. Uh, the girl, the girlfriend we, we're hoping is feeling a bit better, mate. It's, it's her that we're all worried about. Um, she, she's been really poorly with it, mate. Like really chesty cough. But um, she she had a much better day yesterday. It's like during the day she was okay. But at night time, man, it comes back with her. Yeah, it was plotty for the chair, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure about the 50,000 gil. I feel really bad now. Uh, some of the drag mounts are free, and you can get them by either just drops from a fight. Do the fight 100 times and you get it. Trade for it during an event, so it's not grinding like beer. See, I don't mind a grind. Yeah, I've got no issues with a grind. As long as the grind itself is fun, Tonga. You know, running run a dungeon or whatever it's going to be. Yeah, and you, you get better battery life as well then, as well, Caskill. And more importantly, more consistent battery life as well. 40 hertz lock on the panel. 40 FPS lock, uh, even through V-Sync. You do a triple buffer V-Sync on it. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't matter if it was 100 guild, Gio. It's, it's not about the, the amount. It, it's just acknowledging someone being generous. And I, and I, I feel like it, it, it all kind of happened and I didn't really say thank you properly to be honest, man. Um, I've already heard of your exploits in the quicksand group. You did well to send those marauders packing. I wish I could say we've heard the last of them. Alas, we've received reports of axe-wielding raiders assaulting merchants travelling through Scorpion Crossing. It seems words will not suffice after all. I want you to finish what you've begun. Head to Western Thanala and see that Pharmal the Driven and all those who have shared in his crimes never trouble the people of Uldar again. So we've completed the search for Lyra near the Sultan Tree, search for Winters and Scorpion Crossing. Now, at some point, I've started noticing this happening. All these, look. Now, look, these are side quests, yeah? I assume. Like, non-essential side quests. What is your suggestion, guys? I'm really early in the game. Is it worth just sticking with the MSQ light to level, I don't know, 10, 15? And, and then worrying about doing a little bit of side questing. What, what would your advice be? I'm not in a hurry. I'm, I'm not here to race through content. You, you know, if, if an MMO is worth playing, you know, it's visually very appealing. Outside of the weird stuff. Uh, you, you know, if you were to say, you know, pick up every quest uh, as, as I see them, uh, am I going to feel overwhelmed? I'll, I'll take on board any advice anyone's got. Focus the main story, the side quests are for later. All right, Banner. So, so, 
so, so am I not... See, see, okay. Am I not in therefore in danger of those side quests becoming trivial later on? If, if that makes sense, dude. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, right, we can... Well, we've never been... Should we head out that gate over there? I'm, I'm st you know what? I, I was really not liking the map earlier. I'm actually really starting to like it now. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Uh, <coughs> for me, for me <coughs> Guys, I am so sorry for the coughing. Like, sincerely, my, my deepest apologies to everyone. I'm sure it's absolutely infuriating. I'm trying so hard to move away from the microphone, and I know it's, it's, it's not going to rain. Oh, shit, it's raining. I'm a cat. You ain't going to like that, is it? Can I get an umbrella? Uh, you don't need to do them, obviously. They stick to MSQ to level 50. All right, okay. Cheers, start. Nice, nice, simple answer. It's April Fool's Day. Is it really? <laughs> Is that why I'm playing a cat in Final Fantasy? <laughs> uh, Zepla. Oh, Zepla's that lady. Oh, she's she's got such a funny laugh. She's really beautiful, isn't she? I, I think I watched her. Uh, doing is it is it Wow Plunder whatever it's called is that is that, is that Zeppelin? She's got such a beautiful laugh, man. <laughs> She's like really really cool. I saw her like literally. I, I, I don't know anything about her because I, I assume she's like a World of Warcraft or a Final Fantasy streamer, right? Uh, Cyril. And uh, I literally saw her like. I can't remember, dude. Last week sometime. And she was playing like Plunder World or whatever it's called in World of Warcraft. And she was having a. I can't remember what she was laughing at, but oh man, it, it was like totally contagious. Very, very impressive streamer, mate. Uh, you love doing the side quests, still. Do yeah, I mean, I suppose what I could do, I mean, you know, a bit of downtime, you know, early in the morning. So you've got 10,000 hours in it, Banos. Jesus, dude. You go for main story till I start to become l below level for the main quest. All right, okay. All right, that, oh, that's brilliant then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Nice. Uh, until you play another class if you wanted to. Oh, is that where the side quests come in handy for leveling the, the you know, your other... I'm quite looking forward to seeing how that works. I mean, as soon as we can, like, change class. I think someone said level 15, is that right? Do, do, do I call them classes or jobs? Or, or, or are there still classes and jobs? I know, I know you were starting to explain this earlier, Cass, but I was like, dude, that's just too much right now. You can do level 5 side quests on a new class you level 2. Exactly, that's making sense now, yeah. Keep lower level quests for leveling other jobs. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting you. Keep side quests for other jobs. Brilliant. You have to do side quests later since the unlock side content, but you'll find doing the main story, it will get you to max. And you can get... I was going to say, I'm sure I saw someone with an umbrella when everyone was showing me their, all their wonderful costumes. Simpson, good afternoon. How are you? Happy Easter. How's it all gone? Did I get the grass then? I got one cut on it, Shades, and I was really hoping I'd get another cut on it today. I, I had to take it quite high, because the, the lawnmower just couldn't handle it. But it's pissing it down here, Shades, all day. Non-stop rain since, like, about 6 o'clock this morning. So classes are jobs. So don't need to worry about calling them jobs, yeah? A class is a class. Job done, yeah? Focus on MSQ, do blue quests to unlock more classes. Blue quests. Okay. Uh, Grimace has caved and said he would uh, sell one of the motorcycles. Uh, boobs in face returns results. What are you getting him to sell his bikes for? Just let him keep his fucking bikes. <laughs> why, why are you so hard bent on him selling the bloody things? Uh, these side quests that unlock stuff look different. Blue icon, I think. Oh, yeah. The, the blue icons, it said, were more about, like, mechanical elements within the game. Didn't it? It, it was like you've got basic side quests, you've then got the MSQ, and then you've got like the blue plus ones, which are supposed to be more... Oh, wow, check out all these people. Uh, oh, look, this person has got an umbrella. How, how do I get an umbrella, boys? Oh, thank you. Oh, I, th I think she was helping me out by keeping an umbrella over my head. And now she's A vanished. very warm welcome to Gold Sub Maglashen. Maglashen, how are you, mate? How's things? He has two. So what's the what's the problem with that? <laughs> Is he not allowed to have two? 
<laughs> uh, how are you, McGlashan? You're all right, mate. Uh, they say we'll be getting all of April's worth of rain here later today and tomorrow. It is. It's. 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 It's, it's been chucking it down there. A lot. A lot. It's rain. This is cool. Actually, looks. Oh, it probably looks terrible on stream. It looks really nice, man. Surprisingly impressive. I quite. I suppose the thing is, I haven't seen the world yet. You know, we've only been out a couple of times, haven't we? I, mean, I, like, I like all the crunchy sound effects. A hooded lalafell. Oh my god. What the hell? Uh, uh, oh, Sultan Tree. You're about to enter an instanced battle. Oh shit. Take a moment to read the information displayed in the active help window before answering the call of duty. Are we, are we okay to do this? Are we going to be all right, boys? Uh, duty calls. Commence the battle for underneath the Sultan Tree. Level sync is in effect. If you're above the map, it says it's level 8 and I'm level 7. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh... You're about to enter a special instance. These areas are reserved for important battles which feature unique envir- Oh, wow, this sounds cool. Unique environmental conditions or powerful boss enemies. Instance objectives can be confirmed in the duty list. For the duration of the battle, you'll be unable to pass beyond the red line displayed on the field. You will automatically leave the instance once all quest objectives are done. All right, do you reckon we should give it a bash then? Should, should, I mean, should we, should we try? Oh, Sultan Tree. Oh, Sultan Tree. Proceed. If I get my ass handed to me, I'm going to blame you, chat, all right? Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive Aww. my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Oh, I think that's the first time I've heard someone speak in the game. Show oh. yourself. Oh, why did I make a big scary cat, man? I, I, I'm going to make a lollipop. Fuck this shit. Ah, as you command, oh Lily Ra. Lily Ra. What's going down? Oh, you leave her alone. What's going down, boss? Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. Oh, right, well, right, maybe he's not all bad. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. I like her. She, she, she's got attitude, man. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And I'd prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Do you like my cat, man? Simsy. That's me in the background. With, with my mighty horn on my head, look. I'm like a Mike Tyson, but a cat. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. And I'd like to point out that is not a corset, that is a battle vest, okay? You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. Okay, so who is this dude? You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Oh, I got trouble afoot. Evil. Oh my god, that looks amazing. What the hell is that? Alas, oh, the shit. station master will have to wait. He doesn't seem phased. This dude's going to be a badass, right? It's going to be like a ninja backflipping dude. For my sake, please stay out of harm's way. I bet she's like uh, the emperor. Yeah, she's like like bolts of lightning coming out of her eyeballs in a minute. Oh, all right, maybe not. As for you, dear friend, <laughs> for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's yeah. way. Oh, uh, shit. Maybe I should play a Lalafel. Uh, okay. Nippy little buggers. All right, this is it, boys. 
Right, uh, what do I do? I can't lock on it. I can't lock on it. It won't let me lock on it, dude. Why, why can't I lock on the bad dude? It won't let me choose it. How do I do this? I'll do that, yeah? I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got a new skill. I've got a new skill, but I don't know how to use it. I, I'm not I'm not getting I'm not getting my combos. Oh I've got my combos. Combos. I'm gonna get around the back, I'm gonna get around the back. What's this one? I don't know what that was. What was this one? I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Doing all right, doing all right. Uh, what, what's that blanga thing? Is, is that the other thing? Well, we're doing all right. We get some good combos in there, boys. I'm going to do this one. I don't know what this one is. It's really cool. It's pretty cool. It's a tough fight. It's a tough fight. I mean, anything could go wrong. It brought friends. Oh no! All right, leave them to me, dude. I'll, I'll take this. I'll take this out. How, how do I choose them? Like this, like this. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm devastated. Look at this, look at this. Look at this, boys. Look, look, look at the combos, man. Right, I'm, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do this one. This is extra damage, right? Oh, hang on. Is, is there a lock on? Did you say left stick? Left stick lock on? No, maybe. Don't worry, handsome stranger. If, if, they, if there's any advantage. What's going on? Look at that. Bang! Did I get my combo? What? I've got something called Total Eclipse. I don't know what that is. Oh my god! Leave, I've, I've got them, dude. Fear not, bro. Fear not. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna have some. Oh, I'm, I'm really bad at choosing targets. Uh, so, that, that's not a target, but that's a jump. Oh my god, believe them! Oh shit, we got a problem, lads. Alright, cheers it. Bought a target. This is cool, I'm, I'm learning stuff, I'm learning stuff. Right, and then switch, target, target, attack. Combo, 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 right blade, combo. Back to main target, back to main target. Heals, heals, we need more dots. It's, it's going down, boys. Easy peasy, bro. Easy peasy. Did you see me? Did you see me tackling the rear attackers? D demolished. Big points. I, I, I'm start, so the target on the D-pad, I can go left and right on the D-pad. That'll put a circle on something. And then I can choose it to select it as a target, press it again and it auto targets, yeah? For auto attack, right? I wonder if there is a lock on though. I wonder if there's a way like, so, so I can like move backwards rather than turning my character around, you know? What's this? It's like it's. it's... Oh, that was like one of many, right? I look ferocious. I like that word. Feel, think. It's not a corset. It's a battle vest. Jesus. I do look like a badass. I actually am. This is like the greatest character I've ever made. Oh no, the sound's gone! Can I pause it? Oh, this is, this is driving me mad. It's always during cutscenes. Isn't it? It's like every cutscene. But it's only cutscenes. I don't know what to do, dudes. There's nothing I can do, man. I'm going to have to rewatch them on YouTube. Has anyone got a fix for this? Is this like a known problem? That looks so gorgeous. I don't know what it is, but it looks really pretty in my end. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it hath since grown dim. We're missing all the story, bro. Uh, and as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead. Oh, I can see my own pants. I've got, a I've got a leather pants. That's gotta get sweaty, right? Uh, for the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate.
Oh no, oh no, there's little crystal bits coming off it or something maybe. The power to vanish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. I thought it looked like there was one of many. I bet this has got some really cool music going on here, right? Someone said we can go back and watch all the cutscenes though, yeah? C can I do that now? Because that would be a cool way for me to test what's going on and why it's failing, right? By thy deed shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. C c can I do it now though, Star Mage? As in, once this is over, could we go and do it now? Or, or do I have to reach like a threshold in the story, perhaps? Someone said something about having to have my own room or something. So I just, can I like buy a house or something? Oh, hang on, Jonas. I'll, I'll try it after this. Let, let me just watch it at least, just, just in case we can't get back to it for a while. At least, at least I can read it. It, it only does it in cutscenes, though. That, that, that's the thing that I don't understand. <coughs> now, it's not a loose wire. It, it's, it's something to do with uh, the default sound settings, isn't it? Um... I, oh god, this is awful. Uh, if I only knew a dentist over the void at any rate. Uh, you're right, Azzy. How are you, mate? Thank you for what the bits, man. break now? Uh, we, we don't know. It's just this game. But we noticed at the very start. We, we didn't have any sound on character creation. We then lost it during the main cutscene. And now I've just lost it on this cutscene as well. We, we need to resolve that. Uh, the void sent here, but how? I need to pay attention to this because we can watch the cutscene. We won't, be, we won't get to watch this again, will we? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream. I look, I look magnificent. No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Let me just try something. Let me, let, let me, just, uh, be, let me just come out of there. Let me just come back out like we did earlier. Uh, and come back to the game. What about if, uh, do you reckon it could be a full screen thing? No, that doesn't do anything. Shit. I don't know, guys. Uh, uh, just thinking, lads, at any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How Dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? Is she actually talking? Am I missing actual like her talking, or or, or is this just not? Uh, I shall return and tell them myself. I, I reckon we go and sort out the sound, boys. Now, let's go and find it. So you're saying an in, did you? Where, where was that information about? Now I saw someone say there, there is a book then in the in room to rewatch these. Uh, Mamodi, you can get an in room. Let's do it. Until then, do try and stay awake. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Yeah, we, we've got to fix the audio, man. Now, Jonas has got an interesting one. I wonder if, the, if like, default sound... Uh, that's going to be in system, right? Uh... System configuration, maybe? Sound? Oh, it could be this. Play sounds when window is not active. Wonder if it's something to do with that. Enable city state background music. I mean, all we did was turn down 
the the master volume, wasn't it? Uh, dual shot. I'm not seeing anything that suggests, you know, default or, you know, choose. Yeah, audio is fine. Yeah, we, we even tested it earlier. It's only the game that's not. Uh, what about if I do that? Let me just, let me just come back to my desktop just very quickly. <laughs> Um, <coughs> how did I fix it last time? <clears throat> mm. I'm not, I'm, I might have to, I might have to leave the game. How weird is that? Uh, let me have a quick look. Uh, sound settings. Can, can you hear sound now? Well, I can. Is there any way to pause cutscenes? I wonder if that will fix it now. I wonder if, like, it's it's because it's... I wonder if it's, like, because I'm capturing it through a capture card and maybe the cutscene is making it, I don't know, drop out, perhaps? But maybe by turning on that background setting. I wonder if that will solve it. <laughs> yeah, that's what... I was going to say I can hear, like, a buzzing or at least a humming noise, right? <laughs> Let's let's go uh, let's go back into the city. Let, let's go see if we can figure this out. Yeah, it's like every every it's it's only during cutscenes or, or during like any other time we've seen it is during character creation. So it's like you know when when we're not playing the game itself, uh, it, it's like the, the sound drops for some reason. Uh, Reddit said to change the headphone settings. Uh. I don't have a headphone setting. Uh, what was it under? What was it under? Uh, system configuration. I, I don't have head... you got to remember, I, I'm not actually listening on headphones the way that you, you might think I am. Because I, I, use, I use a tool, a dual PC setup. So, so my sound is completely separate to what you're hearing. Uh, which is why I know this is weird, because it, it's specifically the game. See, sometimes you guys get sound and I don't, and that's obviously a technical issue in my end. But this is like the game itself stops outputting sound. So like all, all the other stuff was fine. You know, I, I can hear my Windows stuff, you know, YouTube sound goes through. I wonder if that's got something to do it. Play sounds when window is not active. I wonder if like it's in like a full screen and when it does the cut scenes, it's like maybe going into some like pre-rendered borderless or something. Let's go and have a look. So if I go back to if I bring up the oh, I didn't mean to do that. If if I bring up the map toggle the floor where's the inn guys oh my god there's so many markers i wouldn't even know it is it is the inn is the inn up here on the left is it sort of like at that northern point on the map let's go and have a look is this going to cost me wonga to get to get a bed <laughs> Let's see if we can solve it, because it would be a real shame to miss out on these cutscenes, wouldn't it? R hang on, what's that? Eons ago, a throat guy said, roll the plug on the outside, outside chat of your nose. The natural... What, what the fuck, possible? Oh, this is it here. It's in here, isn't it? Alright, so if I come in here... Uh, 
What, 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 what do I do, guys? Not that person. Uh, you said something about a book, yeah? This person in the in key. Oh, cheers, guys. I can see you in chat. Uh, you're right, bloody. <laughs> what was your name again? Grub. Uh, I've heard nothing from Mistress of Mamadi about this. The last without her express permission, I cannot permit you to stay. What? She won't let me stay. The hourglass is only the most famous inn on the merchant strip. We have accommodations to satisfy every client's taste, from lavish suites to simple rooms. Were circumstances different, I would gladly invite you to make use of our facilities. However, we have to enact certain policies in the wake of the calamity and the unpleasantness that followed. Only those who have proven themselves trustworthy are permitted to stay. Should Mistress Mamodi deem you such an individual, you may enjoy our hospitality at will. So shall I go and speak to Mamodi and see if she'll let me rest in the bar? Oh, no, that's not very roleplay-esque, is it? You found your way to the quicksand, friend. As you can see, we can't... Uh, Mamodi, you know me! Don't, don't pretend you don't know me! With the chaos left in the wake of the calamity, the townsfolk will be needing the help of my patrons more than ever. Oh, I don't think I can do anything. Oh, what, really? You think it's locked? Oh, no, dude, really? So I can't do it then, yeah. Oh, that's a shame, dude. Because we it means we might miss out another cutscene before we get to test it then, right? Uh, the rooms unlock at the level 9 MSQ. All right, well, look, look, look. Let, let's not... Look, there's nothing we can do, right? But we can hopefully solve the problem. Um, it's a bit of a technical issue. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, everything else is really, like, super, like... Super perfect, see? Now... I've got a quest up there, yeah? So if we go... Can I go out of the inn through there? <laughs> What's that for? This is a respectable establishment. No corseted hall. I'm not a corseted hall. I'm a rather physically, powerfully magnificent cat man. But yeah, yeah, there's the, all, all like, you know, YouTube and desktop sounds are all fine. It, it's it's only in the game and, and seemingly only during... Oh my God, there's one of those weird creatures, look. It's kind of strange. I, I notice if you, if you let go of left and right analog and then use left analog. Look. I so want to beat the crap out of that tortoise, but it seems a bit rude. It's, it's quite a magnificent creature. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it was fine earlier. It's either on or it's off. The, the, you know what I mean? It, it's it, and like I said, it only seems if if I come out of the game, go back to desktop, and then come back to the game, it it seems to just reinitiate it. It'd be nice to test it, wouldn't it? You know, go and listen to a couple of cutscenes at the end. And, and then we'll know if it's resolved, won't we? How are you doing, McGlashan? How's, uh, how is everything? <coughs> you got to do a few more main story quests so you're back at the moment. All right. Okay, look. We had the quest with the little, the little Lala fell, right? Um, I, I feel like I, I've not quite followed that. I feel like I've missed something. Obviously, that was the, that was like the little princess that we need to go and rescue, right? And then we had another of our weird dream sequences, yeah? Is that right? But we... And it's something to do with, like, the crystals, but we don't really know, do we? Uh, thank the gods you've returned. You had us all so worried. This is her, isn't it? Papashan is, is the dude on the left. Uh, you do realise what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured or worse. Why, her grace the Sultana... <laughs> I still think that's a bit weird. ...would be beside herself with grief. And so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I've already given you cause to weep, Papashan. You and the people of Uldar. Oh dear. Please! You're, you're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It is not my place to make demands, my lady. But I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologise for causing you undue worry, Papashan. I shall refrain from travelling unescorted in the future. Oh, look at that little curtsy, man. I could so eat lalafels. I, I, I can imagine like a barbecue with some lalafels and some Nando sauce. 
We'll lull them into a full sense of security. We'll make friends with them. Then they're just going to start disappearing all over. What's the name? E e Eorzea, yeah? I cannot thank you enough, giant cat person. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lily. I did, but then my, my headphones died, dude. We don't know what happened, bro. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Let me guess. I ain't getting access to that, though, right? Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Oh, how convenient. I've got big hands, mate. A handful of coins, sir. Hmm. A sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder. I noticed that, actually. I was going to point it out. He did have a weird contraption, didn't he? Did anyone else notice that? It looked quite technologically advanced, didn't it? I also noticed... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. It's all right. It's all right. I was going to about to say, I don't think I've actually got sand in my headset, which means there's another problem that I have, actually. Uh, it starts... Uh, what's that? It starts a noon game video start. Uh, what the fuck? Plug in earphones and, and stuff that crackle. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, we haven't got crackle, have we? Does his corset cover his extra cat man nipples? Hang on, hang on. How, how many nipples do man and male cats have? They don't have multiple nipples, do they? I've only got two nipples, weirdos. Someone Google how many nipples a man cat has. <laughs> 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 Got yourself half a dozen grams of gold for the day, and the price of gold just skyrocket. What what was it like before then? Hundred and fifteen dollars per gram. What's that jumped up then, McGlash? Is that like a good you know ten twenty percent jump? Or? Oh, there was a crackle when the sound went out. Yeah, and that's what's that's what's making me think. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it's like a full screen borderless, and and that would explain like why. It, you know, to you it might not happen, but for me, because I'm passing it through a capture card, I wonder if it's losing the audio signal when it does the switch. It would also explain why when I tab out and come back, that it seems to start it working again. So we need we need to come up with a workaround for that, don't we? Um, I see you met Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. Rather too fond of the sound of his own voice and my liking, but perfectly harmless. And as for you, you're just the sort of adventurer we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanalan as you did to us today. 1,400 pretzels and 132 gold, which is actually gil, right? His little moustache. He's got such a lovely little moustache. Right, we're level 7. We need to make some serious gains. Search for witnesses at Scorpion Crossing. Right, to the map. Zoom out. All right, so we're going to have to go back. I mean, we could either. I mean, would it be an idea, like, to fight our way up and then, like, take that route? Should we try it? Should, should, we, should we go for a bit of a wonder? See what happens. A man cat has as many nipples as a lady cat. Do you assume you've a few? But I just wondered if, like, like, male cats, like, they were not, like, big. You know what I mean? Like, a male cat might not have them, like... You know, like, because, well, see, that's strictly speaking, that ain't truthful. Because I've got two male dogs, right? But they don't have nipples. They've got places where the nipples would be. And one could argue, like, maybe there's a bit of nipply lump there. But they're not nipples. Do you know what I mean? In, in the same way a male man has nipples, but they're, they're not exactly like, you know what I mean? It's not like a proper lady nipple. So I don't know what the fuck you're on about unless you've got weird man nipples, mate. I mean, there's definitely a difference between lady nipples and man nipples, right? <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. I don't think we can get down there. Can you give me a lift down there? Could you fly me down there? Or is that a bad idea? I don't, how would I get in? Uh, I have to... I do that, right? And then I do that. No, I ride pillion. Right, see that. Look at that. Oh, I'm hanging out. Chilly that with the boys. You gotta work on them landings, mate. You gotta work on them landings. How do I get out then? That's so freaking cool. Uh, how would I get out? Uh, I don't know how to get out. 
What happens if I get out in the middle of the air? Is that bad? <laughs> That's better. That's gently. Ge no, oh, Jesus! Oh, me coccyx, mate. Jesus Christ! I'm a cat, mate. That's one of me nine lines gone. How do I get out? How, how, how do I say thank you as well? If I do that and go to like emo. Chocolate. <laughs> right, sorry, I'll give you a thumbs up. Cheers, mate. Oh, I like this. This social interaction is pretty cool. Man. They are four to ten non-functioning. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, there you go, you see. See? It's a perfectly reasonable question. A spriggan... What the hell is that? Is, is that? is that a rock with a tail attached to it? What? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? I think I should kill it and find out, right? What do you think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Oh, we, we haven't checked out what that skill is, dudes. This, uh, this other one. Oh no! Oh, dude! I saw, I saw a thing. I've played games before, lads. I know that's bad, right? Oh, look, it has got a little face. Holy shit. Oh, dude, what the hell, bruh? I'm being attacked by wasps or something. Holy crumbs. I'm taking them all down. That's it. They all die now, bro. Oh my lord, bro, what the hell, dude? These things are nasty, man. Oh, damn, I, I took some damage then, bro. I took some big damage. Eh? So if, if I wanted to, like, do an emote to you... Oh, sorry, did I kill your friends? Oh, shit. I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> they are quite adorable, actually, aren't they? <laughs> I don't think I can get to where I thought I was going, lads. Can I? My, my, my mast... Oh, did I... Oh, God, do I need to be up there? I think I might have gone the wrong way, boys. Is, is that the Detroit leader? He, he does look badass in there. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can. Hang on, I can make it up here, look. Uh, a common thing for Final Fantasy Falling players is to skip every cutscene to speed up progress. Why, why would they do that? What, what is the point in that? I would never skip a cutscene. In fact, I might be watching the cutscenes multiple freaking times. I don't understand, like, why you'd play a video game and not pay any attention to the story, personally. I mean, each to their own, but I've heard the MSQ is quite good, isn't it? Oh, shit! Get out of the thing, dude! See the skills there? Do you see the lightning cat-like reflexes? That's why I'm playing a cat person. Do you see it? I was like, like a blur. I do. I do. Quite, what's that noise? I can hear, I can hear a bell. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> no, that's the bells then. <laughs> Oh shit, that looks swag. Oh, Simpsy would love that. that. That's like a that's a hammock that moves. What the hell is that? Oh my god, what was that? Oh actually I quite like that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That's like something out of Elden Ring. Shit! What's this? What's this? Does e there's evil stuff happening, boys? Uh what what do I need to do? How do I know what I'm actually doing on these fate things? Is it is it just murder everyone that's in here or what? Is it just kill everything, yeah? I still don't know how to move my target. Is it, that's the only thing I, I think I feel like I'm missing out on. Don't worry, mate. I'm, I'm here to save you, bro. You'll be fine. I don't, I don't get it. I, I, there's got to be a better way of choosing the target. Like the one right in front of me. Right? Oh, there we go. Gonna get around the back again, dude. Got the aggro. 
That's it, dudes. That's it. Got them all, boys. Look at that, look at that, lads. Look at that, look at the skills. Are we doing it right? Are we actually doing what we need to do? Oh. Good, it's looking good, it's looking good. I'm getting, I'm getting better with the target, boys. You never get away from me, boys. You never get away from me. All dead, lads, all dead. Did we do it? Did, did we actually do it? Oh, hang on a minute. Does, oh, dude, we should go and get that thing over there, look. There's like one of those stones. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I go to that stone uh, uh, up over here, yeah? Uh, it, it doesn't unlock a fast travel point, does it? Oh, shit, it wasn't over. Um... Yeah, it doesn't actually... It's not a fast travel point. It's just a respawn point, isn't it? Yeah, just... so, so uh, Yeah, so I don't need to go and unlock it then, no? I only need to unlock it if, if I want it as a fast travel. Yeah. So if I go out... I was thinking go out there and unlock it, and then, then at any point I could fast travel back to it, but I can't, can I? Oh. Oh, I should unlock it. Oh, I can use this fast travel. I think I'm getting confused between fast travel <coughs> and my return spell. <coughs> can I fast travel from one of the crystals to another crystal? And that is the fast travel system. Whereas I can only be attuned to one at a time. Would, would that be accurate? Well, there's another fight thing on there. Uh, right. As his colourful moniker suggests, notorious quick in, bandit, babaroo, half shell, appears his prey firm on the outside and really on the inside. Something to keep in mind when he has you in an iron cook pot, boiling over an open flame. They get cracking before he grows hungry. So I presumably have to murder all of these, do I? Oh my god, these are level 9. I, I might have made a mistake here, boys. But these beams are pretty, these beams are pretty big. Oh my god, dude, get out of there, bro. Alright, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, oh, we, we're dinging, man. We're just dinging. It's like ding after ding. It's like, it's like church bells. Oh no, get out of there, bro. <laughs> look at look at look at this. Look look at this this, this switch indeed. I'm going I'm going for a double look, watch this, check this out. Look, I've got two for one there, boys. Roll actions. I don't know what Oh no, get out of there. Working away to the main camp, lads. You'll never get past me. All right, there's a lot of them. We gotta be careful. We gotta be. We, we don't wanna, oh, don't over right, right, boys. Oh no, get out of there, bro. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, bro. They don't stand a chance, man. I'm getting in for the boss. This is it. Can we get all the dots, boys? This is it. This is it. This is where we put together everything we've learned so far, lads. Someone's got aggro. It's all right. We're behind the circle of doom, lads. This is this, quite this tough, man. What? Failed? 
Why did we fail? Oh, there was a top. Oh, shit. We were oh, wow. Was it already running before we got here? Was it? Uh, you have learned a roll action. Oh, yeah. Look, I've got a new skill. Uh, roll actions are spells and weapon skills that are assigned to all the classes within a roll. Tank, melee, DPS, range, team, DPS, and heal. Roll actions are learned in the same manner as class actions via leveling, but only need to be learned once to be able to use them with all participating classes within a roll. Oh my god, my head is spinning. Uh, the roll section has been added to actions and traits. <laughs> Simpsy, I think we need to break out the chocolate, mate. So if I go into here and go to uh, character actions and traits, right? So I recently unlocked Total Eclipse. Delivers an attack with a potency of 100 to all nearby enemies. That, that's just like an AoE attack then, yeah? But now I also have a roll, Rampart. Reduces damage by 20% with a duration of 20 seconds. Okay, well, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Get! Dig! Do, do not attack me! I, I'm like, I'm like a thundercap, right? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, there's millions of them, lads! Oh no, this is bad, bro. I'm, I'm gonna use the rampart skill. Oh my god, you see that there? Look at that, I killed them all. I killed them all. I just looked at them like, like laser beams. All right, that's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Uh, I need to get my... Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, where's that crystal going? Oh, I can see it. It's down there, look. I've got aggro, man. Don't worry, boys. I've got this. Look, look at that. Look, see it. Oh my god, look at this. Look, 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 look at the movement. Oh, this could be a problem. I think I'm, I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right, man. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I need, I need to get the hat. Run! Sprint, Grum! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, bro. Pull the sword away, lad. Pull the sword away. Oh shit, lads. That was close, man. That was close, man. What's that? What, what, what's these orange blasts of light? They've got like laser missiles hitting me. <laughs> I better be able to get on a train or something. I, fa I fancy a train ride. That'd be like really cool, yeah? <laughs> Alright. So. Someone needs to explain this to me. I'm confused. So I, I can't like interact with this and then fast travel to another crystal, no? So what, what's the purpose of me being here? If I touch it, won't I attune to it? If that makes sense. Like if I do that, I don't, I don't want to attune to it, do I? Oh, you can teleport to any crystal you previously unlocked. How? 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 Oh, I, 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 oh, so I need to attune to it once to unlock it. Ah, right, okay. You attune to the ether, but but now if, so if I now use my teleport spell, it will bring me back here, yeah? That's a bit of a problem, though. By learning this spell teleport, you are now able to travel instantly between etherites to which you are tuned. Access the teleportation menu. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's not what I thought it was, though. So if I do teleport, Oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, and... Oh, teleport and return. Got you, lads. Shit, that's cool as fuck. <coughs> By learning the spell teleport, you are now able to instantly travel between the etherites to which you are attuned. 
access the teleport by selecting teleport, obviously. Unlike other spells, teleport does not... Are they both 15 minutes? Can I have 15 minutes on teleport or, or teleport whenever you want? A small... Oh, hang on. A small fee of gill, however. What? The fee... Registering an Etherite as a favourite destination will reduce the amount of guilt. Oh, that's freaking neat, man. Oh, dude, that is cool. So, little, basically, you get like an old person's pass for your three favourite ones, then, yeah? You get like a little bit of the old age pension a discount on it. I like that. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I don't think I realised it was teleport and return. So I could teleport for 194 gil. What's all the... Oh, these are all the areas. Oh, oh my God. Is this for real? Holy shit. Uh... Okay, uh, what, what was I actually doing? What was the quest? Uh, I may have got a bit of sidetracked, boys. Oh, hang on. Have I, have I, oh, I've done it. I think, I, I think I've actually unknowingly done the quest, right? Search for witnesses at Scorpion Crossing. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, no. Me. I know where we go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's like, like, like a, a, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought it was earlier. Hearthstone from World of Warcraft, right? Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't, I'm not going to skip any cutscenes. It's quite the opposite, actually. I like this idea of like unlocking the Aetherite crystals so we can get around a little bit quicker if we need to. Uh, on the map, you can zoom in and see all the areas and then zoom out. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm going to leave that for a bit. I don't know, like, what the expansions are all about. I mean, are they, uh, you know, the expansions, are they whole new land masses? And things, yeah? it's, quite, it's quite a beautiful world. It's quite a chill world, yeah? And, and this, this is, like, the early starter zone, right? So everyone's going to be here. I mean, what's the fidelity like as you go deeper into the game? You know, like, Guild Wars 2 is sort of quite infamous for being ugly as sin pretty much everywhere, right? But some areas that are more modern definitely look a lot better than the older areas, yeah? What about Final Fantasy? Search for witnesses at Scorpion Cross. Let me just have a little, uh... So I, I can zoom out. Wow. Oh, sugar. Yeah, I'm still a little bit... Still a little bit... like I have to press like, oh shit, did I not kill it? Woo! That, that feels a bit bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting in the rhythm now, look. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it a bit more with the targeting. Level, level nine, boys. Level nine. That means we can go to... Oh, hang on. I still won't be able to go... But will, like, little Mimosi be able to give me permission to look at the cutscenes and things and that, think? Oh, I just suddenly realised, how long's the server... <coughs> Isn't it tomorrow that the servers are going down? Or <coughs> was, it, was it today that went down? It must be tomorrow, right? 
Oh, re really, Star Mage? Uh, so it has amazing errors. The further you go with the expansion, the better it gets. So the graphical fidelity just gets better and better, does it, yeah? These low-level errors like 10 plus years old or, or, or more or less. The world design is quite amazing. You've got to remember this was built to be able to run on a PlayStation 3, whereas later errors were built for PlayStation 4 and above. So errors get bigger and more complicated. Nice. Nice. Ah! Uh, yeah, I, I did see so, so basically, cut a long story short, it was, was many, many moons ago. We, we did a little stream of this, didn't we? Um, and, and there was a 30-day, like, starter trial. Is the music on? And... It, but, but that's the point. It, it, it's it's a 30-day starter trial. And after 30 days, regardless, you, you lose access to it on Steam. Because Obviously, I can only talk about the Steam variant. Um... So what it meant was, <coughs> it appeared that somehow, and this is the thing I still can't get my head around, and it certainly isn't there in the purchase history, it's almost as if Steam have somehow given me the starter edition, which is normally £9.99, because I've got a CD key for it, but, but I've never handed over £9.99. And that's the thing that confused me. I would have understood it if, if I'd played, like, the free trial. And then at a later date, I'd had to spend $9.99 to get, like, the basic edition. Um, but I didn't have to. And that's and that's where it all got a little bit weird. All I've done is played the 30-day trial, which obviously expired a long time ago. Somehow that gave me the CD key for the base game. Um... I'm not sure if I had to type that into the MOG station. But regardless, all I then did was added like uh, £9 worth of sub time. But I did it through Steam. But I did it on Steam via the MOG station. And everything I've just said, right, sounds bonkers, yeah? And that is the biggest problem with Final Fantasy XIV. Is that... It is weirdly complicated um, the first time. I mean, obviously now I've been through it and I kind of understand it. I even said to you, didn't I, Caskell? That it, it's like some areas my password was working, but there's a difference between a Final Fantasy account and a Square Enix account and obviously a Steam account and a Mog Station this and that and this. And it was like, Jesus Christ, what is going on, bro? So it is, it's, they don't make it as easy as it could be. Um, I mean, you know, you get there in the end, but but it is a little bit kind of... It's a bit meandering. The website says, yeah, but it's... Oh, yeah, but this is the point, Star Mage, and this is what's catching people out. If you go on the Steam edition, it very specifically states 30-day free trial. So right now on Steam, it very clearly says 30 days. So it, it might be to level 70, like maybe if you don't buy the Steam version and it's just like the Windows login with the Square Enix account. I don't know, dude. Uh, the free trial of Final Fantasy XIV now lasts until the end of the second expansion pack. It's a fair good few months. Yeah, and it, so it might be worth not going through Steam if there is a difference. The, the other thing that's really frustrating, Simpsy, and, and, and the, the, this is a strange one, right? There is a new expansion coming out, yeah? So I, th I think the expansions are like Shadowbringer and Endwalker, right? And that's what you've got access to up till now. But then there is a third expansion called Dawn Trail, which doesn't come out until like early July, yeah? If you go on the Steam page and you look at Dawn Trail, yeah? It very clearly states this includes Dawn Trail and Shadowbringers, and walk or whatever it's called, yeah? Dawn walk. What, what, what is it? A Shadowbringer? Endwalker? Yeah, and then Dawn Trail. Right, so, so, you're a prospective buyer, right? You think, okay, I'll buy Dawn Trail. What Steam doesn't tell you is that you can't import your Dawn Trail key until July the 2nd, which means you don't have access to Shadowbringer and Endwalker. And that's a bit naughty, mate. 
That that is naughty. Because I, I bet a few people have bought Dawn Trail thinking, okay, Dawn Trail itself doesn't come out until July the 2nd. But if I buy it today, at least I've still got access to all the other stuff. But you don't. And, and I must admit, I, I think that's a little bit annoying. I think it's 30 days. God's making it. Definitely stays 30 days on Steam. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing that Cosmic's pointed out as well. You, you can cock up as well, can't you? And end up buying things that actually are for the non-Steam version. It, 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 it is start... I mean, look, it, it's not it's not a problem, you know? You, you, if you want to go through Steam, go through Steam. You'll figure it out in the end. But it's like I said, it's not as simple as it probably could be. Um, you know, it, it, let's put it this way. It's not doing them any favours, right? All right, so search for witnesses at Scorpion's Crossing. Uh, hang on a minute, what's this? Is this not, hang on, is this, this isn't where I'm supposed to be, is it? <laughs> My quest says, kicking the hornet's nest. And yet this has got where the heart is. They've got, hang on, what's going on here then, boys? Uh, I think this is the dude I want for Mike. I mean, I need to do them all anyway, right? But I think, I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> Again, I'm a bit confused here. <coughs> it's annoying for players like you, Cosmic, that had the PC version and would like the Steam version for ease of access on to a Steam. Yeah, this is what Caskill went through, wasn't it? Now I have to install a bunch of... Yeah, you, you said the same thing, right, Caskill? But you, you got there in the end, right? It's all over the place. I could play the Steam version because I bought the Mac Windows version years ago. I would say I did have a license on the Steam version. Yeah. Uh, you cannot just jump into the new content without completing the previous expansion stories unless you buy a boost and skip the story, which is... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. So that's it. I didn't know that, though, Thresh. So, so you are very much MSQ locked anyway. So in other words, there's really no reason to be buying Dawn Trail right now. Because um, you can't access Shadowbring or anything. Yeah. Uh, all you're really doing is pre-ordering it, aren't you? But you don't get any bonuses for it. Yeah, it's definitely 30 days on Steam. Yeah, I think that's what's throwing a few people. 100%. I'm sure, you know, maybe if you don't go through Steam, there's no time limit and you can go all the way to level 70. I'm sure that's probably a thing. But on Steam, it seems to be very specifically stating 30 days, man. Now you had to manually get the Final Fantasy XIV Windows launcher and then add it as a non... So you're, so you're actually running it as a non-Steam game, are you? Um, let me just... Let me just... Oh, I can't back out of the chat. I wanted to check something. Oh, I can. I can. I can. On some quests, you want to encounter objects with which you can interact simply by approaching and then selecting. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, look. Recover the merchant's goods. Let's go and do this. <coughs> I messed up a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh, you feel at least towards the end of Shadowbringers, you could for the mount and the early access. But but it, it's not early access, though, is it? You're still not getting it right now, are you? You still can't import your Dawn Trail code yet, can you? I mean, it's, it doesn't, it's not available until, what, July the 2nd? So I, I still see no reason to be buying Dawn Trail right now. Uh, canvas sack. Oh, I'm getting a bit better with this. It's, it's starting to become a little bit... Oh, shit! Who the fuck are you, dude? Oh, no. I still think it's just a little bit weird. I don't have like uh, a lock on it. That's going to tell me I'm missing the key for it. You know, like so, so I don't, you know, as I move away from the camera, I'm not turning around. I mean, it's not a problem. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's not an issue. It just seems strange that I don't have that as an option. I, I think it's an option in the main settings. But it's not like you can switch between the two, I don't think. Yeah, that sort of thing, you have permanent free 
free access all the way through. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Steam's just a little less. It, I, I guess they don't. I suppose they're trying to incentivize you not buying it through Steam. I, I, I can see. At the end of the day, it's still the same game. You might have to a few extra things to jump through, but I think in general. I mean, I just like stuff on Steam, and like I said, for me mainly, it's for the Steam Deck. Yeah, there are stars, but I don't think you can flick through them on the Switch, uh, on the fly. So as, as I just said, there is a setting, which I did notice, <laughs> whereby if I did this, yeah, I'd actually walk backwards. Yeah, so instead of turning and running towards the camera, if I was to press like the equivalent of S, I'd actually walk backwards. But you don't want that in normal gameplays. So although there are camera options, I don't seem to be able to flick between the two styles on the fly, or at least I haven't found a way of doing it yet. Anymore. Yeah, exactly. For four days early access, that, that's what I'm saying. So there's still no... I mean, my original comment was there is still no reason today to put any money down on Dawn Trail. Um, you're not getting anything for it as a new player. There's nothing you can do. You know, at the moment, you want to get Endwalker, don't you? Uh, I pre-ordered for the 30% extra XP. Uh, ex extra XP necklace. See, I, I wouldn't do that. See, I'm not interested in trying to uh, artificially accelerate my XP gains, so I'm, I'm not worried about that. Uh, uh, you can... Uh, early access is the 26th. Yeah, it's ages away. It's, 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 it's like April, mate. Uh, the other day you were playing Dragon's Dogma 2 and I would get pissed if I, I if I can't ask you to join the group and they'll look at... Yeah, I know. You see? I, I, I'm a man of many talents. Uh, interactables with purple smoke like that mean that they will spawn in enemies when you interact with them. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> with mouse, you just hold the right mouse word. Uh... Yeah, well, I'm not on my so that don't help me, does it? Uh, Crooked Eye, good afternoon, Grim. I had to do a double take when I saw you playing Final Fantasy XIV. How are you finding it so far? Very good. I mean, you know, it's all right, dude. You know, I'm, I'm getting there, mate. You know, lots to learn. First day, some control things I want to sort of figure out. Uh, got a bit of a sound issue that seems to be messing up some of the cutscenes. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty good so far. I'm quite, weirdly, quite enjoying the combat. Um, I haven't really got any buttons to press at the minute, but I'm finding it weirdly methodical, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would never buy anything for XP boost. It, it, it's, it, it's like a, a zero interest to me. If, if a game's good, I want to enjoy the game. I, I don't need to accelerate artificially my, 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 my you know, progress. And, and th did you say 30%? Did someone say 30% extra XP? That sounds ridiculous. Um, right, and over his sax. 12, bless you, adventurer. If it weren't for good men like you, I'd never leave home. Return the goods to the merchant. And now we want to go back and report to Mila. Now, so this, so this is the question I've now got. Now, we know it's been recommended. Maybe leave these side quests, yeah? Oh, dude, look what I've just spotted. <coughs> you were telling me these, about this when we play Monster Hunter lot. Look, it's these little weird cactus things. Huh. Target is not in range. Even the ladybugs look really cool, don't they? They, they, they look like the detail the mobs is like actually really quite cool. What I've got to remember is, is clicking the B button to unlock from my current target. I think that's what's throwing me. Because obviously I can do this, right? I can I can say, you know. I guess that's for range is going to be ideal. But for me, obviously, I can sort of like aim at one come in. But then if I want to aim at another one, like say that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there, boys. I'm, I'm getting there. It, it, might not, it might not be pretty from your perspective. But. All expansions come with an enhanced XP. Yeah, I mean, I, I just won't wear them. Uh, unless someone in chat says I really need to. You know, like it's been designed for that. 
Yeah, I mean, there you go. See, I mean, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 mean, I don't know what this is like. I mean, you, you, you remember like the old days of MMOs where you had to go and kill like six wolves and uh, you'd have like 3,000 people fighting over, you know, the 10 wolf spawn. I can't imagine it's like that in this, is it? I, I should imagine the player base is so spread out these days. Yeah, have you played, so have you played it before, Crooked, or? You want to do it for my alt job so it's easier to level my less used ones. Oh yeah, that makes sense, Casco. Yeah, that makes sense. So, because you've already seen the content, right? Yeah, that, actually, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I keep forgetting this isn't like um, a level one character who is, say, a fighter, and then a new level one character who is, for example, um, so I wanted to say hello to, to my good friend Zoid Paul here. How, how do I fast choose him? Yeah, ha, ha, this is the this is the thing I can't quite get my head around. In order to do an emote for little Zoid here, I, I need to choose him, right? Oh, it worked, that's so. fine. And then I can emote him, can't I? How you doing, Zoid? Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Let's stop, let's stop. Um, so it's 30% from combat with mobs, not quest and level, so it's nice. But yeah, and, and it's like Casca says, it does make sense if you're doing, you know, a new a new class, right? Uh, get it sent up on the Steam Deck, it plays like a dream on it. Yeah, Casca said he got it running. I was just saying it, it might be worth uh, getting a, a 40, um, a 40 hertz lock or something on it, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, so, sorry, to go back to what I was saying. So we've come to this area doing a quest, yeah? And we've got the side quest, which we've kind of, it's been hinted at, you know, it's not set in stone, but maybe worth leaving some of these, like if I decide to go and take up archery or another class, yeah? What about these? These are supposed to be quite important, aren't they? So should, should I always take the blue ones when I see them? Let, let's do one. Where the heart is the goblet. <laughs> <coughs> Imi has information that may interest wealthy. <coughs> God almighty, this cough! That may interest wealthy adventurers, except. Have you heard the news about the goblet? All that quality land so desperately coveted is to be auctioned off to bidders, regardless of their origins. Even adventurers have the right to participate. Just imagine, the entire area could end up owned by wealthy foreign... Oh, beg your pardon, sir. It isn't that I dislike adventurers, far from it, in fact. But when you consider that Ulda is still struggling to accommodate countless refugees, the idea that this land is being sold for profits is not surprising whatsoever, come to think of it. Still, the least they can do is give preferential treatment to hard-working Uldans like me. I've been saving for years, just waiting for an opportunity like this to come along. Say, you wouldn't happen to be as curious as well, would you? About the goblet, my hands are full here. But if you have a moment to head that way and look into this auction business on my behalf, I'd be ever so grateful. There's bound to be an immortal flames representative by the gates or in the goblet. Who can explain what's going on? This wouldn't happen without General Roban's approval of that much, I'm sure. Oh, and I can kind of see what I'm guessing is an exit uh, point over there as well. Be interesting to see, like, one of the more recent areas compared to, like, these... Uh, Jesus, is that the main... Oh, that's the city. What about fall damage, boys? Cheers, Starkey. Uh, you've been through the ARR three times. PlayStation 4, Windows, and Steam. I'm currently on the Stormblood expansion. So what's Stormblood? The only ones that I knew of, that, like, like from a, you know, a new player looking at purchase options, seem to be Shadowbringer and Endwalker. So what, what's Stormblood then? Is that included in, in, in that? Or is that like an early one? Yeah, you get down to one hit point from falling off something guy and won't die unless a mob attacks you immediately. All right, so so I, I, I can actually jump off anything, yeah? I, it looks like you heal outside of combat, yeah? It's not one of those games where... Uh... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, hang on. 
What's... So that's another quest. That's where the heart is, the goblet. Kicking the hornet's nest. Oh, shit. I want to go and do that one, don't I? Let's go and do that. Um... Heaven's Sword, Heaven's Ward, then Stormblood, then Shadowbringer, and then Endwalker. So I don't think you can buy Heaven's Sword anymore, can you? Maybe that's why, maybe that's why I don't know of it. Is it not a purchasable option? It's like the, the earliest you can buy in is Shadowbringer. But you'd be mad to do that, right? Because you might, it's the same cost for Endwalker, isn't it? Or at least it is on Steam, I think. Uh, okay. Heard about the auctions, have you? You're not the first to approach me this eve. Uh, it is true. In an effort to encourage immigration to our great nation, all lands within the goblet are to be set aside for adventurers like yourself. Tragic, some might say, that only adventurers will be permitted to settle within its wards. But such decisions were made by men wiser than I. A beautiful place, the goblet, a man-made oasis built atop a towering butt... They knew we were coming, boys. But why bother explaining when you can see it for yourself? Just head through these gates and follow the road. If you wish to know more about the goblet, speak with the recruit stationed just past the entrance. He will be happy to, happy to assist you. To proceed with the quest where the heart is, you may visit any residential ward within the goblet. What the fuck is the goblet? Is this going to be weird? It sounds like this is going to get weird. Is this where I can see, like, people's houses? Oh, shit. Now we're getting into the real stuff. Each of the three nations has established a residential district where like-minded adventurers can establish a base for their activities. Oh, my God. Each residential district is divided into wards, uh, which in turn house 60 plots of land each. Wealthy individuals may purchase plots of land upon which to build their own estate halls, while free companies may jointly purchase plots. Jesus. Estate halls and apartments can be customised by installing fixtures and placing furnishings. More information on housing can be had by speaking with the resident caretaker. Shit, let's have a look. Let's go have a look. Alright, what's this? What's this mean? There's a lot of icons, boys. There's a lot of... Should we just go to Ward 1 and go to Plot? What, what, what does that mean? It says owner wind. Is that a player or is that like a company or something? Heaven's Wood was probably one of the best stories I've experienced. Really? I, I have heard good things about a story, Crooked. It'd be interesting to see if we can get that far. So it can get his, his like hooks into you, you know? Uh, let, let's, just, let's just do this. It's a high wind HQ. Owner, the High Wind Adventurers. Plot one. For, is there a way to look at, like, friends? Like, like someone that's been in the, the game today with us? Or, or is it because the people we've met today are not in this ward, if you like? Oh, my God. Is that how much... Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is, is that where it says owner price? Three and a half million gil. Does that mean that's for sale? Uh, how did I do? Oh, LB. Sorry, that's my bad. <coughs> Let's go and have a look at this. <coughs> oh, I can't go there. Wait, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Fucking hell, this coffee's driving me mad, boys. I'm so sorry. How, how do I go and have a look at it? How do I actually go there? So I've, I've chosen a ward. So ward one. Uh, choose that. I only seem to get the option to cancel. Yeah, if you have a friend's house, you can get to it over on the friends list menu. I have an apartment in the storm. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to travel too far. You need to select a ward and click select. I've already done it. Oh, select it in the bottom left. Oh, right. So, so I, I select that. Travel to first ward the goblet. All right, let's have a look. I'm going to assume these are like the. I mean, these would have been snapped up like day one, the second this was all available, was it? So are these like some of the oldest 
areas in the game. Oh shit! Is it like a little mini sea? What the fuck? <coughs> you are EK. Whoa, what the hell, bro? Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to the Goblin. Beg your pardon, an Uldan woman asked you to learn more about the auctions. Oh dear, as you may have heard, these plots are reserved exclusively for our adventurers. Since your friend is an Uldan citizen, she is ineligible to participate. Should you yourself have a mind to purchase a lot, pray speak with the resident caretaker. He can guide you through the process. Oh my god. What the hell, dude? Uh... Oh, I do need to keep refreshing that map. Uh, oh my god, this is cool as fuck. So, ne so nearly all of these homes are owned by people all in the same, like, guild and shit. Oh, look at, oh my god, dude, these things are mad. This reminds me a little bit of Guild Wars. Oh, look at that over there. That looks badass. Yeah, oh, this, look at this one. All like cannons and stuff. Oh, dude, this looks nice, man. A word from the owner. Thank you for stopping by the chat pad. <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> Oh man, are these like little little notes people have left, like little visitors, but fucking hell, this is cool as fuck. <laughs> nice and lovely people with good spirits. These will date back to 2022, man. Holy shit, dude. Uh, it actually says message board. Uh, the message board allows anyone uh, visiting an apartment or estate to leave messages for the home's owner. Conversely, a greeting can be written on the book's first page for all visitors to see. Uh, oh, so, oh, it, I, I mean, is this player even still active? Is there, I mean, what happens if you've not had an account? Does it destroy... Does it destroy your house and you lose it? Or? It's got a ding dude in it. That one's exhausting. Oh, look at the floor. Holy shit. Is that it? Is, is, that, is that the whole house? It's tiny, dude. Oh, here we go. Oh. Hang on, what's all this? Hang on, what's going on here? Am I breaking into someone's bedroom? Oh, look, there's a like, freaking aquarium. Look. Oh, I can't get in there. I, I can't get in, can't get in the jacuzzi, bro. So, is, is this is this just a sub area of the same building, but just like? There is an activity in activity time. And it does blow up on you. Where happens to all your loot? Because <laughs> presumably all this is like replace, uh, sorry, place of right? <coughs> I'm a bit confused. I, I like the look of this house over here, though. This looks badass. This looks like a lot of effort went into this. It's got one of those little uh, Moogle things there. 
Oh my god, that is straight out of Monster Hunter, isn't it? Look. Oh, look. Oh, man, a battle chocobo, dude. Oh, man, that is some modern swank. What? Jesus. Damn. So additional chambers. It, it does seem a bit weird that like, you know, it's like very, it's like an instance within an instance within an instance and so many things. Damn, bro, someone seriously did some numbers on this, didn't they? Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down and everything. It does, then it seems it's really nasty. I wonder how, like, it looks like the kind of thing that's not easy to have pulled off as well, right? It looks like the kind of thing where someone's had to really fiddle about and stuff. So, so is this just an instanced area within this house? So if I if I move to specified private chambers, is this is this like is it like me owning the plot, but like 15 of your friends can have their own rooms? So, so I, I suppose more like, um, what am I thinking of? Like Lord of the Rings where you have like a company. So, so this is more like a guild hall, like a guild hall entrance. And then we could go and have a look at like a member of that guild who's called Mona Moo. And go and have a look at their actual room, is it? And that's why they're kind of instanced. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> these are pro. Do you reckon these are all like rewards for like various dungeon rooms and things? Jesus. Um. Some people are dedicated housing decorators that people hire. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, New World was quite good with this, wasn't it? Uh, additional chambers were added for guild houses to appease those who couldn't buy an individual house. What, what's the what's the smallest buy-in for a house, Casper? I mean, what what are we talking about? Are we, are we talking millions of guild? Yeah, company houses in a room uh, in a guild. Yeah, got you. Got you. People can buy their private rooms in the guild. See. You, you sort of like as a company buy a guild hall and then you have you as an individual can like purchase a room within it oh actually you know what i didn't even think about crafting so has, has final fantasy 14 actually got crafting has it three million really what the, so, so the smallest place an individual player can buy is three million wow i mean you know i don't have an angle at a point of perspective yet um, on what what that means, you know? You know, how long does it take to get 3 million gil? And like in, in, in all MMOs, it depends. You know, for someone who's actively trading, uh, I guess there's an auction house, right? You know, it, it, it could be nothing for some players, but... But, you know, to your average Joe Bloggs who's just, you know, pops it at the weekend or, you know, gets five, six hours a week in it, it, it probably is quite a large amount of cash, right? I kind of like the idea of it being community-driven. It does remind me of... Uh, I don't know how Lord of the Rings did it, but I know when we had a guild, we, we, we had, like, the guild hall. It might just have been the biggest plot on, on, on that instance, though. 
And we, we actually paid players to give us their homes. You know, if they weren't in the guild, we bought, bought those zones for players in the guild at exorbitant prices. It was, it was quite cool, actually. Uh, the crafting in Final Fantasy XIV is a bit insane. What, as in convoluted, boring, and dull? Or insane, as in. I mean, you know, is, is it. Is it fun? As long as it isn't like New World, right? And like every other MMO that seems to do it. Uh, in which case, uh, you know, if, it, if, if it's boring, it's boring. There's nothing you can do about it. But, you know, like when it's okay, you, you, I'm going to increase my tailoring. And you just make, you know, 4,000 cotton socks. And then you just throw them all away. Uh, that, that's the crafting I can't stand. I, I, I despise that. It's... Uh... Now, that's no more than just a time drain and a, and a money sink, really, for, for you know, the, the... I mean, I understand the importance of it, because what it quite often means is that new players are selling, you know, easily farmed cotton to get their first bit of coin. And, you know, you've got your big dick players who don't want to go and beat up, you know, you know rats. So, you know, it, it does serve its place in a bigger market, but um, it's very boring, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's been all right, Jaboshi. We, 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 we started to, you know, we've seen a few things I didn't expect to see today. Like the ha the housing's quite cool. Uh, it's quite fun. It's quite a fun grind to craft. What, what sort of crafting is there? So what, what are we crafting? Is, is it suits of armor? Weapons? Or is it more trinkets and little extras? Your items actually do give you money if you sell them on the auction. Uh, of course, not all items sell fast. Walking cucumbers. I, I, I think they're cacti, dude. <laughs> <coughs> so furniture, armor, jewelry, food. How much does it cost to play bare bones? Well, if, if you either play for free, off Steam, up to level 70 slash a point in the, in the MSQ. Or you play the same way as I've just described on Steam, but with a 30-day limit. Um, and then after that, you're in the realm of, like, having to sub monthly. And, and also potentially buying, uh, obviously, your expansions. Um, you've returned. Tell me what you've learned of the auctions. I've learned they're freaking expensive, mate. What do you mean it's reserved exclusively for adventurers? I mean, sure, times are tough and every nation is scrambling to attract formidable fighters. But what about my needs? What about my 40 acres of a Chocobo? Bah, it's just not fair. Chocobos have very, very nasty looking claws, don't they? <laughs> You can now teleport to the residential district. The residential district's ethernet for the goblet can be accessed through the Uldarn etherite. Okay. Um, okay, so we want to go back to Mila, and we happen to know that Mila is... If I click return, the steps are nulled, yeah? That should take me back to the city, yeah? So, you can't, so, you can't, so I could make my own suit of armor, yeah? Uh, the question you always have with that is, 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 is the player-made stuff as good or even better than the stuff you can get through, like, raids and things? Because no, normally not, right? There's actually eight or nine crafting classes ranging from leather study collars to cheese omelets. <laughs> Sometimes player made stuff is actually better in this. Really? Wow, that's cool, man. That's cool. Player made stuff is better often. Wow, Jesus, that's neat, man. That is actually really cool. Um, right. Where are we going, boys? Uh now I only know the one route to this, and I'm gonna stick with it because otherwise I get horribly lost. <clears throat> And it's the long way around. I'm sure there's a shorter cut to it, but or a shortcut through to it. But that, that every time I go the other way, I can't get through that door. Uh, Playmate stuff can be also be upgraded with little stat gems sometimes more than raiding gear. Okay. 
Oh, check this bad boy out. Ooh, that's some nice looking armor, dude. Damn. That looks cool as hell. I'd like that in sort of black and silver. So, oh, there's fishing. Oh, uh, what's the fishing like? Is it, um, is it, is it a fun mini game? I'll tell you what, I quite like fishing in New World. That, that was actually pretty decent. I, I spent a crazy amount of time fishing for, uh, trying to think what it was. It, it's some sort of slime or something. I think, did you have to find like river slugs or something like that? Was it frogs maybe? <coughs> uh, we want to go down here, don't we? And this is the last thing with the plate mail arm here. Mila the guild master. Fishing's very chill. <laughs> it's amazing how many people love fishing. What was the Black Desert Online? What? Right. Look, we played we played this like since quarter past eight this morning, right? And it's quarter to three in the afternoon. Who here, right? Without putting on the hat of like, you know, we're in the Final Fantasy section on Twitch, right? Who here has played both Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, say Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and Black Desert Online? Is there anyone that's been through all three? And, and and could honestly say, like, you know, the reasons they prefer one over the other. You know, it's Black Desert, because Black Desert's a bit of a looker, right? I always fancied a bit of cheeky Black Desert, because I always thought the graphical backdrop uh, for exploration looked pretty decent. You feel it's much better, Laurie? Any, any reason for that? Or, or, or is it just one of those things? Just, just in general, everything about this game is just way better, you know? So, I mean, yeah, I was just about to say, I mean, obviously, we, we've got one technical issue I need to overcome, which which is the um, the cutscene. So I'm sure we can figure that out there. Um, good, it is finished. And with that, this stage of your training is complete. This time, your enemies were ill-behaved ruffians, but who knows what manner of opponents you will face in the future. Regardless, I have faith that you will do well. Master your sword, and you shall master yourself. Now then, there will be work for you in the days to come. Return to your training. We will speak again. All right, what, what should we go? I, re I reckon we get some new armor, boys. A custom-made cuirass. Massive increase on defense. Is there no way to look at it before you equip it? Can you have, like, a, a, a cheeky sort of preview? Um, I could get a leather eye patch. That sounds kind of cool. I could get some fingerless leather gloves. Some altered thigh boots, which I've already got some thigh boots. And obviously, thank you to the generosity of someone earlier. I'm not too worried about Gil. I can do it in the menu. Uh, how? I know, I know how to do it once I own it, but how do I preview it before I take it as, a, as an option? Because all this has got is display high quality item details and hide item details. Um, I've played Black Desert Online and Final Fantasy XIV, not World of Warcraft. You prefer Final Fantasy XIV as I grew up playing? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, I mean, there you go. You know, you've got like an allegiance to the game and... You know, you, you know a lot about the law. You know, you, you've grown up liking the aesthetics. So, yeah, that, that's, that makes sense. Uh, go to the tool tip. Uh, well, I, I can do this. I mean, I, you know, I've got I've got a mouse. Look, you know, I can do this. But that still don't help me do anything. Ah, all oh, right. Hang on. How do we do? How would we do that on controller then? Anyone there? Uh, oh, left click, right click. Oh, click it on here. Got you. Right click. Try on. Ah, got you. Nice one, dudes. Oh, dude. <coughs> Look at them shoulder pads, boys.
What, why, do I, why does it look like I'm not wearing any pants in that? Okay. Uh, right click. Try on. Kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Something weird about that. Uh. It won't let me. Say, so if I do that, the thing is disappeared. What the fuck? Oh shit! Careful. Oh, you have to go into the mouse mode. <coughs> oh, right. Oh, okay. So this is what Mario... Thanks, Mario, if you're out there. <laughs> Virtual mouse mode, they call it. But I still can't right-click on anything. Why, why is that, then? Is it broken? Have I, have I busted it? Huh. Yeah, I think I've broken it. So look, if I do this, right? I don't know, I, I've got no access to anything there, dude. Like nothing's working there. Oh, all I can do is move around. I think I've lost something, dudes. Oh, that's so weird. What have I done? Left click is LT. Yeah, well, I know that. I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying like, I can't. I can see it literally says here, left click, right click. What I mean is, if I do now move it down, right, the right click's not doing anything anymore. I, see, I think I've broken it, boys. Hmm. I also now don't appear to be able to if i come out of mouse mode right so if i come out of mouse mode yeah i and, and then do lbr and exit i can no longer select anything so it's like i'm in a fail state so you see my port um we have a bit of a problem So it's like my left and right buttons don't do anything there. Back button to focus control on the wi back button. You star. You fucking star, Mario. Got you. And then, and then I can come out of that. Oh, yeah, bro. I keep forgetting about that. Nice one, Mario. You went, you were, you the dude, dude. I think I'm going to go for that. Cheers, Mario. Um, back trade. Um, you have uh, obtained obtained an untradeable item. This item is yours and yours alone and cannot be sold or traded. Okay. Unique items. You have obtained a unique item. As this item is special, you can never possess more than one at time. Right, so this is where I've kind of learned. Let me just move away from her. We also now know, right, that there is a difference between inventory and armory chest, yeah? So that armor. Oh. Hang on a minute. Hang on. My bad. My bad. My bad. Inventory. Hang on a second. Where's that armor I've got that I just had off her? Wait, it's, it's, it's not a controller mess. It's me not knowing the buttons. The controller's actually excellent. I just, I just don't know the buttons, dude. Um. Oh, is it done by categories? Right, th this is something we need to change then. Some someone in chat said there is a way. So if I get armor or weapons, right, it goes to the armory chest. But someone did say there was a way to change that. So by default, it goes to your inventory. Um, do, do we need to do that though? Because can't you access the, the armory anywhere? If that makes sense. Uh, on the PlayStation controller, the back button is press the touchpad. I bet this is so much better on the DualShock, isn't it? Um, and it fills the armory chest up with junk quite often. You're right, Bob. How are you, man? Uh, you're right, Snorks. 
I am, yeah, I'm, I'm Catman. Uh, why would you want to go to... I'm, I'm, well, I'm just thinking, I, I think in my head, because the armory was only accessible, like, in town or something, but it isn't, is it? That's what I'm saying. The, the armory I can access anywhere, yeah? Um, but, but the reason I was thinking, Caskell, is what Star Mage has just said. <coughs> you have to, excuse me, <laughs> the throat is completely failing. What I might want to do is transfer things. Is there a way to transfer something from the inventory to the armory chest? Because what I might want the armory chest to only be things that I want to keep. Yeah? Whereas in the inventory, it could be like all the stuff that I want right now, but also all the crap I want to sell, if that makes sense. Uh, leave it to the armory. You'll need to clean up some. Yeah, alright, okay. So, alright, so it, it is a valid point, but don't worry about it. Alright, so uh, custom made cuirass. Click it and equip it. Oh, dude. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I've got a penis. Well, that's a bit rude. Uh. Holy shit. Uh. Am I going to get banned on Twitch? They, they should have warned me about that, shouldn't they? It looks like it's got a life of its fucking own. Oh, oh my god, dude. Uh, oh god. Uh, oh my god. Mom. Mom! Stop watching! Armory chest. Uh, bastard sword. Uh, item comparison. Uh, which, which is the one I've got? Slot main hand. Okay, so that is actually better then, yeah? That is actually better. Uh, so if I, oh, you see, so can be, oh, so oh, see, it's not just, okay, okay. Does it show you? Uh, equip that. That looks nice, boys. That looks nice. And then what we could also do is just do a compare on that. I guess it's going to be the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So I can sell those, presumably. I also seem to have some new boots, but I don't think they are new boots, are they? They're the ones we had before. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, dude, I am walk. Dude, I said I didn't look like I had any pants on. Now I haven't got any pants on. It's yours out. Did you actually type, dude? Did you actually type that in chat? Did you actually think I thought that was a penis? You like need to get the fuck out more. Like seriously, guys. <laughs> 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 Mario, Caskill, and Mad Cats. You seriously need lives, boys. All right, mate. Uh, you can also go to the character page where you uh, have a stuff equipped. And unless your penis is... Maybe my... Hang on a moment. Maybe my penis doesn't work properly. My penis doesn't do that. <laughs> my penis doesn't swish around between my legs like that. Not on its own accord, anyway. Uh, you can also go to the character page. I can't believe you typed that in chat, boys. That, that, that is Twitch failure, and it's, it's, it's highest. Uh, you can also go to the character page where you have stuff equipped and access the armory chest there, clicking on items. Okay. Does yours, does yours switch around like that, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> we don't know how cat penises work. I'm pretty sure we do. As these people called vets, I bet you, I bet they could tell you a whole swathe of information about cat penises if you were so inclined. God, you know, weird. Uh, right, where are we going? Oh, hang on, let's go to. Let's go to the inn, boys. Oh, sugar. My bad, my bad. The inn's back up there, isn't it? So if I, if I come out here, let's go see if we're going to speak to. I, I've just said realized I don't have a quest, lads. So what do you do when you don't have an MSQ quest? Oh, oh, it, it does actually. It says step nine. Let, let, let me go to the end first. Then. I'm going to very quickly. I want to see if we can sort this audio issue out. Cat one's a barbed. What, for real? That sounds terrible. Terrible, man. <laughs> Is that <laughs> well? If it works for right, <laughs> I 
That's why you never startle a mating cat. I, I, I suppose I've never seen a cat doing it. It's, it's not really high on my list of things to check out, to be honest. All right, let's go and have a gander. Uh, so let's see if our little friend will speak to us. No, it's not going to let me, dude. I need to do it. I think you said this, Caskill, didn't you? Something about level nine. As in step nine, was it? Uh, so if I do that, click step nine, it literally is step nine. All right. Okay, right. Let's just say, so let's say you come back to the game, yeah? And you've got this quest. Next main scenario quest up there. You clip that, you clip that. I, it doesn't really tell me anything about it, does it? Should we just go there and see what's what's going on? Can I jump? Well, I don't like doing that. We just jump. Yeah, maybe this one then, Caskill. This will enable me to go to the inn, will it? Uh, take care, Force. Stay safe, one. Stay safe. It's quite a, it's quite a pleasant game, isn't it? It's uh, surprisingly chatty, McChatty in the early hours, which I, you know, I don't actually dislike that. To be fair, it's, you know, because it, it lets you just get. I suppose I've played World of Warcraft: uh, Wrath of the Lich King Classic recently. Just on and off, you know, here and there. But uh, th there's not a lot of plot building, to be honest. But I, I do like that mod that lets you um, have all the voice acting for the quests. It's very, very cool, actually. Um, Sissy Doa, Sissy Doa, uh, needs a reliable adventurer to deliver a gift to the coffer and coffin, except You're an adventurer, yes, if you're not otherwise occupied. I have a favour to ask. I have resolved to repay a debt of gratitude, which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I have purchased from the royal plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Oh, this is nice. The peas must sound great on the stream. Alas, I cannot park this place to procure and proffer the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment from the Nanawa mines, for which I wait, is late. I should prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gigari at the Royal Plantations and she will yield it to you. I apologise for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Well, that seems easy enough, doesn't it? No, I won't do it on stream, dude. Yeah, I want to see if we get these cinematics working. Can we always get a little list together for tomorrow if we've got problems? Wow, this looks really pretty, actually. Look at this. It's like a really nice detail and everything. It's kind of considering the. I mean, it's it, Caskill. I mean, was it yeah? Uh, was it was this available on the PlayStation Three or was it PlayStation Four only? Uh. If Cicero doesn't uh, come calling soon, the spectacular specimen should sadly be past its prime. Receipt of purchase, hand it over. Oh, I've just noticed the sun. I've just seen it. Uh, on, on the minimap in the top right, there's like a little sun icon, and I've just noticed it's moving. I don't think I saw that before. Three o'clock shades, thank you, thank you. Are they really snorks? Yeah. Is it a rabbit hole we don't want to go down, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the snort no, I've got a bit snorts. The music's been really good today. <coughs> I'm just not sure whether we need to turn it down a little bit. Realm Reborn is mostly the world builder, so you're into a lot of text scenes and the likes. Yeah. Yeah, got you. Uh, a, a question. The more recent expansions, do they tend to have voice acting rather than just text? It's not a problem. Is it just, you know, as the budget and the popularity of the game sort of blossomed, did they start throwing more resources into that? Or, or if they just said, like, look, you know, we can't just do it in English. If we do it in English, we've got to do it in Japanese. If we do it in there, we've got to do it in French and Spanish and Chinese and God knows what else, you know? Do, do they just kind of, like... You know, did they just say forget it? You know, I can understand, like, the main cutscenes, which is why I want to get the sound sorted, but... Um, so you're to deliver this decadent delight. I can say with confidence that any gourmand will be grateful for such a grand gift. 
Here is the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Oh, Roger, is it? Uh, fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such, we are always deluged with demand. You know the way to the coffer and coffee, correct? Uh, I don't think I do, actually. It is beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where local labourers lounge. Okay, go to the map. Do a little zoom out. I'm, I'm starting to really like the map, which to start with, I really hated. I'm actually really liking it on the controller as well. They've done a really good job with it. But that, that must have been tricky. Uh, it was play uh, so, so you can't play on PlayStation 3 anymore, no? I, I, I guess, you know, I, I, I'm all for you know. I know it's tough. I, I know if you're a PlayStation 3 owner and, and you, you can't afford a PlayStation 4, that's rough. But, you know, life has to go on, doesn't it, right? Do cats go down rabbit holes? Depends if it's got a barbed tinky winkle. Yeah, time changed uh, on Sunday evening, I think, dude. Yeah. Oh, there's another crystal. Oh, that's a question. How do you know if you've actually, uh, on the map, if I go to the map, how do I know if I've activated a crystal or not? Because, uh, for example, I know I have activated this crystal. But I haven't activated, say, that crystal. Oh, because it says unattuned. Oh, it's a shame it doesn't... Oh, it'd be nice if it changed the icon. But... Right, it's this one's for Simpsy. Insects. It's not a food of Simpsy if you're out there, but it, but it is it is an ant. It's a very good looking ant, to be fair. I murderized it, boys. Murderized it. Oh, is it sat? Sorry, Saturday evening. Oh, yeah, because it's Sunday morning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've not done a very good job with that this year, ever. I? I was thinking we'd already had the daylight savings time and maybe a little while back. And it is also. I still don't see where the loot is. Let me pay attention. I can see experience and things. Oh, I got one of those. Oh, what do they call those? I, I must have killed a certain amount of one creature. Uh, that counts towards... Lo uh, logs? Oh my god, I'm remembering stuff. That's in the hunting log, isn't it? Shit, dude. This is cool as fuck, man. Yeah, check this out, man. I I'm remembering stuff, boys. Yeah, we, we always do pro thing is project you don't really need to these days do you there's not that many things left in uh, our house where we have to make oh this is nice where we have to manually change things you know my watch changes well, my, my, my main watch changes my phone changes the microwave didn't change obviously but okay roger nice to meet you brett drink for your laddie you ain't get better ale or spirits for your coin than at me place. <laughs> I brought you a giant pumpkin, bro. What's that? We Sisodoa asked you to bring this here to me. Heh. So even that foul-mouthed drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Reckon this is for the time I carried his drink-sodden ass back home. But hells, an honest to God's pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do with her. The lads here scoffed down beastly amounts of meat and it started to tell on their health. It'll be good to get more vegetables in their bellies. Assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for the help, laddie. 1800 pretzels, 139 gill, and whatever that is, a marmot steak. Skill speed plus eight, vitality plus one, direct hit rate plus one. A fillet of marmot grilled with sweet wild onions and pungent garlic. garlic. And that gives me an XP bonus. Uh, for 30 minutes, 3% XP for 30 minutes. Duration can be extended by 60 minutes by consuming multiple certain... Dude, that's cool, dude. And I've got two as well. I like that. Thanks for that tip, Mario. That's, that's good. Uh, thanks for that free mouse thing, Mario. That's really handy, dude. You're an angel, bro. 
Achievement unlocked. Stick them with the pointy end. Action learn. Sh oh, I've got new skills. I've got new skills. Like loads of new skills. Let me come out. Let me come out. Let me come out. This is what it's all about, boys. Uh, and to learn what they are, I go into... Oh, shit. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Pay attention. Actions and traits, right? Uh, and I can go to actions. So I've got this one called Iron Will. Significantly increases enmity generation. So that's like threat then, yeah? All right. So I've got Rampart, which I think is a roll skill, which reduces damage. And then I've also got Iron Will, which increases threat. But then I've also got a new... Any traits? That's the tag level. So that's just 20% reduced damage overall, isn't it? Uh, and actions is... Uh, shield. Oh, shit. I haven't got a shield! Dude! How do I get a shield, bruh? That sucks. Well, that's why it's grayed out as well. Cannot use you. D dude, that sucks, man. We've, we've got an event here. A band of kickering bandits has left its camp in search of fresh prey, and the brass blades are bent on seeing the beastman's efforts end in failure. All right, we, we got we got murderized bandits. Where are the kickering bandits? Is that a bandit? Oh, there they are. There they are. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that, is that a bandit? I don't know what's going on. I can't talk to Here we go, boys. This is it. This is it. This is where we can get out. Got no chance for fate complete. Beautiful. There's another one over there as well. Let's go and see what this one is. Did I just think 10? Uh, I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just think 10. Uh, oh, this is the same one. Uh, the only thing is, I don't think there's any other players here, which is probably bad for me to try and get in there alone. Right? Oh no, we might let it so on the stain lens. Probably not gonna have to do this on my own, am I? Then you'll also have a class quest of the gladiator train. How would I know where the gladiator train is? Both gauge unlocked. Oh, this is the this is the last use with uh, with us earlier. Oh no, this dude's getting hurt. I'm, I'm going to help him. I'm going to run in, lot. I'm going to help him. Don't worry, mate. I've got you, bro. I've got you, dude. I've got you. Don't run away, my friend. We're here to help one another. That was quite quite good thinking. I, I could have used my. Oh, what's happened? Oh no, they're everywhere. Am I doing that right? Like just running around the side, yeah? Isn't that like some cool dodge ability or something? Just nice and simple, steady attack combos. I've obviously got my one that increases my attack power for a 10 second duration, but you can save that for like when we're in trouble, right? Thank you. 
So if I if I do that, how do you do that? Oh right. Oh my god, this LCRT thing's gonna get some get oh my god. So that's on the D pad. Wow, that's so cool. This is my first no, we've been out a bit. No, no, we've been out doing quests. Yeah, we've seen a little bit of the world. We've sort of... Oh, yeah. Can you queue skills? It looks like you can queue skills, guys. But I don't know to, to what degree. Where the hell's he going? Oh no. This is some button tapping going on here, boys. Alright, this is it then. So this is the big one, right? How do I, uh. How do I. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. Like, grab aggro, right? Can I grab aggro? Oh, I've got aggro, lads. Get around the back of it, everyone else. Take, take, take. I'm gonna use my rampart as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my big stacker one. My big stacker one. Keep him away from the rest of the party, dude. That's it. Turn, turn him around, bro. That's it. Good combos, man. Good combos. So, I noticed my little taunt uh, one. Release Iron Will. So, Release Iron Will, I have to toggle it on and on. Oh, it's just an on. Oh. Oh, I see. It's a toggle. I don't think I knew that. Oh no! Don't worry boys, I'll get him back. Look at that, look at those tanking skills, man. We're kicking his ass, Sansi. Good teamwork, bruh. Look at this, look at, look at this. He's blasting it with magic leaves and things. Oh no! Don't, don't worry, I'll, 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 get, I'll get him for you, mate. Stay away from my friend. He's level 4 me. <laughs> and in no danger whatsoever. Right. All right, I'm, I'm gonna get some targets, boys. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of these trash, man. I don't like. I don't like his trash over here at all, man. Are you, are you attacking my friend? Go off my friend, mother. They're not, boys. I've got all the aggro lads. I can. I can take it. I, I, I'm a badass. Right, that's it. Let's, let's clean up the trash, loose. We, we gotta re. Oh, that's it! It's down! Beautifully played, beautifully played. That was actually quite good. But I felt like we were in sort of control there, you know? Good, bring him round, bring him round. Look at this, look at this. Oh, get out of there, dude. So Iron Will is more of a toggle on and off then, right? Not not like <coughs> not like a, a skill that I activate. <coughs> wow, kind of cool. The music's like, do, do I need to turn the music down then? Your enemy's skill is a toggle buff. When you turn it on, you generate out like multiple times aggro. So unless the defense is absolutely insane and deal no damage at all, losing enemy is rare. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, I've got something called Oath Gauge unlocked. What's that mean? The symbol indicates the defensive stance Iron Will is in effect, which increases enmity. You can view the job gauge description anytime from the actions and traits menu, which we actually have already done, right? Yeah, I'd want that on all the time, in a group at least. I mean, is there, is there any... I mean, you know, it's not costing more magic or anything, is it? You know, it's not... So like literally no reason for me to have it. 
Oh, sorry, sorry, that's it. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. What, what's this, um, like, black and white eagle diamond thing I've got going on, like, over here? Look, what's, what's this? What's that all about? Uh, hang on then. Um, what else do I want to do, guys? Uh, so we, we, we level 10, though. We're, we're doing alright, yeah. Holder's most wanted. So that's back in town. Then. So if I teleport. Oh, that's just showing whether it's on or off, is it? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. That's a bit invasive on my screen. Oh, what? Really? That's what that is? Ooh, I don't like that. Can I move it? I don't like that at all. So if I do that... Oh, yeah. Can, can you sort of, like, customise the heads-up display? So music during the battles is loud. So if I go to... What? System... Uh, is there a difference between music and battle music? Let's hope so. Right. Uh, system configuration. Audio. Uh, there's background music. <coughs> I don't know. I might have to just turn the general music down. Then. What do you reckon? Should we drop back? So this thing is I actually really like the background music, but if it's too loud in... You see, it's going to make it too quiet during the rest of the time, isn't it? How, how do I actually reduce it? Oh. Um, what do you think, guys? Drop that to say, should we try, uh, I mean, how, how, how much should we talk? Should we drop it to 70? Do I have to go down to apply, close. And you're saying I can change the heads up display. How would I do that? Uh, Heads up displaying sister. Oh, heads up. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? <coughs> oh, wow. Holy shit. How do I move it? No fucking way, dude. Oh, that is awesome, dude. So I can just like... So, you know, I'm not saying I want it. Oh my god, it even shows you that... Oh my god, that's cool. And that's just like in the game. That's like no mods. Or Does the game have mods as well? Uh, so how would I... Let's just leave that there. And then like click like what? Save? Oh shit, that didn't actually save it. Shit, my bad. Uh, let, let me try that again. So let me... Obviously I could do it on the next, but let me just see if I can do all this. So go into virtual mouse mode, click it, move it, get it like where I want it, then click save. Oh, dude, that's freaking cool as fuck. Oh, man, that's, that's, that's so good. Yeah, well, we'll have to see what the music's like in battle. Uh, it might have been too much anyway. I don't know. You have to let me know, guys. Uh, you can move and scale everything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get my. You know, it's down bottom left. My, uh, like, I, I guess my in-game chat is tiny. Look. Yeah, scale it. Yeah, yeah. Mods are against terms of service. First one mod club. There is no mod club. So basically, so there are millions of mods, but we don't really talk about it, yeah? 
<coughs> it does have mods, but they're not endorsed by the devs in the grey area. Has anyone, so has anyone ever been banned for using mods? I guess is the ultimate question, right? Look all these players, man. Oh. Um, right, so quest, Alder's most wanted. Uh, let's go and get that done. It's 323, right? Um... Yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel more comfortable with this map. Is it, it's one of those games where you can literally flick between mouse and keyboard and controller just on the fly. Yeah? It doesn't care. It just instantly switches from one to the other. Oh, you've actually seen streamers get banned. So what what sort of mods then? I mean, just, I mean, you know, I've got no interest in mods if they're not necessary. I mean, World of Warcraft, I don't think anyone can even play World of Warcraft without mods, let's be honest. And it seems to be a huge part of, you know, what makes World of Warcraft, isn't it? The customization. Um, so Final Fantasy's got a bit of a different approach to it, yeah? It's like, look, you can use a few mods and we don't really care about it as long as you're not showcasing it and flaunting it on like you know youtube and what about reshade i'm gonna assume this game from what little art this don't you have to use g shade or something for this is, is, is that one of those things that you don't really want to be fiddling about with as well or... did you unlock all the ether rights in uh i wouldn't any of the ones that i went near dude yeah any of the ones that i went near Although I might have missed the last one. Now you say that. There might be one near the quest I just did. Uh, a tune. Oh, hang on. A tune to all the mini crystals in town. What, what, hang on. What does that mean? People have been banned for Oh, G Shane's gone, has it? I was going to say it's a long time ago. When if I last uh, booted this up? But we only played for a day, though, didn't we? Uh. Raid people using mods that show attacks that normal people don't see. Such people get banned. Right, okay. Body augment mods, DPS meters, UI mods, information on the game. You're not allowed to stream it, but you're allowed to use it for yourself. Reshade is fine. Wow, really? So, so they really do frown upon mod modding, basically. So you, you can't showcase their game outside of the vanilla game on, on, on a public forum, yeah? Twitch, YouTube, etc. Otherwise, you are you are just looking to have your uh, account banned. Do they actually ban you the account? Yeah, shit, dude. Right, well, that, that, that's... I mean, I wasn't planning on any mods, but... Those are the Aetherite Shards, the mini crystals. The mini crystals let you fast travel around town for free. Oh, shit. Uh, well, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. What do you mean? Mini crystals around town. Like where? I can fast travel around town. Are you taking the piss? Oh, you are kidding me. So, like, there's a crystal just over here, yeah? Oh, dude, I did not know that. God damn it, bruh. Quick travel throughout the city being achieved by simply playing single hand upon. Dude, this game just keeps getting fucking bad, bruh. Shit. What? Did the game tell me about this? I'm pretty sure it fucking did. Uh. Yeah, I guess I tuned to them all as soon as... God, this is going to make... This is going to make, like, getting quest... Oh, God, Jesus, dude. Um. A tuning with a shard has granted... <laughs> <coughs> I'd just like to apologise again for the coughing throughout today's stream, guys. It's that <laughs> it's put up with it or no stream basically. <laughs> a journey with a shard has granted you access to the city state's Ethernet. The Ethernet can be used for quick intracity travel. No shit. <laughs> Hello. Sometimes it's bad just to mute out, right? Um It makes of it it does, doesn't it? And once you collect them all, you can also teleport right outside of the city. Can, can I use the little ones to, to teleport to the big ones? 
I'm going to assume not. Uh, hang on, where were we a minute ago? We want to go back to the guild hall, don't we? Uh, why am I getting lost? What, what about guilds? I mean, you know, do I want to be getting myself in like, like a guild? Or do we, do we not want to worry about that for a bit, you know? Is it better to get in one early on? Or, I mean, did you need a big guild? You know, it's just one of those games where you do need, like, you know, like, like Molten Core back in the early days. You know, if you wanted 40 people in Molten Core, you probably wanted a guild of a good 100 plead people, right? Uh, which we tune to all of them. We get gate access and airship land. Airships? That sounds cool. Yeah, so I, I so I can only teleport from a little crystal to another little crystal, but I can teleport from one big crystal to another big crystal. Uh, you can, but that act does cost me gil, though. Right? Uh, you can use the big one for the small one. Oh, you can. Uh, but I need the city. Got it. Okay. Uh, you can use the small ones to teleport to a big one in the same city, but not to others. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so basically, the beauty of it is, I can use my. I think it's called return, right? Re so I can use return to a. a, a what are they called? Eth. Eth. What are the crystals called? Uh, e e e whatever. Crystals. Um, <laughs> Ethernet. I, keep, I was going to say Ethernet. I thought, no, that, that's a cable we use to, to, to get online, right? But it is called Ether, isn't it? They are called Ether crystals, yeah? <laughs> it's just, I think they just put an A on it, don't they? I was about to say, like, the Ethernet, and I'm like, dude, you're such a dick. That's got nothing to do with Final Fantasy, man. But I think it is, right? So I can use my return which will bring me to my ethernet crystal in town and from the big that big crystal i can travel to a little crystal is that right you don't need a guild getting a free company early on you will get bonuses such as housing and other stuff so say so, uh yeah get, get in there for uh free companies often ha what, what's a what's a free company what does that mean often have an xp boost running to help members ah uh, yeah i don't want that i don't really want to accelerate xp going not, not <laughs> Not unless it's it's really deemed necessary. Guilds or free company in this game, you don't need them, but they do give you beneficial buffs. And raids and other things are done through a party finder. Etherite, etherite. Uh, you can uh, set any big crystals your home points you can... Yeah, I got that, yeah. Did anyone say anything about the casino? No. Uh, free, uh, so a free company is what they call a guild. All right, so, so it's not it's not a special sort of guild. It's just guilds are known as free companies. I tend to set the etherites in the zone I'm leveling as home, just in case I get knocked out. That way, when I revive, I'm still in the same zone instead of across the map. Right, right, okay, okay. So, so I was going to say because I don't know what happens when you die. Um, do you have to corpse run or anything? Or if you set up a two-factor authentication, then you get one teleport free of charge to one crystal. You can use teleport skill to get to the favourite destination crystal for free without a timer. I will have to look into that then. I mean, I assume I've already got that set up anyway. Is there a dance emote? Uh, yeah, the emotes are mad, bro. There's like so many emotes. It's crazy, man. Uh, thing is, in order to do an emote, I think I have to, I have to be targeting on someone, don't I? See, so yeah, look, I've got, I've got, I've got a cat dance. Look at that. Look. Wah, wah. Uh, wiggly, wiggly. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we, I mean, there's, there's so many on, on the social side of things. Uh, oh, God, I've got such a banging head out, boys. Oh, dude, Twitch chat is such a bunch of knobs. Oh, dudes. Why didn't you tell me about the little crystals earlier? So, oh, chat, I'm so sorry, boys. Oh, I'm so sorry, lads. I really let you down there, boys. Really let you down. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh, I, 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 oh, so you still have to come into here and go... Uh... Hello? You right, mate? <laughs> I've interacted with people, boys. I don't know how this makes me feel, lads. So I can choose that person, yeah? Then go into emotes, and I can come all the way down here, and I can go... Uh, let's say hello to this person. We go... Uh, 
a joy. I, I'm, so, I'm so happy to see you. You're amazing. And I'm, I'm happy. I am happy. Oh, I'm going to say, you, it's so lovely to me. You're amazing. Got to give them a hug. Can you actually do a hug? Can you, can you actually hug or not? Oh, you, oh, you saw that they did it as well. Look. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a, is that a high fart? Oh my god, there's so many emotes. Oh, what are air, oh, air quotes. <laughs> Jesus, man. I suppose this, this is what I was saying about a new world, isn't it? The, the sad reality of the situation is no matter whether New World's a good game or a bad game and it'll be the same with Ashes of Creation the simple facts of the matter right some of these games have been around for so long you know you know 10 plus years right and, and like that level of detail all the little extra things that really just have to be sidelined during main development you know even if it is getting a portfolio of like 50 different emotes all animated that that cannot be a priority early on in production you know uh so no corpse really you just revive at your home location uh and your home location is the last eternal eternum crystal whatever they call it etherite crystal that you're at you can put emotes into your hotbar. Yeah, I mean, I've only got a few. I've only got a few here, right? I, and I know there's. You can have, you can have way more than this, right? I've only got eight and eight, sixteen. They used to call it a, a long time ago. I, I spoke to a friend who was really into this, and they, he was talking about like, the, is it like the W or something? So you, you can you can have like thirty two without even trying, and, and then there's even more than that. Like by pressing LT and RT or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, I, I probably don't want to swap myself too much with the emotes. <coughs> you cannot believe I'm a cat. I'm not a cat. I, 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 I'm a. I'm a. What am I? I am magnificent, is what I am. Magnificent. Just look at me. I'm like Mike Tyson, but a cat. Alright. Just look at him. Uh, a Final Fantasy field called Claws and Paws. <laughs> That's banging. <laughs> I bet there is one called Claws and Paws. Uh, at any game, you can have like 30 combats. Oh my god, really? I, even now, you know, when I'm sitting there going, okay, do I want to do this? Oh, no, 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 I don't want to press that button. I need to get a shield. I can't wait to get a shield. Shield bash sounds like it's going to be fun. Uh, some uh, free companies or guilds are into certain special interests. What, what do you mean, dude? Come on, come on. You, you can't say that all like cagey. What, what do you mean by special interests? <laughs> you, you've set yourself up for a tricky combo here, Tonga. Uh, another cat fact. Cats cannot be vegan. They need meat in their diet. Isn't that fairly obvious, though? You know what I mean? I mean, who, who would have a cat and, and try not to give it meat? <laughs> that, that's just the human thing, right? C cats are presumably... I mean, I've, I don't know. Has anyone ever thought of a cat as being a carnivore? I have. Uh, I, I don't know if they are an omnivore. I, I'm sure they can survive on a little bit of meat and other fake things. But a cat in the wild isn't going to eat berries, is it? A, a cat in the wild is going to eat creatures it's gonna kill birds and mice it's not gonna have like a little side dish of some gooseberries is it so i think of it as being but but you should never have a dog that's vegan right who would have a dog and make a dog not eat meat i mean you think of a dog you think of a bone right a dog eats bones don't it why, why would you make your dog vegan Uh, it seems obvious a lot, but people are dumb. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be a vegan, right, that's your choice, yeah? You go for it, right? But but you wouldn't force an animal who's clearly not a, a herbivore, would you? That'd be mad, right? Wouldn't you get done for, like, animal abuse? Sh surely no one would do that. I'm, I'm, well, like you say, Josh, I'm sure they would. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can understand extremes, you know? There could be some cat who's got a genetic disorder, which means it gets very, very poorly if it eats certain things. So it might have to, like, have a special kind of, like, 
you know, plant-based protein or something. But we're talking about real outlier cases here, right? I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't own a dog, and the first thing, <laughs> let's feed it Weetabix. <laughs> <laughs> but it offends the vegans, but I'm a vegan. <laughs> it doesn't offend me. It's just I wouldn't own a dog <laughs> and feed it fucking Weetabix, would I? It's just, you wouldn't do it. Uh, I gave a dog duck jerky once and the dude freaked. And, and, and he gave, I gave a dog duck jerky once and the dude freaked said his new wife's dog was free. But... <sighs> Isn't that cruel? <laughs> Let's put it this way, right? The way I'd see this, yeah? It's ever simple, right? You, you take two, two food sources, right? Both of which are healthy for the animal, yeah? So not, not something that is going to be tantalizing. Like, I don't think you're supposed to give dogs chocolate, are you? So what, what you do is if you, you got a pet, right? And say you've got two food types, which, which are fundamentally nutritiously okay. And you just put them down. So you give your dog a stick of celery or your dog a nice cut of roast beef. And see which one the dog wants. And let the dog make let the dog make the choice, right? I'm pretty sure most dogs ain't gonna choose a stick of celery, are they? I, I, I can't be a real vegan. You must simply punish the animals that eat meat. Yeah, well, uh, clearly not. Uh, dog was really happy with the dried meat. I bet it was. Uh, see that I mean Jesus a dog that's never eaten meat. That's awful, right? I mean that what a sad little puppy dog <laughs> what, what a terrible life <laughs> Dude if I use uh, do you like sneak around in the middle of the night and give it like a bit of fresh duck Joshua, you know? Yeah, that's kind of mad isn't it? It's a dog, right? <laughs> It's supposed to eat bones. Like you learned that when you watched Tom and Jerry, didn't you? You know what I mean? And what was his, what was the dog in Tom and Jerry? You've got Tom and Jerry, which is the cat and the mouse, and there was Spike with it. And, and that, that's all Spike did. He just wanted his bone, didn't he? <laughs> Spike didn't have a stick of celery, did he? Jesus. Right, ladies and gents, to everyone that's joined us today, it's been a very enjoyable stream as always. Obviously, lots going on at the moment, guys. Trying to keep on a brave face with it all. To everyone that has supported the chat. Bob! Sorry, Bob, if you're out. I'm sorry, Bob. I've just seen that, mate. Bob, thank you for the Patreon, dude. If you're out there, my sincerest of apologies. Let's get a cheeky replay on that. Yeah, to everyone that's like just, you know, helping us, I don't know, just tick along. Uh, massive, massive shout out to you all. Thank you very much. Uh, I haven't had the art in it today, really, to sort of like clarify things that, you know, about pushing the Patreon, but it is what it is, guys. I mean, I've, I've had a fun day. To everyone that's joined us, thank you very much. We've, I feel like we've learned more about Final Fantasy than we ever have before. I mean, like I said, we did pop up a stream uh, a few years back, didn't we? Um, you know, it's got me quite interested to see like what a more a more, a more modern zone is. But I mean, look at this. Look, you know, look at the reflections and things, you know? It, it's only like basic cube maps and stuff, but, you know, it, it's got some detail in the world, hasn't it? Um, be interesting to sort of like get out and get some proper adventuring on, which I'm sure at the moment we're still very much just in that, that, that sort of post, uh, very basic tutorial, aren't we? I mean, I'll try, I mean, I'll have a little play with it outside of the stream. Just to try and familiarise myself a little bit more with the control setup. But it is a very nice one to play on controller. It feels like nice and smooth. And I can sort of like really take in with the soft camera pans of some of the uh, some of the world. I don't feel like, you know, I, I need to play on mouse and keyboard like I do in other MMOs. But so, yeah, I've had a good day, man. So to everyone that's helped out and given us some tips and tricks. And to everyone that joined us like on the stream, just showcasing some armors. Uh, and your generosity earlier that thank you all very very well just very much it was very kind of you so yeah we'll uh we'll, we'll probably pop it back on tomorrow and see see you know like if we can get a little bit deeper into the, the msq i think we've really sort of like tickled this you know the surface of it really haven't we so so everyone happy easter weekend i know a lot of folks are back at work tomorrow uh myself included actually this evening sadly but uh, that's all about to dry up, so I might have a bit more time on my hands, but I won't. It, it could actually end up being less time. But we'll we'll be all right tomorrow, boys. We'll be all right tomorrow. So quarter past eight, hopefully all being well. I'll, I'll pop on. We'll carry on with some Final Fantasy. Um, see where it takes us. Don't think I've got anything else to add, to be honest. I, I've quite enjoyed it, though, man. 
Um, com combat is... It it's not as flashy as I remember it. But at the same time, I know it's very early on. I saw some of the skills that Caskill was doing. Um, uh, I but I think you can turn it off, can't you? I think you can have like... You can say, okay, game, I want all my spells to be kind of like all whoop to do flashy, but I don't want to see everyone's spells all going off because I can imagine that could become quite difficult to know what's happening. Um, you know, some of these games, there's too much going on, isn't there? So I, I guess, you know, keep in mind customization is an option for us as we progress. Uh, quite looking forward to seeing how the loot works. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of loot to be gained as well. Um, yeah. Yeah good stuff ladies and gents have a wonderful day whatever's the uh, left of it uh, wherever you are in the world and enjoy it uh, you know easter weekend hopefully you've got a cracking time with friends family some good food and all the rest of it um bob thank you for the patron to everyone that's been supporting the channel bit of a difficult time at the moment uh, hopefully we'll get some news who knows man uh Twitch haven't been in touch yet, so I'll, what I'll do, we're over our 30 days, I'll get back in touch with them, uh, maybe tomorrow evening, um, drop them one more email, uh, and we'll just have to, you know, just assume it's all done and dusted, but uh, to everyone that supported us, thank you so, so much, come and join us on Discord, exclamation mark Discord in chat will of course get you a link to the Discord server, and I'll leave it there, stay safe out of there, thank you very, very much for watching. Oh, I need to sort out... Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't get a chance to... Um, I need to have a look into those cinematics, don't I? I really do need to sort that, because that, that was a shame, wasn't it? That was a shame. <coughs> you could just show the party effects. Oh, right, yeah, I've got you. Sorry, yeah, 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 that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's alright. It went alright, it's good, mate. So it's alright. I should have turned the music down when we sent it earlier. I, think. I, I just kept getting sidetracked in my little wibbly wobbly world. To be honest. Probably a lot of years tomorrow, you think? Um, just gonna quit looking at that. Um, yeah, I haven't got a quest with the little innkeeper at the moment. But yeah, uh, we're at Prudence Alder's most wanted at the moment. Which is back. It looks like we're going back to um, the Lady in the Guild Hall, I guess. I still don't understand how I'm supposed to actually bring up the quest information. Sometimes it, 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 sometimes it just tells me where to go, not that there's anything there, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's uh, the, the music. I, I've really enjoyed the music. It's, it's, it's always been one of the standout parts of the Final Fantasy series, which is why it was so sort of heartbreaking finding out the rebirth had so many issues with, with the music and the overall um, sort of sound design. The Lady in the Guild Hall is the class class. Yeah, I mean, all it says here is prudence at this junction. But... Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's different to Alder's Most Wanted. What the hell? Yeah, let me show you this. What the fuck? So look, if I... If I come up here, yeah? Prudence. That's so weird. But if I go down to all this lot, it's seen here. And they two completely different like cow. Yeah. I assume it's two different quests, but like neither one I can deem to any deeper. Which I think I was just finding a little bit strange. So MSQ is the red one, Prudence at this junction, which wants me out in the middle of Central Thanaland. But then I also have this one. If this is what you were saying about the Gladiator quest, I think, wasn't it? Which is in the Gladiator's Guild. Yeah, <laughs>
Right, now all I've got to do is not play it for an extra half an hour after the stream, right? Stay safe all. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely evening. Yeah, I just, I just saw the clock out actually for you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, God. Very naughty. Very naughty indeed.